Sup, sup. Sup, sup. We're gonna go walk and check telegrams. Also, I kind of want to fuck with the barber shop. So you guys, you guys think he looks horrible because of the hair mixed with everything else, right? I kind of am tempted to see. I'm kind of tempted to see how he looks with short hair. I'm not gonna get the short hair until we go back to work. Change your turn and face the same. Change your hairs. Time may change me. You can't change time. Strange fascination. That's what it is. Yeah, the bruises will go away in time. The scar might slightly fade. Place I'm going to turn and face the strange change to hands. I mean, I want him to look rough, though, chat. That's that's our that's part of the point of getting shot in the fucking face. But yeah, I mean, I I, I mean, I I do want to see how he looks with short hair, though, because I I am gonna do it when I go back to work. I mean, I don't even. He does not look that great, even with the ponytail, man. I think it, I think it's still like, like it's different, but like, you know. So, <laughs> Jesus, okay. Yeah, that's the look. So even the ponytail, like, still doesn't look that great. Yeah, this is the new hair, for real, for real. <laughs> Straight up look like Harvey Dent, bro. <laughs> Literally look like Harvey Dent, man. Goddamn. So far away. Dude, he does not look man, he looks like he's been through some shit when we go back to the white hair, man. Holy fuck. Fuck. I like how uh I like how you can still see his face is fucked up with a beard slightly. But I got no interest in putting a beard on him. Jesus. His face does look really fucked up though. I don't know any other like hairstyles that I'd even consider on this character. <laughs> I do love this haircut, to be honest, but... I, I do love this haircut, but uh, not for him. Uh, 
Come on. Get up. Get up, dork. Come on. Up. Good boy. Good boy. So I think this haircut looks genuinely better without pomade, then. I don't know how you think it looks better with pomade. Yeah, but you can't just, like, uh, you unfortunately can't just wash out pomade whenever you want, you know? So. I know this is crazy, but I do genuinely like this haircut slightly with the, the, the pomade. Only because he looks like Harvey Dent slightly. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, I, I don't mind this. Too, too bad. But yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, we're probably going to go back to Zara OG haircut. I just, I haven't decided if I want to dye it white or do just normal blonde. That's what I haven't decided yet. But, uh, let's see. Find our long hair. John B. Cat Chest. Can take some of the the uh, take some of this down. Can take some of this down. A little bit. Jeez. It is crazy how much you can fade a scar, dude. Like, look at this. That's crazy. I probably bring it down to like here eventually. I will do. We'll do this for now. I accidentally did the blonder version. Yo, what up, Sixton? Hello, hello. Good to see you. Uh. I know, it's been a while. Yeah, I think you, uh, I think you would have liked some of the stuff that's happened recently. Not all of it, but I think you would have liked some of it. Knowing what you're into from GTA. I think you would have liked the scene with Wallaby. He's a very... He does a very good villain roleplay. Bum, 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 bum. Now let's go to... Uh... Ooh, Wallaby gets out today. Let's go change clothes. I might get rid of this outfit and make something new. A different version of Rundown. I'm popping off. Yeah, I mean, there is, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's been some cool stuff. For sure. I'm trying to think. I mean, Sandy would pro could probably say, too. I think the, the wallaby scene is probably up your alley. I've been just being a conqueror in the West on your best. So. But uh, on Ruth, the wallaby scene is pretty good. I'm afraid of this. Who am I? <laughs> CD and Queen Rebecca, maybe, man. True. Hey, I got money. 
Alright, uh... Dude, this is gonna be the first outfit I wear back, I think. Alright, remove. Purchase. Making an outfit, baby. New day, new outfit. You already know. I'm just gonna throw together random shit. See what I come up with. <laughs> okay, maybe. Maybe maybe I shouldn't throw together random shit. <laughs> maybe I should. Are you going to show us the Jabass outfit? My god. When I play Jabass, you will see it. <laughs> What what kind of question is that? Yo yo. <laughs> it has a hint of red in it. It's almost 5 a.m. I want to sleep. Oh my god. Brother. I need to wear something to run down. For real though. Do you need to wear something to run down? Is this a blue coat? Ooh. Okay, I can make that work. Where's the rundown vests? It's like right here. These outfits are super temporary. So I'm just gonna go balls to the wall with something weird. I don't really care. It's got hints of blue and purple in it. I'm I'm going balls to the wall. Bro, why, why, why do I have the perfect colors of blue for this outfit? What is this? <laughs> why? Why did, why does that, like, why does that color match so well? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Ah, the homeless arc. Yeah, I am wearing I'm I'm wearing clothes in the donation box right now. God damn right. God damn fucking right. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. We'll, we'll do the black hat. We'll do the black hat. The Jabass outfit is sick. Okay. Yeah, I figured. I figured you'd like it, to be fair. Why is this outfit slightly good? I, I don't like that this outfit's kind of good. I, I don't like that this outfit's good. I was not preparing this outfit to be okay. It's just different, but it works. It's weird.
it's weird. I did not think it would look good. Spenders don't work with this shirt, unfortunately. Uh, we don't need a poncho. It's probably temporary. Uh, gun belt. Black. Accessory. Uh, buckle. Do you... Uh, wait a second. Oh, I thought... Just for a second, I thought maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm kind of half tempted to do it, man. It almost works. Could you... Hold up. That's the only part that doesn't... Like, does it, Okay, do you think that's noticeable enough? I mean, I feel like this kind of looks cool, though. Having a, having a fucking belt that actually works with the jacket. I don't think it's that noticeable, to be honest. It's just a tiny part. Pretty sure this is the one they use for hounds, though. Is it not? Yeah, I mean, it's the long hair. It's not the hat, buddy. But but I get what you're saying. The combo of the two. A hat mixed with it. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of fucking tempted to, to wear this like this. So that's blatant. Is there any other belts? No. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted, Chad. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted here to do this. Front two? Once again, I didn't even notice that. It's not noticeable. It really isn't, though. You, That is so unnoticeable unless you're looking for it, is my point. Lower belt? Lower belt is just like that. I'll show you. It's weird. Lower belt is just kind of... Well, I, I, see, lower belt just kind of stops like that. You see, it doesn't actually go around, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. I'm gonna just keep it. And we'll just not wear it if it looks that bad. It's temporary anyway. Okay. So, let's get rid of the belt. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the tie. Let's get rid of this. See, like, th this looks great. I also like it like this. <laughs> Dude, like this, it looks fucking sick too. I'm sorry. To disagree with me all you want. Like this looks fucking sick.
This looks fucking clean. Stories from the green bird. I sent one into a manger. Danger died upon the spells. I say it's really no fitting. Look at this. Up and down. I think like the tie it looks pretty good too. See, I like the run down city outfits that actually look decent. Made of gold, not good since the man is old. Get up in his fire. My body is on fire. I actually, I wonder. So I don't think the badge works with this jacket. No. Which is fine. I am curious. Even like this, it don't look bad. It don't look horrible. Even like that, it, it, it really doesn't look that bad. And... Curious. Oh my god! Okay, that even, even that like slightly looks pretty... Even th oh, dude, I'm so happy I have a vest that works with belts. For a tooth. Dude looks fucked up. He did get shot in the face. So I mean, it is he is, you know, he is fucked up. He, it ain't just looks. I I do. I still think he looks rough, even with the less bruises. the hair I don't think it's just the hair buddy is it bad that I like the hair a lot <laughs> so I'm more I'm more partial to long hair though I like the shoulder length long hairs in this game to be fair one of the only short hairs I really truly love in this game is the one that CD and Jabaz use sometimes Literally my favorite short air in the game. Rockstar always drops the ball when it comes to women's fashion. I feel like GTA barely anything that that looks good to you.
I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> this is one of Ruth's better outfits. The short, short sleeves like this is one of his better outfits. I think especially with short hair, this outfit would pop off. I think it's like the only thing that's like not the best is the coat, but honestly, hear me out, and I, I, I'd have to check because it might look too clean. I could try the Malone coat with this. So like, imagine the Malone like black and blue coat, and instead of instead of this tie, doing the blue tie that makes that pop. That could work. I don't know. I might try it. Because, like, the coat's the only part that, like, don't necessarily work. I got my city horse. RP gun. The Italian stallion. Serious. I figured I'll use my Arabian for a couple weeks while I'm recovering. No long arm either. Which is perfect. I gotta carry less ammo. Be trying to take it slow on Ruth this week, doing like more office type of stuff. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. 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 Hey. <laughs> Hi there. Howdy. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> I hear a lot of people saying that howdy around here. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a thing. Hmm. I've always just said hello. Yeah, I tend to. Sometimes I'll say howdy, though. I think I caught myself yesterday saying howdy once. It <laughs> felt strange. Yeah. It can. Like I wasn't me for a second. Yeah, fair enough. Are you a new hire? Oh, uh, yes. I transferred in the other day, actually, from Michigan. Deputy. Uh, Deputy Briggs. Joanna Briggs. All right, and I'm Senior Deputy Ruth. Nice to meet you. It's good to meet you as well. Is it just us two in? I believe so. I am not 100% sure, though. I just woke up in the apartments from upstairs rather recently. All right. Sounds good. Well, I've been in a coma for pretty much a week after I woke up, so I'm going to go catch up on some paperwork. 
Well, welcome back, and have fun with doing that. Thank you and thank you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most awkward ass. <laughs> I believe I will make my way to Rhodes now. Okay, sounds good. I'll I'll be here for a bit. All right, you be safe. All right, you as well. You know, I, I didn't even get to send in my votes or my nominations for senior this year because of the injury. Damn, bro. I should, I'm going to try to go to this tomorrow. I'm gonna try to make it this. I'll see if Pruitt wants to go with me. Maybe he wants to take me up in a wagon. Imagine Wallaby hits me again. <laughs> Imagine I'm cursed for the senior meeting. All right, let's let's look who he's wanted. Uh, Mary. Okay. McCarthy. Kenny. Kaniklo. <laughs> and Funk. I I love dude. He is so good, bro. Uh, some of the shit he comes up with. What a fucking alias. Ed Funk. That is fucking gold. Fucking Ed Funk, man. Oh, Kettleman Gang robs Blackwater Bank. Mills is wonderful for bank robbery. All of it. Seem fine, I seem. Read the incident report? Okay, I'll hold up, I will. First on the scene, followed by Maple, McAllister, and Rabbit and Bolt. Mills at the front smoking a cigarette. He told us there was no hostage, and there are six of them inside. He proceeded to say, We've been here a while. Is this all of you? Well, there was only three of us before the others arrived. At that point, Chevy decided to make the call not to chase before the rest of the deputies showed up. After a while, Gold split off from the rest of the group with Chevy and Huxley attempt to, do, to arrest him. He stole Huxley's horse, at which point both the deputies opened fire. He managed to escape through the trees. Huxley and Chevy returned rabbit. I, Sheriff Winward, arrived late to the proceedings and joined in on the chase. To my understanding, with the robbery negotiation itself, was standard but the pursuit was interesting <laughs> while one richard gold split from the pack the remaining five led us to an island accessible light by land bridge just northeast of blackwater the standoff consisted of sheriff windward maple and mcallister considering us being outgunned and the and the boat our robbers intended to use as getaways was beached and unmoving we negotiated for the partial return of some loot three gold bars ten of bank bonds in exchange for no violence and reduction, reductions have been factored in. In a wicked twist of fate, allowing the criminals to leave first, we unbeached and commandeered their boat for a safe return to Blackwater. Tally-ho. <laughs> okay, that tally-ho really... That tally-ho really, uh... 
really makes it. Holy shit. What a fucking bank robbery. You know, Ronnie Rivers got brought up as a gang recruit. I'm just gonna say it. I didn't get the fully recap, by the way, chat, the other day. Um, so... CD and Jabaz had a talk about how they're kind of tied together um, by blood, basically. Um, we, we basically had a chat, which was him considering leaving and uh, how he creates headaches. And I explained to him what what actual headaches he makes. I explained to him that the headache is not knowing when he's being serious and when he's trying to get under somebody's skin. Um, I explained to him that I don't think anybody in the group has even the slightest issue um, putting people down if they deserve it. And that at the end of the day, if we all talk and agree that we want to go to war over something, you know, we would. Because he said he was fine with how Bathhouse was handled. He said he was fine with how Clint was handled. He said he was fine with a lot of things. Um, I told him about my evil plan to give the 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 Dicenzos a telegram uh, <laughs> that Mama Christine agreed to give info to us. <laughs> And he was laughing his ass off, saying that that was evil. Uh, he said something along the lines of like, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to make make Jabass's life worse, and he just kind of wants to make him proud. And Jabass was like, "Well, I mean, what you did in Thieves today made me proud. Taking responsibility of your actions, telling them how it is, and then putting them down. Yo, John, hope all that uh, you know you did good there, and that made me proud. And I was happy that you listened. And he was surprised, and he said, "Really?" And I said, "Yeah." And uh, I told him that, like, everything going on, it's not a result of him, and that I'm just not okay. And I'm not gonna be okay for a long time. And that I'm going through some shit. And that I'm fucked in the head. And he... It, we, we basically had a long talk, and... Jabass and CD kind of agreed that it would be best if they stayed together. And that they work on airing out their issues and trying to work on getting better towards one another and he we started talking about recruiting and he brought up Ronnie, Scarlet, and Ariel Jabaz said the one <laughs> out of those three the one he likes the most is Ronnie by far uh, he said that he'd, he'd be willing to give Scarlet and Ronnie a chance he said, Ariel has already agreed to ride with Zip and fight a war with Zip, so we're not taking Ariel. And she's in a, w a weird place in her life. Then Jabass proposed the idea we recruit Winsmore now. And J CD was super for that, which I'm not surprised. But yeah, no, it was, uh, it was pretty good. It was a good talk. It was an all-around good talk. So... We're one sub away from a hype train. And yo, what up, Waz? How you doing, baby? Long time no see. Three years! Woo! Three years. Long time no see, baby. How are you? That's part of the bank. I'll watch it. Give me two seconds. Doing good? Yeah, man. It It, it is crazy that it's been three years, man. It's insane, bro. Waz, you should you should try watching some Red Dead RP if you have time nowadays, man. Some this is some good shit that happens here. Yo, Sil with gifting us up the burning sky. Hold up, let me pull up this clip. Absurd location. I gotta switch over here. Bam. Absurd locations. For the first time today, I saw a D. Two of them. I the gotta say, I was more Hell willing to yeah, man. because... I'm glad you got more free broke. time. Oh, wait, who's this? I think this is them. Get fucked! Have a good night! 
This is the finest day of my life, folks. <laughs> yes! They're coming back for us. <laughs> That's a great idea, taking their fucking boat. I can't believe you guys stole their boat. Holy shit. Damn, that's savage, man. Y'all really just said, fuck this. This is my boat now. Holy shit. Absolute savages. Fucking hell. That's fucking hilarious, Phil. Chat, we're seven away from the next level of the hype train. I can't wait. I can't wait for Ronnie Rivers to shoot Scarlet and join the gang. That That's gonna be my best arc. It's gonna be my favorite new arc. Cold-blooded, built different Ronnie Rivers joining the gang. I'm excited for this arc. Make it a monster. I know, I heard. I heard. I was on J I was in Sisica on Jabass, I heard. Jabass wanted to talk to Wallaby about it. Kit the horse thief. I wanted. Let's see. Alright, let's just get it off the one names. Alright. Abner Rick Bagwell. <laughs> Dustin Barlow, he's been wanting for a while. Michael Bayo, the Duke of Yorkington. All right. Jack Beck. Cheddar Bob is still wanted. Edwin's wanted. Good. Good to know. Beans with the five bomb. Two subs away from the next level of the hype train. Squeaky Pete's wanted. Jonathan Devine is wanted. Jabez? Charles Devine. Jonathan Devine. Isaac Douglas. Jack Dubois. Jacob Dubois, rather. Jen Elizabeth. Nigel Hart. <laughs> Who the fuck is Steve? Yeah, for real. Chat, we're two away. A minute on the clock. There's any tier one primers or oilers. Peter Gray is wanted. I'm assuming Gavin's wanted. I'm not sure, though. Mills is wanted. Rebecca Lang. Morgan Lee. James Kelly. James the boy. Hawk wanted. Ruth doesn't know she's dead. Thirty five seconds on the clock, two subs away, chat. Is that your one is primary? Norman McCain is wanted? <laughs> My god, I forgot he stabbed Finnegan. <laughs> I forgot about that. Holy shit. Okay, so I mean, we, we got a decent amount of wanted right now. Some paperwork. Isma Bay gifting two subs. Next level, the hype train. Pruitt Ruth. I don't. Let me see the statement.
Chat, we're 15 away from next level hype train. Is tier one is primers or oilers? Entered London to die. They trust me to be their leader. I was the one who led the operation to hunt down Harper. We just recently got out of the war with the Kettlemans. I had to pick up the pieces a little bit. They got caught in Fort Mercer. I wasn't there, so I fled the crossing. Now I came back two, three weeks ago. I ran into the man who had this vision to seek out the deputies who slaughtered my brothers and sisters. Raul led the operation, and Snow was the one who slit his throat. We got, we got into the... We got into some back and forth, and S Snow decided to show up with his friends to solve the matter. They all just, just tried to get out peacefully. When I saw Snow, all I saw was blood and wanted my revenge, so I made them an offer. I said, one of us against Snow in a knife fight. They turned down that offer. They agreed that we were at an impasse, and said and said to them they better get into cover, and they got into cover. They agreed and had a shootout began. That incident left us with... We got seven people that day. I always thought revenge was a fool's game, and I'm done being a fool. They agree? Well, it's... Okay, am I... Am I crazy? Am I dumb? I don't understand it. Hmm. I mean, I wasn't the one that pushed for first. I think first does work here. Everybody did agree to the charge, though. Uh, that like I'll talk to Pru Ruth uh, I'll talk to Pruitt about it and then we can talk to Henley and we can decide together I mean at the end of the day it's Henley's decision I'll go to bat with whatever Henley wants yo May with the five bomb Chat, we're 10 away from the next level of the hype train. Is any tier 1ers, primers, or oilers? And we're 36 away from 950. I, I think everybody agreeing to the man's... I think everybody agreeing to that shootout makes it a little bit different than like a normal like gang versus gang altercation. You know what I mean? Everybody agreeing to that shootout is different than randomly running up on each other and getting group violence Which is why I would I would argue that manslaughter should be pressed for at least the X law I think the intent to kill because they were had been hunting down those X law Does have some some there is the, the argument of some first degree there. I think you can maybe since there's an agreed maybe you can maybe you could maybe reduce the time of it, but the, the argument of first degree, and I get where Henley's coming from, is they were hunting down for revenge. And now that he's done being a fool because he got his blood doesn't mean, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make it okay. I don't know, I'll bring it up to a senior if I see them. Not a senior, a sheriff, rather. I'll bring it up to, like, Malone, and uh, I'll talk to him about it. Could maybe give like a little bit of a reduction on the time. Maybe go from five to four hundred. Yeah, I love role playing with Bug. By the way, I'm so I'm so happy that she's um, on another lawman. Oh, by the way, I have a knife called All In now. After. <laughs> after I had Ace of Spades stolen. I went all in. Heads or tails, dual revolvers. I, I, I did. I was tempted to do a heads and tails revolver. I was tempted to. I was tempted to give one to uh, one to Brooks. Dude, could you imagine how fucking pissed off? <laughs> I'm gonna piss off the PD so much if I play into the gambling stuff. 
Heads, tails, or dual revolvers. A double or nothing double barrel. I gotta save for his telegram. Not for Ruth yet. Yet. Keywords yet. Keyword is yet, baby. Look, I. I <laughs> Yo, I'd be willing to lose the badge, okay? <laughs> Look, man, could you imagine a scene where I said heads or tails, Wallaby, and one's loaded, one's unloaded? Heads or tails. And then it lands on the unloaded, and I manually flip it over. Boom, execute. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll lose the badge for that, man. Oh, fuck, they could execute me for that, man. That would be a fucking crazy scene, man. <laughs> Let's see, uh, jokes aside. I mean, Ruth respects it, man. If they act, he doesn't know they went Red Water Company, but like, I mean, even if they did, like, Ruth literally would go Red Water Company, man. If he left, if he left the department, he would go Red Water Company. Snow, however, fuck snow. Ruth hates snow, man. No accountability. He does not like snow. I need the, let me see. I need some Ruth music. I need a, I need a Ruth playlist, man. I, I need a Ruth playlist badly. Yeah, I'll use this one. I use the most recent Splendid playlist. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's what I said. I'm going to swap to the r most recent one. I don't know. I I think it's hard to... Uh, I, I'm so used to making Jabaz playlists that it's hard for me to... It's hard for me to think about a Ruth playlist. I'm in the mindset of making music for Jabaz. Man, Saint Denis really does have that Gotham vibe, huh? It has Benny Man running around. 
Wallaby definitely is the Joker. Malone Malone is is definitely Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Where's Benny Man, man? <laughs> Ruth needs to go full Two Face. I will say it, it's something that I really do love about like playing Ruth like right now he's obviously tied to law right but that's because of Malone and like Brooks and Benny and some of the characters we've trained right but I love that at his heart he's content it like we he's content with not being a deputy you know what I mean like, it's nice to have a character like that. I feel like it opens up the, uh, broaden, broadens the horizons of, uh, of the roleplay. Opens it up. Oh, but Benny's on duty. I'm gonna go to Rhodes. I'm gonna slowly make my way. Uh, I'm gonna slowly make my way west. Malone is on duty. I'm surprised he's not in the city. To be honest. Like I love I love how this horse looks, but, but like low key I'm tempted to get rid of the mane. I'm tempted to change it to a silver mane. Just because I don't want to look too much like Firefly. You know what I mean? I might go look at different manes real quick. I know. <clears throat> I wanted there to be a little bit of difference. I didn't have Firefly when I made that horse. Let's see. I wish there was a long gray one. I wonder if there is. Yo, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of like that, but I know I'm going to be in the minority for kind of liking that, to be honest. Because that's gray. I like that the black part of the main has the gray here, if that makes sense. So it's like gray, black, back to gray. I think that looks cool. 71, though. I don't remember 71.
But I also like this. But I'm also, once again, probably in the minority for it. I think going with a tail, do you think going like a tail like this is better though? Having like the hints of black in it? I kind of think, mm. Yeah, that is, that is pretty good. Do you think we do 11 or do you think we do like a, one with a little bit of dark in it? I mean, 11 looks pretty good. Let's do it. Uh, it was like slightly, like there was hints of black in it. I just don't think it looked bright enough. Yeah, that's why. That's how I felt. The dark blended in too much. Why do these rains fuck up, man? Oh, whatever. I'll deal with it. I don't know why these rains fuck up. I don't even know how these rains switched, man. Sirius is an easy perma horse, too. I do love Sirius. I think Sirius is a cool horse and a cool name. Easy perma though, in, a, in the right situation. Just like I think I could, I, I'd perma fudge in the right situation too. Aries, I'm taking with me to fucking death or giving it away right before I perma. What the hell is this? How you doing? How you doing? Find yourself? I'm doing okay. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I'll let you have that. I'm leaving anyway. All right. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, sir? Doing good. How are you? Doing all right. What's your name? Uh, Mickey. Pleasure to meet you. Who's yours? Nice to meet you, Mickey. Uh, Senior Deputy Ruth. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Deputy. Let me ask you a question, sir. Yeah, go ahead. You like jewelry? Because I see you got a lot of uh, yeah, like gold like on you, huh? Yeah, yeah like you jewelry. like jewelry. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Listen, yeah. my friend. Okay. You found the right person for I and Mickey Diamonds. I, I haven't been around the crossing. It's been about almost a year, give or take. Um, I made uh, engagement Mickey rings, you know, diamonds. necklaces in the past for fellow lawmen as yourselves, you know, especially other lawmen. I've sold them engagement rings in the past. Perhaps you're interested in such a service, you know, maybe perhaps you have a loved one or something. No, I don't have any loved ones. You don't? <laughs> no, I don't. Unfortunately. With a beautiful mug like that, I, you know, I wouldn't want to get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, uh, look, if you're ever looking for some jewelry, how about you take down my telegram? You're you're more than welcome to contact me anytime, all right? Okay, yeah, what's your telegram? It's uh, Northeast 966. You get that? Northeast 966. You get it. What kind of jewel? Just rings? Do you do necklaces? Rings, necklaces, earrings, you know, uh, custom jabs as well, you know. If you want, like, a, one of those beautiful belt buckles, I've done one of those before as well. Okay, what about, uh, what, what about bullets? <laughs> bullets? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by bullets? Like, could you... You, you want to make, like, a gold <laughs> bullet or something? Or something yeah, like, like a silver, right? silver or gold bullet, yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh, are, you gonna, are you gonna kill like some mythical creature? Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I, you never know when vampires. Vampire? There's <laughs> vampires right here. Maybe. You know, you know what? Uh, you know, I'd have to uh, talk to a gunsmith because I'm not, you know, familiar yeah, fair, with fair such enough, designs. But you know, it's something that can, you know. It, it can happen, you know, it's possible. It's possible, though. Yeah, it's possible, you know. Okay, all right. You So but you're a jeweler? That's right, I'm a jeweler. That's my trade. All right. And, uh... Oh, yes. You, you have any other ambitions, or just jewelry? Any other ambition? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, my other ambition is to get my business back up and running. The jewelry business, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like I said, you know, it's been a year since I've Ooh, been okay. back in the Ooh, okay, I got a question and, for you. Know. Now, this yeah, is sure, something I'd be very interested in. Sure, let's hear it. What about, can you can you make fancy, like, uh, like, like I drink a lot of scotch. John B. Hypers. Could you, could you make, like, a jeweled scotch bottle or, like, a jeweled, uh, a jeweled glass? Uh, like a, uh... Like an oriental style, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, this is something I could do, no problem. I'd yeah, have. Yeah, that's to, something uh, I'd definitely be interested in. I, I'd have to meet with some, you know, some glass makers, you know, that sort of thing, you know. But you know, these things are all possible, you know. What about a chalice? Ain't that all like silver and gold? Yeah, I could do that. A chalice of for scotch. A chalice of like one of those like royal cups. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, all right, yeah, I mean, I can make... The, what, what do you want in it? Do you want, like, a special... I mean, you know what I'm saying. We can... Listen, how about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you telegram me, all right? <laughs> we'll sit down. We'll all right. lay down any ideas you want. You okay. know, we'll uh, we'll get that all on paper, and I'll give you a final price, as I said. Deal. We'll telegram. I, look, I'm, I just got out of a coma, like, a day ago or two days ago, oh, so Jesus give me a little Christ. bit of time. I'm but so sorry, sir. It's okay. Yeah, I got shot in the face. I... Uh, but give give me like uh, you know give me a little bit of time to get back up and and going and work and but I'll telegram you though. You know how about this? You know how about this for an idea? All right. You get one of those you know those jeweled masks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, it's just an idea. But yeah, but I can't wear a mask to work. Howdy. Yeah, you can. Hard. Howdy, sir. Well. Well, yeah, but why would I need to wear a mask? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's to you know hide the hide the scar on your face if you if you wanted to, of course. You know, I I know some people hold it as like uh, you know I'm a I'm a bad guy, you know, something like that. Like they honor their scars, you know. But you know, it's an idea. It's an idea. Okay. Well, you know what? I I appreciate the honesty. No problem. I've always been an honest guy. All right. Anyhow, I'll uh, leave you to it. You take care of yourself, sir. You take care of yourself. I thought that guy's just walking around with a fucking pump, bro. I think he was just saying he's ugly. In the nicest way possible. Have a great day.
from Pretty Boy to being told to wear a mask. This horse is quick, man. A little quick fuck. Uh, game? Jesus. Why is... Why is there a horse here? Who the fuck hitches a horse here? Who the fuck hitches a horse here? What? I'm not going back here. I'm, I'm not, I don't even want to begin to go back here. I'm a, I'm on light duty, man. I, I'm not trying to get fucking shot. I don't know what the fuck's happening back there. Okay. Fuck, dude. Okay, if you're having a secret meeting in Saint Denis, I'm assuming somebody's back there having some sort of meeting. Hitching a horse next to a tree next to the entrance of an alleyway is not the the wisest idea. Of us. So I'm gonna make sure nobody's here, and then I'm gonna move to Rhodes. Nothing. Now leave here, best and time in your heart. I can't wait to be like I got called ugly today. <laughs> I'm gonna Sag farm so hard, man. Horizon, that's where I find the glimpse of a... Brooks, they, go, they called me ugly and told me to wear a mask. I'm transferring out of Saint Denis. <laughs> Could you imagine me telling Malone? I'm requesting a transfer, sir. They called me ugly and say to me. <laughs> Dude, he would beat the shit out of me. Malone would legit just beat the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> Percent, he'd tell me to shut up. He he just he would tell me to shut the fuck up so quickly. But then I flipped a coin and I decided to not request my transfer. <laughs> I feel like he'd tell me you want to gamble, huh? Flip a coin, heads you quit, tails you're fired. <laughs>
trying to get struck by lightning anymore, yeah? Hey there, mister. Hello. Hi, how are you? Not the best I ever been, but I was wondering, you look pretty fancy. You know, you got that big golden badge on your chest. I was wondering, maybe you had a spare dollar for a bum in need. Yeah. Thank you. What's your name, Feather? Senior Deputy Whoa, Ruth. Oh, that's a lie. Deputy Ruth? Yeah. Ain't... I, I'm not trying to be rude when I say... Ain't Ruth the lady's name, though? <laughs> what's my last name? Uh oh, what, what's your first name? Jamie. <laughs> Jamie? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Ruth, that's a good name. I'm Joseph Quinn, but... Everyone call me Hobo Joe. I'm the king of the hobos. At your service. Well, nice to nice to meet you, Hobo Joe. Yeah, you 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 the, sh the sheriff, the deputy person, feather man. Yeah, I'm, I'm senior here. deputy Ruth of Saint Denis. Oh, Saint Denis, Saint Denis. Wow. Yeah. You're doing a good job. That place is so crime free. You know, I've been walking around. Nothing bad happened to me over there. Well, I like to hear it. I'm glad. Yeah, well, nice to meet you. I gotta meet up with my buddies, though. One of them kind of hurt pretty bad, then got hit by lightning or something. Thanks for the dollar, though. I'm gonna buy whiskey with you. Bye. All right. It is kind of crazy how much character development we've had on Ruth since we made him. I mean, I, I said this during the podcast, man, but it, but it is getting to a point where I, I, I don't really see much else for Ruth. It's getting to that point. Oh, no. She's out in six days. She's out in six days, bro. Not day before. I do, I, Chad, I really do like this outfit, man. Holy shit. I think it's more noticeable with long hair, too, Lynn. Somebody pointed that out to me after I showed it off on stream. And I, it was not intentional, actually. I think it's the best one for a cheek scar. That's why I went with it. Dude, it's crazy, man. Look at this. This? Yeah, we do need to change this to be black. Unless that's just dirt on it, but... This and... These two are my favorite city outfits, man. These two are actually my favorite city outfits. Th this one's cool, too. I mean, we, it's getting to a point where all of our city outfits are kind of flushed out. It looks good. Howdy. Sorry, can you help me? How you doing? I'm quite alright, how are you? 
I'm doing okay. Got coffee. Yes, we have coffee and we have packaged seasoned meat if you would like some as well. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take a cup of coffee and some packaged meat. All right, I'll get it to you in a second. I'm sorry to ask you this, but would you like seasoned meat with mint or thyme? Thyme. Perfect. Cause I ain't got thyme. Put sunglasses, bro. Sick. I don't know who the fuck would eat. How are you today, though? No, I'm okay. Right, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, I'm, I'm alright. All right, how much do I owe you? Uh, it's whatever you can muster. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Enjoy. Bro, I'm eating. <laughs> That's a Jabaz nods, bro. I just look uh long sleeve. With the bandana, I guarantee you this doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look horrible long sleeve. It doesn't look amazing, but it doesn't look horrible. I don't know what the fuck the wolf is in reference to if Thorn's not out. Also, I'm sorry, but I don't care who. Mint on meat sounds awful. Mint in general is pretty bad, but mint on meat sounds extra bad.
Who the fuck is leaf blowing Dan? <laughs> Why is he facing close to 1300 days? <laughs> what the fuck? Assault with a deadly, assault with a deadly, assault with a deadly against a peace officer, kidnapping of a peace officer, robbery of a peace officer, criminal threats. <laughs> I like the criminal threats on there. Dude, if if leaf blowing Dan got mad lad, he'd get a fucking bullet in the head, bro. Dirty Doug, it does fit that group. Slick Rick, Dirty Doug, Leaf Flowing Dan, and Ratchet. I don't know why that that just sounds like quite the the quite the the, the squad. <laughs> I love this knife, Chet. We got all in, and we got Mad Lad. Mad Lad looks so good, dude. I'm curious how something would look though. I wish the red looked better on gold. I wish the red looked better on gold. That still looks pretty sick though. I think blue looks coolest on stuff. I want to do something like I want to do this and then do the engravings inverted. And, uh, call Good Luck Charm. Probably give it to, uh, Brooks for Christmas, since she's my secret Santa person. Because Lizzie stirs 24-7. How you doing? I want to do heads and tails. I, I think I want to do heads and tails as like maybe black and black and silver, but with blue and red etching is what I'm thinking. One's red, one's blue. Greetings, amigo. Greetings. All right. Um, let me go through just some reports while I'm eating. I heat. Yeah.
Yeah, Silver Lining is not a bad one either. I was thinking Good Luck Charm and then maybe making her a Lich Field. That's Silver Lining. But like, I'd have to do Black and Silver. I don't know, we can fuck around with it. Okay, we could make the good luck charm. We could make... Okay, I think... Good, what do you think looks... Okay, hear me out. Good luck charm for a lich field or good luck charm for a navy? And then silver lining as the... I think silver lining as a revolver, good luck charm as a lich field would, would probably be good. You want to just make this real quick? We have $2,000. We could make... We could make one of it super quick. I'm in the mood to make stuff and I just, I, I'm on light duty anyway. In true Ruth fashion, I need to I need to go out. I need to know I'm I'm gonna die. I need to write letters, and I need to basically admit that Ruth has feelings for Brooks after he dies and carry on the curse. The true curse. I love how all of my characters have a curse. I'm finna break that curse. When I asked Cesare to go to Guarma with me. I do it. I do it. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. You work here? Yeah. Do you guys have a navy? You suck. Uh, no, we do not. Okay. Sorry. Do you, do you mind if I grab it? Do you, want, do you have any, like, is there any in the cabinet? I'll even, I'll pay you extra if there's any. No, I would have to go right out to St. Denis to go grab one from the warehouse. Okay. Hmm. But cur currently, currently we do not. Uh, if Flood was around, he would probably have one in his locker. I'll pay you $250 if you go ride out and get a Navy. Yeah, I would go, I'd go do it. I honestly got nothing better to do. All right. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> um, you mean like less than five minutes? Yeah, take your time. You smell, man.
Why are you so down? <laughs> Is there, are you okay? You look sad and you smell. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Please, anybody, I need help. <laughs> That's a good interaction. Yeah, I mean, it is slow, but we're also not allowed to go on duty, really. So I'm kind of chilling. If people want to talk to me, they can. I'm probably going to be around for a little bit more and then doing some jabass. I'm just kind of going office to office, checking, chilling. Man, Ruth is really not looking good. Did you imagine this guy never comes back? It's the first time a young has seen snow. Hey, man. <laughs> How's your day? You having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. If Wallaby requests 
release. I do think it would be funny to show up, search him, and take our $500 back from poker. Oh, shit. She's gonna think I'm, like, dead. Howdy. Hey. How you doing? Alive. It's good. Glad to hear it. Get more used to being up and around and moving. Looks like you're moving a little quicker. I'm riding a horse today. Well, <laughs> I say that, but it's an Arabian. <laughs> a pony? Yeah, I'm riding a pony. Few people called me ugly. <laughs> Who called you ugly? I don't know. Some people in say today. Dechenzos? No, no. Oh, really? Really? Yep. Civilians. Oh, well, I'm gonna hitch up. <laughs> Where did Max go? I don't know. He ran away. Hmm. It's because he saw your face. <laughs> I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. He's not the only one. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> raining cats and dogs. That's oh, okay. Damn, I need some new shit. <laughs> Check tips. Ooh, dice is a good one. If Max called me ugly, I'd say nice foot. <laughs> That'd be so mean. If he if he made fun of my scar and I made fun of his foot, that would be the meanest battle of 1901. I'm starting to think he's not coming back. When everybody's away for Christmas, I'm gonna do a bit when they get back. I'm gonna do a bit when they get back. Hundred bass. I I am really considering going to Guarma though, Chad. Especially while it's just me. I feel like this guy should be back by now.
Yeah, it'd be cool to see it before Billy's the leader. Before Jabilly conquers it. I guy just got scammed. How'd you get scammed? I gave a guy two hundred fifty dollars. Asked him to go get me a navy, and uh, it's been ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I don't All think right. he's showing back up. Mm, who's that? I like this outfit. A little bit of hint of purple in it. I do like it. Yeah? Yeah. Still looks comfy. And got a little coat. Mm, I like that coat. <laughs> work, work, work. Little whiskey in between. Three people in Valentine, two in Blackwater. Dude, what a squad. I can't remember the other name. <laughs> Who's the... Who got... <laughs> Yo, Finnegan, bro. That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Really starting to think this guy ain't coming back. Yeah, I don't think so either. He said he needed five. <laughs> you definitely did. You even get his name? No. <laughs> Why are you laughing? A little trusting, huh? Well, he said he worked there. <laughs> you didn't ask his name. You just trusted he did. Well, he mentioned Flood. Everybody knows Flood works there. I asked if he had a navy, and he said, "Well, no, we don't have one." I said, "Do you? Yeah, are you sure you don't have one? Like in like the storage or the cabinets back there?" And he like, "No, I'd have to go to the Saint Denis vault." And I was like, "Okay, well, <laughs> would you be willing to do it for two hundred fifty dollars?" He said, "Yeah, I got nothing else going on. Sure." <laughs> This wind's really got an You got us, some huh? scammed. <laughs> Why did you need a navy? Oh, we got a drink. <laughs> you allowed to drink? I'm not sure. She said she did say 48 hours. Yeah, what's it been? 24? 48. Has it been? Yeah. Oh, I guess time flies. Yeah, time does fly when you're not in a coma. I, I cleared myself for duty. <laughs> you cleared yourself for duty? Yep. Yeah, same. No, you're not. I'm sorry, but if something happens, I'm getting out there. I don't care if I can barely walk. Yeah, what I are you going to do if you can barely walk? I can shoot from cover. I get... No. You should just sit in this Rhodes office and rest. Yeah, I'm sorry, but if Gavin Summers and his dumbass squad comes to a town, I'm I'm going to that town to back up you. 
Does that guy have a mustache? Yeah. Go, 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 go. That guy, that guy might be the guy. He's maybe he's coming back with your gun. <gasps> he is. I don't think you got scammed. Woo! Let's fucking go! All right. Oh, sorry it took so long. Oh, it's okay. I had to get a couple dock workers to help me move some crates around. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, you keep the ammo for yourself. Ah, uh, uh, you get a free set, a free round of six for every no, seriously, pistol keep purchase. It, it's fine. I, I, sure? I got, yeah, I got, uh, you know, I'm a deputy, so I'll be fine. Okay. It's a little thing I like to do when I do a gun sale. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I, I say that to everybody, though. You know, I'd either have you keep the ammo or give it to the next customer and give them an extra six. Uh, can you check your pockets real quick? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. Okay. Oh no. I I don't know if I'm blind, but I don't or I can't feel it in my own pocket unless you wanna take a look. I could, I could I, take I, a look, I, I'm sure. Yeah, I, honestly I I don't it seems like I don't see it. Whoa. Cause you saw it when I was trying to hand it to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Huh. Maybe try taking a nap. Yeah, let me let me try doing that real quick. I, apo I apologize. It's it's okay. You know, I was up so good for a total of 30 seconds. Kono, Kono, Kono! No Navy. I'll just let him keep the 50 bucks. I'll go buy a new one if, if, if it's gone. You bitching on getting too damn close to me, huh? Come on then! Okay, that's fantastic. Oh my god. 
Are they okay? <laughs> Nicely done. Yes, but I think I think we should go. I don't trust Brady's not going to respond alone. I don't know if he knows. I'm nervous. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just standing at the wrong spot on my horse. Um, That's I'm. Right. I'm gonna have to go back to the warehouse. Well, Joel, or I could, it's, it's okay. Or don't worry about it. I, I can reimburse you. No, uh, don't, don't, don't reimburse me. It's okay. I legitimately, I'm baffled. And I also feel bad because oh, it's okay. Don't worry about him. Well, if you want, I could take your telegram number down and at least telegram you when I get one. It's it's okay. It's, oh, I'm sorry, God. sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's okay. Look, I'm having a bad day. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Here. Okay. Just, I hope we have a better day, okay? All right. Are you sure you don't want me to hold telegram on. you when I do get one? Or no, I'll be okay. I'll be all right. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be all right. All right. Well, I appreciate um, the effort, though. Yeah. It. They at least make it up if once the flyers go up, I'll, I'll do like half off or something on a. Gun raffle ticket or something for you. All right, perfect. That there we go. That's because uh, because I f Wednesday flood should be probably giving me a s stack of posters to go put out. All right, so. that, yeah, that works perfectly for me. All right, all right. Nice to meet you. I'm senior deputy Ruth, by the way. All right, <laughs> pleasure, Ruth. That's Sam. Right. Nice to meet you. Did you exchange fisticuffs with that man and then said nice to meet you? No, he went to. I gave that man two hundred and fifty dollars without knowing his name and asked for a navy. And he left for 20 minutes and brought me back a navy, but it fell into the ground and nobody was able to get back. <laughs> Wait, hold on a damn I know we're in a rush books, but hold on. Yeah. Brady is responding to Summers and Strawberry Long. What? Yeah. I don't know if he actually is or if he's going to go try to grab the hunting party for Summers right now, but we're going to head to Strawberry to check. Why do you dress like me? <laughs> what? <laughs> you owe me ice cream. You owe me back my face. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you'd get me ice cream. All right. Well, come on, Putin. Let's go get some ice cream by kicking in some of them's teeth. All right, look, I'll come with. What happened? To... So what's he responding to? There was a tip that Summers is in Strawberry right now, oh, and God. he's okay. responding. All right. Oh, Don't know for sure he's this. going alone, but Wait, he's I the only one that responded. All right. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have flat cap, though. <laughs> well, you got black pants. I got blue pants, you know. I got a flat cap. You don't got a flat cap. Close enough. I have white hair, you're screwed Well, I, I'm gonna have white hair when I cut my hair. When I dye it again. Yeah. Are you gonna dye it back? Yeah, I'm just waiting to get fully cleared. <laughs> Figured while I'm relaxing, I'll, uh... You look like a hobo? I'm, I don't look like a hobo. It's okay, it's Birdie. It's right. <laughs> you know, you you ruined Manius for me, by the way. I can't look at his tie and not, not think eggplant now. Uh, I'm sorry, I ru ruined your dream of him? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I think I improved it. <laughs> Picking it up. Picking it up. Picking it up. Rock. Oh. 
I love my pony. <laughs> what was that? All right. I have the biggest horse, and then I have the littlest pony. Yeah, it's not comfortable. Rest in horses. You know, if I lead a patrol on my Arabian, I, I think I'm gonna start saying rest in ponies. Summer's on his big black horse and on the little pony. <laughs> it's not about the size, it's about the speed and how you use it. I tell him that, uh, that maybe we should swap horses so he has a horse that fits his new reputation. Ooh, tiny. Alright, picking it up. Picking it up. Left off route. God, Creolos are terrible in that. They're certainly not called Seolus. No. Thank you. I absolutely clubbed that joke over the head. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Bro, our horse is magnetized to me. Just a little guy. Have you seen breeding? From where? Okay. Okay.
Okay. Nice landing surface, ma'am. I'll be for you sometime. God fucking damn it. What? Summers has Brady. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? He got kidnapped from the telegram station here. Where's Pruitt? He just walked to the telegram station. By the way, I... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'll bring the bandana back out. I got a purple bandana. And don't you stand like these? I do. Yes. I, I yes. do. <laughs> Brady got kidnapped. Yeah. Okay. She... Yep. I tried to get him to take me instead, but, uh, he wanted Brady for whatever reason. North Not sure East. what he thinks a deputy that's been around for a week's gonna give him, but... I suppose at the end of the day he's getting what he wants. He wants Marty Malone, and Malone's after him now, so... You don't think it had anything to do with Max being used to being part of Sam's Club, do you? Do they have any inner connections there? You know, as far as I can remember, I think Summer's Gang is the only sons of bitches that Sam Bass didn't piss off and go to war with. <laughs> but I could be wrong. I got no clue. Never talked to the Sam's Club phone. Hey, you're not missing much. Me neither. <laughs> I only shot him. Alright, well, it looks like they're going up after him, so that's good. Yeah, they went up north towards Big Valley and Malone and crew headed up that way. Um, there was a tip that came in. Uh, I don't know if anyone took care of it. I don't see paperwork. I'm going to write some up. But North Anders was here recently. He stole a poncho from the Rangers and he took a, a white axe and threw it into their wall. I helped him uh, take the axe out. Stationed in town, right? There are no medics on duty at the moment. so oh. I, I tried talking to them. wagon of them came in earlier. Yeah, I tried talking to the medics, but... um. One clocked off and went to bed, and the other one said they were going north. Uh, I tried telling them. Um, they also said uh, that they're. Uh, I have the never seen this out are on strike right now, so they're not getting Bugs tips. just says good fashion, like me. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting because the tip line people are still delivering them to our desk. Yep. Yep. I don't know. If that was them just saying that so they don't have to work, or if they're actually telling the truth. Did, uh, did mine come through, by the way? No. Alright, I'll go send it again, Ruth, I guess. did you get a new outfit again? <laughs> I don't know why it didn't send. Um, it's... Yeah. Did you want to get my twin for the day? Into my hand, and then I got into it. So said he wanted to be my twin for the day. I didn't even know you oh. had that outfit, okay? You didn't want to be my twin? Wait, well, no, nice jeez, you guys are I, twins, what the heck? Well, no, I wanted to be your... Well, now I want to be your twin. Now I'm going to lean into it. You better go get some <laughs> black pants into? and a tie. You may dress it like me. <laughs> I made, I made it... It's fine, I dress like Ruth, apparently, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could go put on my olive green jacket. <laughs> you know what's better is I could go put on my olive green jacket wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys? I, okay, so I Kramer got me, or not Kramer? Sorry, Weller got me a, a outfit for becoming a deputy, and oh boy, I'm gonna go grab it so you guys can see it because he. Uh, I didn't. I, I'll just hold on. No, let me just okay, come back. Right. Yeah, mm, hold on. These door, I swear, I hate these doors. I hate when our clipboard is this full. Uh, yeah, they just un, uh, archived all the GDFs. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Might I end noticed up causing that. some clipboard issues. 
Uh, it's possible we're discussing that on a senior level, and we will get back to you on that, because I know you did a lot of the archiving of them before. Yeah, because they're in the directory. Once, usually, you get, like, 37, 38 pages, it starts sticking a lot. So yesterday, I was just wearing this outfit, and I introduced myself uh, to someone in Valentine. And they said, well, you look more like a Woody. And I said, what the heck's a Woody? And then I told Beckwith and Maple that, and Beckwith told me to say, you have a friend in me. And then I, I you ever thought about I, doing a brown hat? Um, n no, but I, I also let them know my horse's name is Bullseye. <laughs> oh. Really? It really is. Well, not my new one, but my fox trotter is. I like that's a bad omen, calling a horse Bullseye. Yeah, it doesn't... No, I, I named them that way so I could go get a discounted right if I go right like the wind, Bullseye. I like the outfit, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maple told me I gotta take it off, and that was a, a, a command, or a, whatever the word is. What was his reason? Has Maple looked in the mirror? Because he, he, he said he could see why I was called Woody, and he lost his, uh, you know, started laughing just like me and Beck with. And then Maple also said my gun looks like a toy. Well, he looks like a tool, so what's the difference? Well, he looks like Santa. I say you should wear whatever you want to wear. like Krampus. I Excellent. always do. I always say that. I don't really care what people say. That's why I wear bright colors most of the time. Also, I'm pretty sure that a superior officer can't just give you an order to go change clothes. It's not exactly how it works. Okay. So. Can I, now, can, if you if you I were wearing something inappropriate for work, then sure, but uh, that's not inappropriate by any means. Okay. I yeah, also like if did... I pinned my badge onto my chest and I didn't wear a shirt, I I yeah, I'd probably get told to change. Why would <laughs> yeah. you do something like that? You well, bleed. Well, I wouldn't. I'm just giving an example. Oh well, I'm glad you wouldn't do that. I would think you might be a little loony if you did something like that. Not quite that loony. Hey, Pruitt, did you see your FAO on the whole shootout situation? I did. I was just reading over that. Yeah. Okay. So they admit to having a list of people they were hunting, <laughs> and they don't want to make it first to Yeah, that's what, that, well, that's what I was going to talk so, to you, you both yeah, about. Is Yeah. I, I really didn't... <laughs> I, I'm also confused as to why they let this fellow walk away when he says he was there. Um, also... In regards to first degree murder, he says, I saw snow and all. You saw snow and what? Yeah, I think you need to clear your throat. Marky Fraser is at Riggs. Uh, it. What? Oh, or Ruth, um, there's someone outside named Williams asking for a senior deputy. Hostage situation. Howdy! Don't move. There's already two of us out here. You with the green jacket come towards me slowly, and you put your rifle down. What's the point of this? Ah, oh, there's a great point. Now, come forward, please. I'm not gonna ask again. Pater patter, let's skedadder. Alright, give me a moment here. Okay, stand next to your pal here, put your hands up also. Okay, do you really need two- Do you really need two hostages, Bella? Oh, fuck. 
I'm not beating you, I'm just having you stand over here. So if you're gonna Marky, keep itching, hit you. Being straight is me. If you're gonna keep whining, I'll just fucking shut you up myself. I'm going around the back. Don't stand next to your pillow. I'm not gonna ask again. Last time. What's the point of this, Marky? Oh, it's not him. It's me. Honestly, it's him. Just put your goddamn hands up. What the fuck is happening? What what is happening? What what exactly is the the purpose of this? I'm gonna well, highly take a little ride out the those with me, fella. Whatever you say, pal. Face the door. Now you, sir, with the blue jacket. You as well. I'm not. I prefer to be left out of this. You don't mind. Are you answering my question? Are you a deputy or not? I said I'm not law, but I prefer to be okay. a deputy. Okay. I'm sorry. I misheard you. If you're not law, I have no issue with you. I'm just taking you off your belt so you don't harm me. You sure you wear a badge, correct? Yeah, it's right there on my chest, fella. Perfect. No, it's not sure. Uh, yes, it's him. So, can I, can I talk to you? What, what exactly are you guys trying to do yeah, out can here? Yeah, we know exactly what the hell this is about? I'm gonna need a little bit of conversation. Marquis, what is this about? Give me a moment, is that, is that rope? Yeah, it is. How you doing, Mr. Frazier? What, yeah, what exactly is happening here? Uh, uh, we just robbing Pruitt real quick. Okay, you're you're robbing Sorry. Pruitt. Yeah. So you what? You want to rob Pruitt? You want to rob this fella, and then you guys are gonna leave town? No. Oh, um, I would be honest. Who am I speaking to? Here? I'm Senior Deputy Ruth. All right, Mr. Ruth. My name is Bear John Newt. I'm not sure if you've heard of my name, but uh. I've not. Okay, well, this sheriff's office, seeing the need, and as well Landsberg, are checked off my list. We have a few more to go, so me and well, uh, Mr. Prude here are gonna take a little ride, have a little look in a specific evidence walker, and you can have him back unharmed. I give you my word for it. I mean, I, I can't let you take a fucking senior deputy to, to uh, another well, town. It's, uh, it's happening regardless. You Cleo's here as well, so we got two hey. outside, me and her. So, Mr. Proof, if you don't mind, I'm not going to this horse, and uh, we can make things real easy. I'm not going to let you, you take a senior deputy to another town. You're not? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> crap. Why are you fucking. Oh. Alright, well, at least you get the coma. fuck. <laughs> Back to a fucking coma. Bear John is a psychopath. Holy shit! Pearson is a fucking psychopath, man! I'm just gonna get y'all in here, safe. I'll grab Pro too. Holy shit! Bruh. Okay, I'll be in. I just wanted to converse with him! Dude, I I have been on a fucking roll of getting shot. Okay. What the fuck? Well, slipping back, slipping back.
shit. Why? Holy shit. Okay, well. Ugh. Sir, how about that? I need hey, you Sarah. to send a tip for me. Dude, am I really gonna miss another senior meeting? Immediately. Sir? Would you be able to send a tip for medics, please? And also a tip to Law Shootout in Strawberry? Finnegan, where are you? Did they still take Pruitt? No. Uh, no, no, okay, he's in here. Right. All right, I'm going to send a tip. I'll be back. Pruitt, Yo, I'm splendid with the 50 bomb. Yeah. 35 away from 1K. I, I don't know. I, like, I don't even think I did anything wrong there. I was just expecting Sorry. to negotiate, chat. Here, buddy. Pick. Let me get you in a more comfortable space. Hello, do you need a medic? <laughs> oh, God, the yeah. <laughs> oh, Huxley, can you... Huxley, right, can you come unlock the door? Medic's coming in. Alright, you know what? I'm not going, man. We got a 13. Fuck it. Okay. I'm doing some injury roleplay, though. I'm gonna let the medics do some injury roleplay on me. Yeah. Okay. I'm in. Uh, how'd I... Howdy, Liz. Uh, who needs who needs scene first? Oh, shit. Um, sorry. Do we have I any don't idea? Who's the worst? Uh, I don't know who's the worst. I believe so far Ruth has been shot in the chest. Uh, bullets lodged. You in the take chest. care of my deputies first, Liz. Um, uh, wait, who's been shot in the chest? Sorry, I don't know deputies. Uh, Fell in uh, the blue, all blue uh, gentleman over here. They ain't not to be mistaken right for the other blue deputy. Uh, it's lodged <laughs> in his chest. Who still? Who did you pack? And, and then, who did you not pack? Ruth's and Cleo's been packed. I haven't done. Proof. Okay. How you looking, Henley? And well, I'm looking up at the ceiling. Oh. But I am mostly okay. I think. I think they hit my shoulder a little bit though. Has Cleo been looked at? Okay. All right. I'm gonna check this man. Stay on. Oh, I'm sorry. Are oh, you sorry? Get them washed out. They you know sick. I am. Don't you dare think I'm not. Right. I'll tell you. I better get a cookie after this. Oh boy, you guys are all getting lots of cookies and hot cocoa. There you go.
Chat, we're 35 away from uh, 1K subs and tier 1 is Primers or Oilers. Okay. Has anyone not been tended to yet? Uh, the one in the corner by the door over here. Oh, I don't okay. think so. Pruitt's been bandaged. Okay. Brooks, can you help me up? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys got shot. You're okay. I'm glad uh, uh, there was no cover where I was at, so I yeah, decided to push up on the hill to be a uh, cover fire, and then I flanked the last two. Did they get away? No, nope, we got all of them. Oh my god, they got we all of them! Other fellow were behind the building and I Who's track record them. of de-escalating? That's that's literally like not on me, man. Thank you. I it was this guy needs a senior, and then it turned into a, a double hostage, and then I was like, okay, I can't let you leave town, man. And then I I, I can't let you leave town. Okay, shoots. Like there is no working with. <laughs> Maybe the scar really. I just feel I've intended to yet. Check. The one by the desk, yes. I at least packed his wounds. <laughs> Bear no, John thought he that saw a zombie. <laughs> nope, you're getting cookies, don't you? You guys deserve it more than I do. That seems like you do most of the work. <laughs> I don't think so. It was a team effort. I feel bad because I was right there in the line of fire. I was just trying to be, uh, predict their next move. Yeah, how dare you get in proper positioning? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got the proper positioning. How dare you be smart? No. I just been taking notes. He's doing fine. I'm in. And I just wanted to flank instead of getting flanked this time. I get it, Greg. I should have communicated with you. That was my bad. <sighs> oh, Ow. Has this fellow been packed? Yeah, I've packed all of them now. I can't believe we got them, man. That, that's crazy. Dude, me and Fruit really got gunned down for them all to get them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was Cleo looking. I like dog shit. Yeah, she's. Get me on my feet. Okay, I can right. do that. There you go. Um, do you have a bag on you? I can go grab one. I don't. I'll just use mine. I really need to take a piss. Make sure this one's been packed. I got shot mid negotiation. I, I got hit with the Kennedy special. This one looks like Mark P. Is, is it easier for you to do medical up here and not downstairs? Uh, yes, but I'm, I'm pedal. Oh, pedal. I'm sorry you look like Liz. <laughs> it's okay. Have we I met pedal? I do have uh, 2K on me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, pedal. It's okay. You're fine, Huxley. Okay. Uh, not that we're aware of. Uh, can I do anything to help? Yeah, I think we have everybody. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to try to help him to his feet. Is there anybody that hasn't been looked at yet? No, I made it a bag. Did I'm you search this one? Oh. Yeah, I have one. I gotta go take Sorry, a piss. Cleo. Uh, the game will go out there alone? I mean, I just, I think... I don't know. I mean, the smart decision is obviously stay inside, but to get on their feet, I like talking face to face not. with characters. They still need doctors. Still get them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 
I think it's better for the dialogue and the roleplay. Yeah, exactly. Showing face is good. That's why I did that. It hey, wasn't a tactical I'm thing. I'm sorry. We only have one doctor a year in hell. She's doing a great job. Oh, thanks, Huxley. Yeah. Okay. He might just need a minute to wake up. Okay. This person needs checked. Hey, they picked his wounds. Shake him over. Don't get him up yet. Okay. Uh, these two are cuffed. I was gonna say no other injuries besides the okay. face. Did you search everything else? Yeah, exactly. They can't come inside, so I felt it's more of an etiquette thing to go out there and talk face to face. In my opinion, I think there are certain situations where it's completely called for to stay inside, but my personal preference is face to face for the dialogue and the scene. Either way, we're 35 away from 1K. I'm gonna go take a piss, and then we're gonna wake up. You okay? Ruth. Uh, the medical kit takes a little longer to get in there. Let's not jump to conclusions yet. Brooks, let's not jump to conclusions. Our people were in Big Valley. Plus, we got injured here that still need taken care of. Yeah. Ah, the true prank. I was AFK. I'm dead. You better not go down on me now, you son of a bitch. <coughs> I'm not dead, I'm not dead. Just about uh, a fucking shot to the face. Ain't allowed to die yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm just taking a nap. Uh, let me start the paperwork. I think Brooks is starting it. Let's see if he can help with it. Right. Did you start the paperwork? Hey, okay. Did you start the paperwork? Ruth. <laughs> what? Don't pull on me. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I want to do the paperwork, so that's what I'm asking. Did you start? Yeah, there's a spot just because I had to put evidence in. Um, okay. There's three. Shooty McShooter three injured pants by Van Horn. assaults Beckwith. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, 
I'm gonna start working on this, okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> Serious, I'm okay, all right? I promise. Clash door and paperwork prank. Alright, he robbed you. Oh yeah. He took my navy and my Litchfield. I got both back. Uh, he also took uh, two stacks of bandages, some ammo, and uh, handcuffs. A couple of them got away. They might come back to try to break out the others. A cu a couple of them got away. How many fucking were there? More than I thought. Because the one that was talking got away. I don't think. Can Marquis choose a fucking group? Like, one day I see him, he's riding around with fucking CD and J Bass's fucking chuckle fucks. The next time <laughs> I see him running around with fucking Ronnie Rivers and his chuckle fucks, <laughs> now he's running around with this Bear John fucker. Who, who all did we get in custody? We have Marquis, someone Darkwood, and I don't know who this third one is. Luca fucking Darkwood. It's who that Darkwood fella is. All right, Bear John, it. I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah, What's yeah. The... All right, for... That fella by the stairs, I took a thing off him, labeled Bear John Newcomb, so... Okay, uh... Okay, I think this guy's, this guy's good. Robbery of a peace officer. Uh, this one? Uh, Robbery over 500, too. Yep. Uh, I mean, attempted kidnapping of a public servant. Yep. What do you want to hit him with for the shootout? Tempted? Um, I mean, it was. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't. I don't know what to call this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna he, lie, considering he didn't really give us much to go off. I kind of want to <laughs> say fucking attempted second degree murder, but that, that's you know, I'll be nice. Of, uh, I'm gonna be honest we'll just, with you though. I don't know what else to call this. <laughs> Let's do participation in the shootout while fleeing. Since they did flee and get shot at. Okay. They should probably get something for hitting me and you. You unarmed and me negotiating, though. I don't disagree. Um. Maybe we could do, uh, we could do participation. In, we could drop participation in a shootout. Oh, fuck, no. We could do participation in a shootout, and then whoever was the one that opened fire on me and you, Bear John, we could give him maybe like a, a halved time attempted second. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that then. And we'll give the we'll we'll only give him that. We'll give the other accessory and half it. Does that sound fair to you too? Can yeah, I get in here really quick? I'm sorry to need get a bag. Yeah. Yep. Jesus. Okay. Right, so we're half in this. Take a seat. I know Marquis was here. Where, did, where is books at? I think she went to Telegram, I think. Mm, well, the standoff and the exam, they lost the group, but our group is okay. Sounds like they're here. Shootout. Anyone home? Yeah. 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 Is everybody all right? What mm, happened? We're uh, all getting looked at slowly but surely. Hold on. I'll explain it outside. I'll explain it outside. We have. <laughs> so we had this bear John fucker <laughs> show up with Marquis and a bunch of other fuckers, and. They had John Williams hostage outside, and uh, they said they needed a senior. Oh god, that's murder. <clears throat> Half it though. More inclined to reduce some of these. 
they're also they're also they also had a they had a civilian kidnap too, man. Fucking Christ. And him be something Luca Darkwood. I just got a status report. It sounds like everything's fucked here. Fuck, I keep doing the, the fucking murder. You know, I blame you dressing like me as the reason why I got shot. <laughs> because they realized that now, since I look like you, I'm a target. I'm sorry. I'll it's get you ice cream if you want. But you're gonna both get ice cream. Okay. some stew. I just need a warm hug. I'll give you a warm hug, but there might be some blood involved. Thank you. We can combine blood in a weird, non-real, ritualistic way. Oh, you alright? I'm fine. I believe they right. will try to reach out to us. That definitely didn't hurt. On the tip line at some point. Like it hurt a little. That definitely hurt a lot. I'm taking him that far. It says that they want to have a word with Brady. <laughs> No, Did, who, when I asked, I, I so know. when I asked why he was taking Brady, I said, "What Wait do you a think a deputy oh. that's only been on the job a week is going to get you?" And he said, "Marty fucking Malone." Okay, so, fair enough. I have a number or, of advantage. They're going over stronghold. Yeah. Well, I there's agree. six with them now. There's six with on black horses. So they either met up with some six. Yeah, yeah, yeah one of those would be Brady. Brady, Brady wears they, black, uh, so. Well, hold on. I spoke with Rabbit yesterday. They were they were kidnapped by Summers recently, and they were looking for information about something as well. You think they're yes, taking Max somewhere? Yes, we already somewhere? know. They, okay. He doesn't know that information. Okay. The only people here that probably know that information are actually Malone and I. Yeah, and I fucking tell the oh. fucker myself what information he wants to know. He wants to know who sold him out. Like, I'm trying not to, like, hit them with a, f a fuck ton of time. They did, they did a lot of shit there, though. Robbed Pruitt, attempted to kidnap him, kidnapped a civilian, robbery. And, like, it, I don't know. To me, that, that should be attempted murder. Like, I'm sorry, but that for, for me, that should be approval for a second. I'd even argue that going half on, on that is being fair. The half on the attempted second. Mm -mm. 
I mean, even then, like, if you have a long... So here's the thing. If you have a long negotiations, I think... I think it's fair to shoot during negotiations and not get attempted murder. Honestly. Call me crazy, but, like, if it's... <sighs> Hello. Ruthie, you okay? Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm all right. How many were there of these fuckers? There, what, four? I three? only saw the three, but Brooks said some got away, so I don't know. We 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 have three in there. Uh, I didn't see if Marquis in there. Marquis Frazier was a part. Marquis is a part of plus yeah, one gang Marquee's now, Malone. Marquis in there. Oh, he's, he's a plus he's one? Yeah. 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 Wonderful. I mean, I thought he was part of the Kettleman gang. Uh, he has been with, like, five different gangs in the last two weeks. I was really? just say, okay. just plus one in there. Add him to the list. Which day of the week? Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I mean... Day of the week gang? Yeah, he's the new peaches, <laughs> is he? Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, day of the week gang plus one gang. Uh, but... yeah, last relevance to anything <laughs> gang, motherfucker. <laughs> Sounds about right. But, uh, I mean, we got, I think we got two or three in there. And there might be some that got away, so right. we should be able to get warrants out on them. I, 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 How I think... many people do we have on duty right now? Because I want to make sure if you're transporting these folks, you have a full complement of people. Because like is not, they're going to try and jailbreak them. Uh, yeah, we got, I don't know how many we got on duty at the moment. Well, we got yeah. plenty of people on duty, so, so make sure you get a full group of six before you do any transports. Well, the problem is we got one, two, three. We got wounded as well now. Four, five. Five or six of those deputies that are on duty are, are right here, not including your crew, so. Oh, God damn it. Let's see, we got myself, Ruth, Huxley, Brooks, Cleo, and Henley. Yeah, so I've got six here, and at least three of us have been shot. Four, actually. <laughs> I think it was just me and Huxley that <sighs> made it out of that. The only thing for Bolton, I mean for Bolton, the only thing for Summers we have to go on is a group of riders heading east. I say we kill two birds with one stone. Those that aren't wounded, we'll take our group of six and we'll do the transport after the paperwork's done. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm working on the charges right now. Because at this point, I don't think we're going to find Summers. I mean... He's going to be found when he wants to be found. What like a rat. With, he's going to reach out. He's still, uh, as he far still as we him? know, they still have him. Mm -hmm. We saw him with a deputy at the Big Valley. We and then he fucking scarpered when he realized he was at a huge disadvantage for terrain. He was trying to lure me into uh, another unfavorable position, but I didn't take the bait. <laughs> God damn it. Bro, who did they have kidnapped when they came up? Uh, John Williams. We should find out if he was taken from here. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. I think that's that him standing right there. Him? Did one right. of you out here, I think he's uh, still here. Yeah, it's him. Mr. Mr. Williams? The cigar. Did one of you out here search, uh, Bear? Because I have, um, I have eight cubes that weren't his. He gave back to me. Uh, maybe Pruitt? Okay. Right. More work on these charges. Cleo. Did you guys find Mac? Henley. Again? All got shot. Down. We don't know where. Maybe he was. And Pruitt. Alright. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I got shot. Where? In the chest. Have you been treated? Yeah, yeah. You're not just saying yeah, yeah to like throw me off the scent, are you? I mean, I woke up laying on the floor, so yeah, I've been, I've been treated. You guys have the paperwork covered. Sit down. Yeah, me, me and Pruitt are gonna figure out the charges. Okay. Sure, go ahead. I think he's cuffed. Right now, I mean, we're trying to figure out the uh, the civilian. Right now, they're looking at robbery of a peace officer, robbery over 500. Um, me and Pruitt are probably gonna discuss the participation in a shootout versus attempted murder. For that situation. So the fellow downstairs, his name is Bear. Um, Bear John. I don't know. He just told me Bear. I can go double check. You want to know a Bear John robbed a rabbit and Hearst. Do you want to go? Yeah. If you want to talk to him and, and figure out if uh, make sure it's Bear John. I, I somebody said it was Bear John, but I'm not positive. Yeah. Um, um John who else William. do we have down there? Is Hearst here? Because you could identify him. I'm sure. Who who else do we have downstairs? Uh, no one's downstairs. The other two are still up here. It's uh, Marquis Frazier. Down there. We have Marquis. 
and Darkwood was what his weapons was marked as. You need anything, Clue? Yeah, Luke the Darkwood. And Darkwood. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, so right Why now. Why did they start shooting? How many more did How ass. many more did they have? I don't know for sure. I have no idea. I have no idea what went on here. That you said Honestly, others got I away. Couldn't, I know there was those three. I, I saw two people in white shirts that were on the lodge porch. I saw them riding away. Uh, the strawberry sheriff's office. And somebody was still shooting at me, and I think it was one of them. Okay. Yeah, okay. check it. Uh, if you want, I could do two unknowns then. I want to figure out the charges. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make sure all your weapons are really marked. What was I going to say? Oh, the John Williams statement, the civilian that was held up, his statement is in the tip line. I had him send it in because okay. it was too chaotic he to was, try to get it. He was grabbed in strawberry. He wasn't kidnapped. Okay. He's grabbed in strawberry. Yeah, so just do... Uh, hostage shaking. Me? Yeah, hostage taking is fine. All right. So right, what, what do we what do, what do we want to do for the attempted murder, Pruitt? Right. They need help staying in market. We wanna, we Mayor John's getting... He's getting attempted second degree murder. Do um, we want to do full time or do we want to do... You take my right off. Uh, are you guys all okay? Um, I still need to be looked at. That as a yes. I'm not. Mm. What is seventy-five percent? Um, okay. Full fine though. Yeah. In the blue check. Fuck that okay. motherfucker. Yeah. Bank account Please. also has Please. to. Oh, where, where are you going? We'll do. We'll do seventy-five yeah, percent of the time, and then accessory to attempted to for the other two, yeah. for the other ones. Um, we could give those half of accessory. Being taken well care. All right. Well, let me walk you over there. Let's, uh, oh, I'm glad that I I what are, request some backup. Yeah, do you want to come this? over here? I'll tell you the full list. Yeah. Well, they're going to be able to use there. Play stupid game, win stupid prizes, huh? We could go outside, that I guess. would be correct. Can someone... Uh, so oh. All right, let's go. Come on. Rat Skeller. Rat Skeller? Yep. I have other rats to deal with. Okay, I uh, will get looked at in a minute then. Let me just get him up to okay. the sales because... Try my yep, rest, go ahead. No. You're going to have uh, to try and do what crate? you can here. Probably yeah, that would be him. Right we'll get looked at. Um, Bruce. Who did it? Yep. Excuse me. Sorry. That is Bear John. Hearst just uh, identified him. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Get Before you waste your money. Get, get whatever non-wounded deputies you can muster here and then get that transport done. Okay. Ah, shit. That looks like important Make stuff. Make do with what you have. Uh, there's also people shot outside Va Van Horn right now as well. Hey, Huxley. Uh, yeah. Can you do me a favor? Uh, yes, sir. Um, wait, hold on. Malone, you want a crate? Yeah. Huh? You want a crate? Yeah. Okay. Um, Huxley, can you do me a favor and can you email. empty that box for me? Uh, yeah. Let me give... I need to get some stuff off me. Oh, uh, if you need to do that, don't worry about it. I'm gonna fill my pockets with ammunition. Don't worry about it. I got it, Huxley. Okay. Okay. Here, I think these are yours, Pruitt. I, I took I some. Know, this is gonna hurt, I'm sorry. Pain's part of it, ain't it? They're not. Jesus oh, Christ. Geez. Okay. Me neither. Did any of you search, uh, that bear John fella, he had uh, a uh, cubes to give back. I, I didn't do any searching. All right, that's our crate right there. It has uh, 200 oh, rounds of ammo and Hostage 20 bandages. Shaking. The one right there by the stove. Okay, you want a Do you want a cubes? murder. Sure. In the second degree. Way too many things on me. We just remove it if if we're not gonna do it. Attempted kidnapping. Do you want me to hold anything else? Robbery okay. of a peace officer. Sure I can have my last degree. cookie. Thanks. Yeah. One twenty-five. Good answer, Marquis. What's on. worse? What's worse? What's worse was the drowning. Have, uh... right, let's just make sure it's nice and clean. Um, there might be some more injured inside. Um, yes. Okay. Do we need more doctors? Oh, I'm sorry. Do we need more doctors yes. and everything to take yes. care of? Yes. Uh, somebody uh, should take over yeah. this one. I'm not a medic yeah, anymore. Yeah, we do. Okay, then there, there was a... Uh, there was a medic around outside. here. Bella was around <laughs> they're right here. Yeah, they're here. Okay, oh. one cent, Sam. 
Um, There's yeah, nothing yeah. personal there, oh, hotshot. <laughs> Attempted murder in the second degree. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hello. After right. you're done here, do you want medic stationing yeah. out in the wall? Attempted kidnap. Armadillo. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, do I need to run to the stable? Uh, you said two deputies in there right now, Orange. Absolutely. Um, let me unlock. There is. They oh. do need. Oh, it is. There is people who need help in there. I'm not sure who. Go ahead and go in. All right, thank you. Y'all gonna be all right. Bella. Remember. Uh, hello. Nope. Over here. Hey, you. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, okay. Howdy. You are gonna need three stitches. Uh, I will drink the cocaine. Two please. gunshot wounds. Uh, both in the upper right arm, shoulder area. Uh, one is a through and through. The other one is. Uh, we've got the bullet lodged. I'm sorry. What was that? I was fully um, Okay. Barely see it. You see it right there. I'm just gonna point it at these tweezers. Believe me. Get. I gave it a tug. It didn't come out. Um, it's everything's been clean. No arterial. Uh, I gave him two cc's of uh, strawberry extract just to combat blood right, loss. Um, he is a little cool, but nothing to be worried about. I can tell you something. You, I promise. I'm sorry. This motherfucker's down there like telemarky. He acted in self-defense. What? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, Brooks has a couple of grazes if you'd like to go look at her. What the fuck? Uh, my know, gun's gold! It's probably yeah. us. Yeah. Hey, Brooks, can right. we get what, are you, what, are you, what are you thinking for charges for then? Because okay. right now, I, I have robbery of a peace officer, attempted kidnapping, chaotic. participation yeah. in a shootout, attempted murder of a peace yeah. officer, <laughs> robbery, and hostage taking. You know what? Just fucking send it. I mean, it, like, I. I, I have everybody as accessory to attempted. Do you want to do you want to drop the accessory to attempted on the others, or do you want to just give them half of a, a half time on accessory? Yeah. You get him in the second degree, oh. right? Yeah, yeah, in the second degree. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Let's drop it on all, but there, John. All right, so we'll we'll drop the accessory and uh, for the others and. Bear John yeah, they're all the attempted. Yeah. There? Okay. We'll do that then. Let me. I'll remove. The, I'll remove that. See what this fuck needs. Uh, I was worried about that situation. Anyways, we got a tip saying three people down, and then they had four uh, ranger what ones. So. What do you there, John? Uh, revolver marked painting. I just. I uh, just wanted to ask that it goes back to the <laughs> deputy Gray. I took it from. There's only three of us, so we can't just send more out there, especially with what's going on out Something this way. Like that I don't really remember. It will make sure it gets back to its right belongings. Uh, 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 thank you. Oh. Holy yeah, shit! What the fuck? Ah, uh, fifty. <laughs> He's gonna be gone for three thousand days. Uh, I suppose we haven't been around <laughs> as much, so they're not taking us right now. You can just stuck in the muscle our, of the shoulder. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I, I, as a motherfucker who know how to use his hand. Listen, I'm just gonna say it could have been worse. You could have got an accessory to attempted murder in the second degree. See, you didn't die, you know what I'm saying? You didn't die. Well, that's the, the attempted part. Yeah, that's why it's Is attempted. That Rook? Yeah. Motherfucker, I'm about to talk you from outside this game, motherfucker. Pro, can I talk Yeah. Use both my hands. What? So this play, this is getting hit. This transport's getting hit 100%. Okay, do you have any other 100%. Have you looked at how much time Bear John's facing? How much? Over 3,000 days. <laughs> this is getting hit. Like, there's no yeah, way it ain't. For the we don't have the de We need to request more deputies. We, uh, th there's we no way this ain't getting we, hit. <laughs> we need more deputies. We, uh, we've got. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'm gonna go request more deputies. We need, we, we need. Uh, Prud, is that you? Yes. Hello. Are you injured? Do you need someone to take a look at you? Uh, I. Well, 
I'm very... Are you okay? I'm very, I'm very sorry. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. My pride is mostly what's hurt. Yep, yep. I'm on it. I, feel like I was in the dumbest spot possible. Just want to make sure that the toilet has a mushroom. Well, he just locked me in. I'm glad you're okay. Gotcha. I got you. Okay. Come on. How about you? A little bit more hole in there. Yeah, that'll. Okay. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely a hole in my chest. Nothing more happens. Fuck. Well, you're close to being divine now. People head down to him. Got that. Thank you. They came out of here like ants. I was very unexpected. It's like I stepped on a fucking fire ant hill. What's going on? I just came inside. Deputy Lumber over here. You feeling all right, Ruth? <sighs> uh, I mean, I'm okay. I feel weak, but I'm okay. Good. Sit down. Oh, I got, you know, I got, but, you know. Don't say what I think you're going to say. Uh. What do you think I'm going to say? I got paper. <laughs> oh, bit. Do not say it. I'm going to start working on the report. Like, the actual body of the report, though. Something. Oh, uh, Henry. Strawberry. Oh. What happened out there? Oh, I know. I was on the rock. Uh, I went behind her. I was in the road. And then, uh, and then oh. well, no, you guys started shooting when I was already above on the hill. I was covered by her. Sheriff's office. That no, no, when you guys initially there. started shooting, I was up yeah. there. I positioned myself up there pretty Outside. early. Upon oh. exiting the building, Pruitt taken oh. hostage. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. I was just watching from a distance. Dude. Yeah. You climbed that fucking hill. We got a group of people coming in. Can't tell who. Maybe law. Oh, yeah. It's our other law. Yeah. Looks like. What? Lynn. Briggs. We're just beating the ammo I had over here. It's okay, you can hide behind me. My face can't get any worse. I mean, your nose could be a bit more crooked. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I can't afford being hit in the head. I'm dumb enough as it is. <laughs> I, before. Brooks That's a lie. punched I me in the back of the head. Cheating. Good morning, Eliana. How are you? How are you? That was... So for the transport, it's gonna be the four that just responded, and me and Huxley. That is a good one. Injured can stay here. Huxley. Huxley. If so, we have me and Huxley ah. and the four that just showed up. So you guys, the injured, can stay here. Back door. Beautiful. Who are we transporting? All right, I got a sugar cookie. <laughs> Which one's which? Who's on the floor here? How's the paperwork looking, Ruth? Do you need anything from me? I'm just writing up the body of the report right now. Oh, I think we have all the you charges know, done. If you want to go through and so tell me if you want anything reduced. Uh, I mean, I already have 75% of the time on Bear John instead of the full 100. Hey, I don't know if you want anything nice. else reduced, but I feel like... 
I feel like it's so fine to keep it with. not Hello. reduced to the situation. It's up to you, though. Good there, I'm just Where working on the actual paperwork right now, the actual report itself. There, John. All right. Uh, mm. I'm fucking disappointed. You know what? It's, it's fine. I think the way I'm it is. feeling it the most. Uh, pr the only Amen. thing I would say is... From the sound of it, it sounds like Marquis was kind of dragged into things. Maybe drop him under the 400-day threshold. No, uh, I think after I'm time served, let me let me check because after time served, he should be under 400 days. All right. So let me let me check. I think everybody that that isn't Bear John should be under 400 after time served. If this is all they're going for. I don't think you had a good teacher then. So let me check. Oh shit! All right. No, Marquis wanted for a bank robbery as well. If you want, I could. Uh, you want I could half participation in a shootout for everybody? That'll bring them to all 400 flat. The others involved. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, yeah, you should just right. have so much money that you don't feel it, and there's a bank. Uh, I'll be back in a moment, gentlemen. Uh, back with Lynn. Okay, Lynn, the uh, hey, I'd like to know too. should have the charges situated. Uh, just note down how much time served they're getting. Ruth. Yeah, how long? So how, when did this start, it? do you think? Like, what, uh, 30, 30 minutes ago? 45 at this point. Do, wanna, do we want to say 10, 10 p.m. New York time is when this all started then? Probably, yeah. Um, um, oh, sorry, go ahead, Perry. Yeah, I'm very sorry. Around 10 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, According to tips, 10 p.m. That's right. Yeah, 10 p.m. Alright. I put weapons. it in the location. That way, arresting deputies know when time service started. Yeah. Go ahead. On I the bank robbery uh, get you that they did, I didn't. Uh, I don't know if anyone finished the paperwork. Yeah, I had to go to bed right back. after that. Um, after chasing. Uh, but uh, I guess rabbit. Yeah. Told Marquis this, which I don't even know if it's true. I don't know if there's any notes, but to give since they actually no, this is true. They didn't shoot, so I think we were gonna give them a little bit less time just for not shooting. Very good. Okay, uh, go through, go find that paperwork, and especially if Rabbit noted it in there, like then just make sure more. he has his time reduced for that situation. Since I got hurt, okay. field, I kind of like it. Right. I got tunnel vision, and when that fuck would walk out of the door, I didn't realize how many people held the pack. Wait, you, you really didn't see all them go coming around? Uh uh. He just call you a fuckwood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I would be an idiot, you know? I thought they were all, you know, I thought they fucking listen. I'm gonna have listen. to go explain they that to you. They say stay inside, that's what they do, right? Sorry, yeah. so we were saying 10 o'clock for time served? Yeah, I think you should yeah, I put in the incident location, I put 10 p.m. New York time. Just so uh, you guys are new. Or, or uh, where, in case you guys forget. Uh, anything else we need to know about this? Uh, nah, the charges are pretty much set. If you if you want to hear exactly what went down, we can give you like a, a quick what went down. Uh, we got the most of the story from Brooks there. That's really all we need well, from that show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some dumbasses came into town, tried to rob us. They shot Ruth and I down, and then they got fucked up. Yeah. All right, well, Bear John is going to have a shotgun to Bro. his spine, and if mm -hmm. anyone tries Bro, breaking it, I'm going to put both barrels in him. Okay, so Bear John, I th I'm pretty sure, is facing close to 3,000 days worth of time. Yep, that, that's that is That is, yeah. I told you! So. Does anybody else need uh, Dr. Beltrix? No, uh, no. I think everyone's fine, but could you just make sure that Henley was checked out, Bella? Um, yeah, I'm calling you good. Off the top of your guys' head. Thank you, Bella. Yeah. You know what? Uh, 
max time is for bank robbery. Uh, off the top of my head. Yeah, is it 40 or is it higher than 40? Uh, hold on. Uh, Get this check. You. Because I, I could check. Uh, Marquee, I'll come down in a minute. Uh, 80. Next time is 80. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Marquee already reduced. Hands got, against the yeah. bar. Okay. Dark is good to made, move, so. They made an exchange. Okay. Uh, Chat with 35, wait for 1K. Rabbit made exchange. Yeah, and tier 1 is primary uh, roller. So. They let them go, go uh, for some, some loot back. Yeah, so he's got some arms. Okay. Good to see you on your feet again, by the way. See you, Deputy Ruth. Hello. Uh, thank you. I guess what, that what about this gentleman here? What's going on with him? Uh, he's he's stable to be moved, but he's unconscious. Lost a lot of blood, hey, I guess. all this so. kidnapping here was my doing. You leave him out of that. He's Hello. just an innocent bystander. Mo Hello. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Rabbit didn't just... You know what I'm saying? Tell her and not tell y'all about about cutting all oh, the time and having You already get the reductions for that. Okay, that that's already reflected in the paperwork. Oh, we good. All right, perfect. <laughs> What's it looking like? What do you mean? I think I think I think he uh, Finnegan's got all that for you. Just heads up. Oh. Did I do MS? Uh, Finnegan should have all that stuff for you. Sorry, I had to rub my ears there, Marky. Huxley, Lynn, Rivers, Briggs. We have a full set. Fantastic. All right, I got the majority of the report finished. All right, uh, do you have room in your pockets? Uh, I uh yeah. Six Moment, for the transport. I got two. Can, okay, perfect. Can you take this and then put a new label on it that says return to uh deputy gray castle yeah the medics yeah. were heading down that way now i thought great minds were supposed to think alike sound i tried You want me to, uh, you want me to attach it to this yeah, and I'll go telegram Ray Castle? His feet, even if he's not yeah. conscious, we yeah. need to move him around like that. Yeah, I got him. I'm awake. Can you... Oh. Yeah. Right. Uh, where the fuck am I? Sheriff's mm -hmm. office. You're being transported to Siska, Sunshine. Yeah. Oh, morning, Sunshine. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right back. Thank you. I'll go telegram Ray Castle. Uh, looks like it. Yeah, uh, we'll I'm start transporting. Okay. Doc said you lost a lot of blood. Oh, oh, take it easy. All right. I got a yeah, shot. Man. Holy hey, fuck. Right, right. We're gonna start so. You guys want to get ready? All right. Not sure what you're expecting. Oh, it's all about I'll the go adrenaline. With you. All right, right. head out. Right. Yep. Sometimes the adrenaline oh. kicks and takes over. You don't even realize you get shot. At least together we ought to be able to shoot someone. <laughs> yeah, you you put the the barrel of the Litchfield on my shoulder, and then you pull All the right. trigger. Uh, it sounds like a good thing. You got checked out right here. Okay. All right. Uh, we got enough for the transport. They're gonna handle them from here. Uh, I think they might. Have Hello. How are you? Thanks, Diana. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm alright. You doing okay? 
Uh, just a bit wounded. Uh, has doctors tended to your injuries? Yeah, they have. That's good. Take care. <laughs> that was a quick exit to that conversation. <laughs> are you alright? Are you injured? Have the doctor seen you? Okay, bye. <laughs> I mean, do you blame him? I don't blame him. It's just funny. No, it just the way they got off the horse talking to him seemed like seemed like they was old friends or something. <laughs> Maybe in a past life. <laughs> Have you been looked at? Yes. Yeah. Nothing they can do about your face? Nope, it's forever like this, unfortunately, for you. Mm. And everyone else has to look at me. You know, they have this fantastic invention called a mask. Well, that's why I hang out with Jamie. Why? So you finally look a little bit better? Yes, exactly. Well, somehow you make him look better. I see it's, it's, uh, it's a double effect, right? He makes me look better, but I also make him look better. So it, it works out for both of us in the end. I see. Fair enough. Are you staying on duty? Uh, I, I haven't decided yet, to be honest. Yeah, I got called ugly today. But who? Some guy called Mickey Diamonds. Pardon? He said that he's a jeweler and he... he I asked for a, a grail to put scotch in and he said maybe I could make you a, a mask. Is he gonna make you a mask of diamonds? I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to request that you change your name to Jamie Diamonds if that happens. God, Jamie Diamonds. Deputy Diamonds. Man, you know, it's on the inside that counts. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got called ugly again, Ruth. Yeah. He's I'm used to it. it. Uh, we've just had the conversation with how somehow you make him look better. Sorry, folks. I'm just treating. Yeah. We're just it, limping no, the same way. We're, we're just we're just limping along. No one does. Come on, Is everything okay in strawberry this time? Um, a couple of people were shot, but it should be fine now. Uh, it's fine. I just uh, saw you know groups of people around the place just. One of them, a couple of them had their rifles out, so I was just making sure it was safe to travel. Should be fine for now, I think. Thank you. And that's gonna do them strikes. Yeah, I'm just waiting on them to hold us all up for their release. Yep. I think at that point I'm just drawing my gun and fucking. I'm shoot. telling you, throw the Litchfield, throw the barrel on my shoulder, and then pull the trigger. <laughs> and I'll just, like, if the guy's close, I'll crouch down so the barrel's lower. <laughs> All right, sounds like teamwork right there. <laughs> I could finally empty my pockets of all the shit I took off of there, John. Thank God. <laughs> I can't believe that guy has like 3,000 days. <laughs> I've never heard of that fella. Anything fun? Hey. Uh, a, a, a bow, arrows, a tomahawk. I mean, it's they're just gonna clean it up, but fair enough. Oh, I guess we should actually probably keep the improved bow for someone. But, nah. We should do this, but meh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really it's just can't be bothered to lean, to lean back over. You know, we need to talk about this attempted first-degree murder thing we was talking about before someone needed a senior outside <laughs> to turn into a hostage situation. <laughs> that, that, that was... That was he could have led with that. <laughs> uh, someone needed a senior outside. Okay. All right, I, I need you to put your hands up. <laughs> oh, shit. Someone was injured. In or around Big Valley. That was a hell of a long time ago. No, this was just now. Okay, well, there were more calls out a long time earlier. 
Marty. We have your deputy. Bring Marty to Rat Skeller. I picked it up for you, old man. <laughs> sure, you can give it to me. Why not? I'm just gonna go put it in the desk. Just shove it in the cabinet. You shove it wherever you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't shoving it nowhere fun. Why not? What fun place would you <laughs> shove a bow? <laughs> Yeah, where would you shove a bow wait, that would be fun? Wait, why are you questioning me about this when Jamie's the one that said, why not? <laughs> he, he's a fun guy. I didn't know it was a bow, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she said bow. Wait, were you not pay? All right. Anyway. I was, sorry, I was reading a tip from Gavin Summers saying, Marty, bring Marty to Rathskeller. We have your deputy. So I was... I was not. Ha I was half paying attention. No, no, no. Okay. You're you're not quite unhinged enough. Oh, okay. Ruth. I need yeah. you to. I need you to be more unhinged. More unhinged. More unhinged. Okay. Marty. Like that. Yeah. Uh, but higher. But higher. Yeah, not like higher, like squeaky higher, but like oh. higher is in like your vocal cords are more constricted <laughs> because you're yelling too much. Marty, my reputation has fallen, so I need you. Edge close enough. All right, perfect. <sighs> Are you sure you're not gonna miss them? No, I, I. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen you and Gavin Summers in the same place. I've never seen you. I arrested him for extortion. In the same place. Are you sure you're not just every one criminal in the crossing? All in one. He's not that good of a shot. <laughs> well, you, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be uninjured at some point to be able to shoot. Yeah, that's true. You know, even even the biggest arrest I ever made, I didn't fire a gun. <laughs> Who was that? Who'd you arrest? Well, when, when we got Boone, I didn't even fire a gun at him. <laughs> you fired a gun. You just didn't fire it at Boone. No, just not at Boone. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of gunfire <laughs> in, that, in, in that shootout. Pretty sure I shot one right at Kennedy because he ran right in front of me. Okay, where's this gap tooth shootout with ex-deputies? Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> the thing we were doing. <laughs> I so yeah, I was confused by the by the FAO because they literally admitted. <laughs> I I, didn't, I don't understand how that's being questioned. Um, so they admit that they are tracking them down and hunting them all down, and so they have this meeting and they have to agree to a shootout in order to stop being hunted one by one. Yeah, that's it. That sounds like a. I agree to yeah. this. That sounds like intent to kill them. <laughs> that sounds like I'm going to agree to go with you just so I don't get murdered right here and now. I guess I got to defend myself if you're going to push for a shootout, but that's me also asking for it. <laughs> I, I, I still don't. I'm still really failing to understand why this is like why this is being proposed to not be first. Because they're sitting there saying, basically, is that since they agreed to a shootout and going there, uh, they're going to be like, oh, okay, so they, they agreed to kill one of their friends. They, it, was, it was agreed upon in, right then and there. Not that the fact that we've been hunting them for however long. It, it makes no sense. I, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I mean, you can maybe drop it down to second or manslaughter, but I mean, to me, it sounds like they had a list with fucking names on it, and he was on that list. Did they even ask for the list? They didn't even fill out all the questions that we had no, asked. No, 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 they, they didn't. <laughs> they, they also had this fella answering questions and didn't didn't process him apparently. So. Uh... Well, you know, mm. sounds like a call a senior should make. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
uh, I mean, do you see this report? Del Lobo's message and interaction by... <laughs> by Parker. Around 40 minutes ago, I was approached by the Del Lobos. Four names and one other who I cannot remember. They wanted me to pass along the message to the deputies about the shootout that happened in G Gap to the next deputies, and they told me that they are no longer looking for revenge and not hinting anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, good. They are no longer doing it. I guess we don't arrest them for it. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, they're no longer seeking revenge after they got the blood they wanted. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm speechless, I, I think. I've never had or heard of a clear, like, first-degree murder case other than the fact I had the intent, I had the list, I had the gun I shot with. We even told them they aren't leaving this place unless th this is the only way they can get out of being hunting. <laughs> but, no, didn't mean to kill them. I was just hunting them for fun while we playing tag. That sounds like some Charles Divine shit. Who? Pruitt, Charles does that Divine? not sound like some Charles Divine shit? <laughs> him saying, like, I want to kill Kennedy. And then he gets into a shootout with Kennedy and kills him. I didn't mean to kill Kennedy. <laughs> you know what's... <laughs> you know what's worse than this, Ruth? I'm going to be honest. What's worse than this what? is, uh... Is... Charles Divine, <laughs> I swear to God, has so much in common with Sam Bass. <laughs> Sam Bass would try to talk his way out of the dumbest shit possible <laughs> by coming up with the dumbest shit possible. <laughs> and that's exactly what Charles Devine does. That, that There's just <laughs> some stupid in that family. <laughs> Wait, I thought the... I don't even know if they're actually... I don't even know if J-Bass <laughs> and Sam Bass are actually related. But <laughs> even if they aren't, somehow the stupid has interconnected their family. <laughs> I've never met that Jonathan Divine fellow besides that one day I almost caught him in St. Denis. How dumb is he compared to Charles Divine? Um... He's a little bit less dumber, but still very dumb. Think of Charles Divine as a brick, and Jonathan Divine is a brick and mortar. So he's a little bit better, a little bit more stable, <laughs> but not that much. <laughs> but not that much. Okay, I got you. Yo, know, Charles Divine and Morgan Lee teamed up. They'd rule the world. Brut. Yes. Did the the Divine brothers or whatever they are fuck your mother? Because you sure do talked about them a lot. <laughs> No, they're just, uh... The Divine Brothers? They're, they're just very entertaining folks to talk about. <laughs> I don't know why, but the Divine Brothers is like a cat. That, that, that should be their gang name, the Divine Brothers. That's... They're, yeah, but it's like an uncle and nephew, so it'd be really weird. I, if they I mean, they, <laughs> I mean <laughs> they should just rebrand and say they're brothers now. I don't know what to tell you. He said they are and connected stupid. Telegram and tell him that. Well, I didn't know. I don't know their whole family dynamic. <laughs> it's a me. It's a me, Jonathan Divine, and it's a me, Charles Divine. We're the Divine brothers. I, I think that would fit them. Well, I'm sorry, they tell you now. I thought they were <laughs> fighting the Dechenzos. I'm not joining them. <laughs> Wait, they're fighting the Dechenzos. Yeah. Don't read reports. <laughs> you, you don't I've read been in a coma, either. guys. I, I... Yeah, all right. I've so been in a Jonathan coma, Divine. guys. <laughs> I've been in a coma, guys. Wow, look at you. Tony <laughs> Salerno told me he's a good man and he would never do anything violent. I don't Wait. believe this. <laughs> uh, all right, Tony Salerno. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what to say. So you, they're not brothers, they're nephew and uncle. No, they're not. They're not brothers. Not uh, yet. Not yet. That's, uh, <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> All right, I put my response in there. Uh, basically, it's my belief that the Del Lobos agreed to this meeting with the intent to end it in a hunt for blood. They have been openly hunting these individuals. They even had a list of these individuals that they wish to hunt down and hurt slash kill. Based on that and their previous attempt to hunt down these individuals, I'm still of the mind that it was murder with intent behind it. They may have given Branch and the others a chance to get into cover, but from the sounds of it, the only way that Branch and his fellow ex-deputies were getting out of there was with some kind of bloodshed. If people wish to disagree with this charge, that is fine. But based on everything I've seen and heard regarding this, McGill's statement even mentions <laughs> wanting revenge for the killing of his fellow De Lobos from before. I'm happy to drop the charges if enough folks agree that it isn't needed. But based on everything we have, I believe this is the correct course of action. Nice, nicely done. I'm also just still confused as to how they had a conversation with someone who openly admitted to being involved in a shootout that led to the death of someone, <laughs> and they didn't arrest him. Um, Even for the charges that they agreed with. I don't know. It sounds like they wanted to have a final say. I, I, I can't fuck. I wasn't there. Yeah, I don't know. Like a final consensus. I mean, I guess they let him go to discuss the charges, but I don't even understand how you could disagree with the first... <laughs> I don't know. It's okay, though, Ruth. They're not out for revenge. You know? <laughs> Scratched off the list. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even fill out the questions. Also... I'm unsure what I'm supposed to do with a few deputies and a fellow senior. Like, which deputies and which fellow senior so I can yeah. talk to them? Yeah. And it, I think the only other thing I was going to say in here is, like, if you want to further discuss this, then let's have an actual discussion about it instead of just FAOing each other. Like, uh, this is pretty cut and dry, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, I'm going to add that. Happy to discuss more in person with folks who disagree if needed. Yeah, if you want to report that, I agree wholeheartedly with you, too. I think you can find either of us. I mean, we can settle it finally and ask a sheriff. <laughs> we could settle it finally. We could tell them to go on one side and we'll take the other side. <laughs> That's true. That's the only way they get off our list. That's why they have to give us names. <laughs> yeah, just take cover. <laughs> It's fucked up. Someone died. How dare you? Uh, sorry, I'm a professional senior deputy. <clears throat> right, yes. He made you senior deputy. <laughs> he raised you. Uh, <laughs> I actually don't know exactly who to blame for that. Uh, I'm partially to blame for... Wait, no, did you... No. no you I can't came remember. Did me. you get... You got promoted the month after, so I'm yeah. partially to blame for you. Fuck! Yep. Well, that's what they get for letting me be a secret deputy. <laughs> the... Are y'all brothers now? Yeah, we're the Divine Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sick of hearing about the Divines. <laughs> you know, if, if you I... dress a lot uglier and I put on an eye patch, we, we could probably pass for them. You know, if we ever need to go undercover in Saint Denis, we need to go, we need to go make some really hideous outfit. Both wear eye patches, and we we gotta we we gotta be some outlaw brothers, just laying low. I want to be Aurora. <laughs> I, I'm pretty you sure. Still Kramer's hat too. You just wear a pink corset yep. and her hat and Kramer's hat, and you'll be Aurora. She wears um red. She was wearing red, and she wears purple now. It's not pink anymore. She made that very clear. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've missed a lot. I never let yeah, me go into a coma you again. Going in a coma oh, God. for a couple of weeks, days, whatever it was, months, years. 
Yeah, I went into a coma in 1885. So. Jeez. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it, Henley? Um, 1901. I know I lost some blood, but fuck, you ain't been in a coma 15 years, Ruth. <laughs> no, that's the last time he felt anything. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. fair. I said, 1885, you said? Yeah. I was nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out how old you were. You were nine years old the last time you felt anything. Yeah, that's terrible. I mean, do you know what it was like growing up in that 1890s? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> He probably worked in the mine. <laughs> Can you Did imagine? You, work in the mine? you ain't got black lung, do you, Ruth? No, I don't know. No, I. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you still work in the mine, Ruth? <laughs> well, all those manly cigars I smoke, I might get black lung. Oh, that's fair. That's some risky business, those manly cigars. Oh, yeah. Thank you for stopping smoking cigarettes because there was a shortage around here, and I can finally get them now. No, since they're for women, after all. And children. So I smoked them when I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was the last time I felt anything. <laughs> Fuck, I would Oh my god, I would have been 15 in 1885. Oh. It, that's cute. Yeah, it's already beyond feeling things, I think. <laughs> wow, well, I can't wait to... Move up in the department. No, <laughs> create a beautiful picture of happiness. Yeah, it, we're very happy. We're very happy. I just was in a. I'm gonna be honest. My life's kind of falling apart since I've gotten senior. I'm gonna be honest. You should exact revenge on whoever promoted you. Hey, you should make a list. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I don't wait. I don't know who voted for you. Wait. Uh, me. Well, shit. One person's already off your list. <laughs> I don't know who voted for me either. That's the issue. I'm pretty sure Briar did. Um, Who's that? <laughs> the former sheriff of uh, Strawberry. God rest her soul. Yeah, God rest her soul. Yeah, she seems like a, a very respectable sheriff. May she she was a thorn in my fucking side is what she was, but you know. She was a good sheriff. Had a good friend. You're in her old office talking shit about her. She basically raised me as a deputy. <laughs> yeah, she definitely rotten in nail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's <laughs> that's very disrespectful, Henley. Apologize to Ruth right now. Uh, sorry, Ruth. <laughs> I'll I'll forgive you. That's his law mommy you're talking about. <laughs> what? It is. Oh, you're an orphan. I'm an orphan. <laughs> oh no! I just came to the realization I'm an orphan. <laughs> Thirty days late. Shit. You think it's too um. late to apply for orphan benefits? <laughs> What the fuck is orphan benefits? <laughs> I'm sure there's a charity. I don't know, like a, a bed sure at the church charity. or something? <laughs> I'm going to send in a telegram, not Maybe only to law, but to every other service, and ask about orphan benefits. Just ask the medics, I'm sure they know. <laughs> hey, this is Senior Deputy Ruth. I'm, I'm, I'm requesting to be a part of the orphan benefits. I, I, where do I send my application? Yeah, the OPB, the orphan <laughs> benefits program. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you get like a soup kitchen stipend. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> soup kitchen stipend? Um, or... <laughs> Orphans probably get cigarettes. <laughs> That's true, Ruth. That's you true. Your own yeah. <laughs> what? I gotta go find Drew Peters right now.
Yeah, I wonder where Drew Peters is. <laughs> I wonder what he's been up to. Probably uh, selling cigarettes. I was so disappointed he wasn't the first face I saw out of that coma. I know. Who did you see when you first woke up? A doctor. Which one? Oh, Dr. Liz. She told me I couldn't drink. And then I yeah. proceeded to drink an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the doctors know best or something. I, I believe Malone offered me a drink, and I said, The doctor said my heart will literally stop, sir. And he said, They've been telling me that for years. <laughs> so I took a sip. All right, well, shit. Yeah, Malone's a walking case, ain't he? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I couldn't resist at that point. He's our sheriff. Seems like a fine influence to me. Oh, God. Is he your law daddy? Maybe you're not an orphan after all. He's my sheriff. You know, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. If Briar was your law mommy, <laughs> wouldn't that technically make Maple your law daddy? You're I, not an orphan. Um, you, can, you, can, you can pick your family. Yeah, I pick my family. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I'm, well, I, I'm, I'm, Briar's, uh, I'm Briar's son in a past situation. Oh, well, oh, before. Yeah, yeah. Before, okay. Mm -hmm. So he's your lost stepdad. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll call it. I mean, were they ever married? <laughs> not as far as I know, but I'm not really the type to get uh, invited to weddings, so. I'd invite you to my wedding, Pruitt. But I'm never going to get married, so. Uh, yeah, I'd invite you to mine too, Ruth, but same. I'm just going to die <laughs> I'm not. wearing this badge. <laughs> You know, they yes. asked me when I, when I, they, I, they, you know, when I got asked the, the lollipop in question, I, 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 I always told Monroe and Malone the only time I get my dick wet is in the bathtub. But then I also told them I have no interest in a relationship besides when I retire, and then I'll get married. So, let's be honest, we're both dying with the badge. Well, I'm already halfway there. Actually, more than halfway there. I got like two years tops, according to James Kelly. <laughs> he is an expert. He said, he said the, uh, what was his, uh, the life expectancy is only like 31 or 32, and I just turned 31, <laughs> so. Ah, you're fucked. You are fucked. I've only got six years, according to James Kelly. Happy birthday. Oh, I, no, I turned 31 a while back, but thank you. Happy late birthday. Uh, thanks. I, I actually think I turned 31 like two days after I joined the department. And Where do you want to be buried? Um, just throw my body in a river and forget about me, please. <laughs> uh, I hear cliffs are also a great place to land. Um, bury you there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, actually, just take me to the desert and uh, that pit in Armadillo. Just throw me in there. Coyote food. You know where you know where we should get headstones, Pruitt? Where? Right next to the DiCenzo's house. The the house it, <laughs> is there me. <laughs> you wanna just go down to their manor and scope out where we want our headstones to be? <laughs> I'm I'm uh, you know, I'm gonna tell Monroe he can bury me at the slaughterhouse. Right outside. Well, I mean you're gonna have a hard time telling Monroe Ruth. I'm alone, sorry. <laughs> We're just, talk we're just talking <laughs> about Monroe. You know, that reminds me. We was going down to, to New Austin the other day. I forget exactly why. Oh, oh, we was going to back up cash with that shootout thing that now where I'll be fucking FAO'd on. <laughs> and we passed some fella and he goes, Monroe, is that you? And I said, no, Monroe isn't here. And he's like, you fucking liar. I was like... <laughs> no, Monroe isn't here. <laughs> and then Malone walked up and he's like, Yeah, he is. He's right there. There's Malone. I'm like, Okay, fella, you didn't say Malone. Yeah, I'm right. And then he, he started calling Mon Malone Monroe and it just continued. Uh, Jesus. How do you think this situation at, at Rathskill is happening? With, with, um, with Gavin Summers right now? Well, I think if he's not getting Marty Malone, he's probably very happy, unhappy, and screeching like a little uh, angry birdie. 
an angry birdie. Maybe laughing a little maniacally like he does because he yeah. thinks it's scary. Do you think? It, do, you, do you think he's like? You know, I feel like the cold probably bothers Gavin. Something bothers him. Yeah. Maybe he needs to take more baths. <laughs> Have you ever? I mean, I feel like he's never taken a bath. I mean, I haven't gotten that close to him to tell, but yeah. you know, next time I see him, I'll ask if I can give him a hug and I'll, I'll report back <laughs> to you. <laughs> You'll have him shaking his boots. Yeah, that's what he told me. He said he's shaking in his boots. Shaking his boots. I still can't believe that. I still can't believe that he was so upset that I arrested him for, for horse theft and extortion and walked him to a sheriff's office when he was across the, sh across the way from it, and he was very upset. You know, I'm starting to get the uh, opinion that folks get upset by walking places because <laughs> Drew Peters got very upset when we walked him to the sheriff's office. Too. Is that really what it is? God, I, we, I, we really I, I need to know, start arresting least. more people on foot patrol. God, people, we're going to be on so many lists, Pruitt. You got city clothes, something more black and white, Henley? Um... Not black and white, no. But I can take off my jacket and freeze my balls off. We should go do a foot patrol. Yeah, we should. Very, very injured foot patrol. Here, I'll remove the tie, and then there you go. Now it's black and white and gray. Perfect. That'll work. Oh, uh, cold. Well, now you're wearing color. Yeah, I know, I'm going to change, but it's cold outside. Yeah, it's cold. It's winter. I feel like... <laughs> oh, God. This is cold. It is. Well, yes, it's snowing. Well, the cold never bothered me anyway. Okay, I lied. It bothers me. I'm gonna go for change. I need to change. I'm freezing. That you're not brewing. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Hey, you know. Mm-hmm. Can I register and get fifty dollars? Uh, sure. What's your name? Remington. God. This outfit looks terrible with long hair. I think he's changing though, Bozo. Pretty sure he said he's changing. Ah, fuck it, this outfit's too good to pass up. Yeah, but I, I mean, I guess I could. This outfit's way too good for the winter. <laughs> uh, 
He's doing this one then? Is that what you're saying? Jesus Christ. Ruth really does not look great. Yeah, if you want to go run and get your telegram and bring it back to me, I'd appreciate it. If not, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, uh, it starts with FB and all that. Okay, alright. Well, the telegram is just right down that way. Alright, I'll go get it. Alright, thank you, Flynn. Anybody need a rifle ammo? Uh, no. All right. Just go throw it on the ground. Oh, the secrets to love. This would be a good book for you to read, Ruth. <laughs> he said he wants to die alone. Respect that. I got it. <laughs> okay, Mr. Remington. It's FB 578. You need to read this. All right. FB 578. Ooh. Thank you very much. Is there anything yeah. else I can do for you? That'd be it. Thank you. All right. You be careful. You do it. Have a night. Man, we're yeah. fucked. Hey, I, don't, I don't think <laughs> it's going to work out for us. <laughs> we're, we're absolutely fucked. This, what's the key to it? No. no. You want to hand it? Hand it down? Yeah, you, you just need to read it yourself. All right. It's a very important life to you. About 31 years too late, though. Ah, oh, shit. Man, fuck, too. Well, it was a good run, I guess. <laughs> Time to go be cunt to people. It's <laughs> <laughs> here we go. I really am cold. Do I really gotta wear black and white? Uh, no, you, you don't have to. You wear gray. Um, they don't have a gray jacket. Wait, hold on, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I gotta, I gotta take speed it up a little bit. If we ignore the little bit of blue on my shirt, I mean, I blue don't on my have jacket, a fancy it's, black it's tie. Right. It's good I'm, for me. I'm one of the guys now. Welcome to the footies. Welcome to the footies. Mm. What? what was that noise for? <laughs> Uh, I just feel like if I go around and introduce myself as a footy, it's gonna get complicated real quick. <laughs> real quick. So, well, it's not a term we give out to the public. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you I'm sending gonna, a tip? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send a tip to her head and say anything. We might need to workshop the name, Ruth. <laughs> John B. Ruth. 
had to be nice. I didn't say that we were going to St. Anita for foot patrol since you and I are basically useless at the moment. <laughs> Where's Henley? I think she's changing. Oh, right. The best part is I'm I'm real hungry, but I'm waiting to go to the Bastille. I got some fresh cooked chicken. No, I, I need to go to the Bastille. That's very all right. I see how it is. You don't want my cock. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe it's dessert after the best deal. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> Very professional. The most professional. What do you think of my pony? Your pony? Yeah, I'm riding a pony. Why are you riding a pony? Oh, I'm injured, so. Oh, no. Makes him feel bigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I guess you need all the help you can get, Ruth. Why it's even very... have matching bedrolls? I want to get off. What? Me and Wraith just keep on fucking matching. <laughs> It's fine, I wear something that looks halfway decent and everyone says, You're dressed like Ruth today. <laughs> Never mind, I was in the department for it before his dumb ass. <laughs> well, look, if you got good taste, you know, they say, you know, it's it's like Ruth. Well, that's fair. Look, I got a fucked up face. You can at least give me the fashion. Well, I never said you was bad at fashion. <laughs> You just keep on petting your horse. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I just felt like he needed some extra conditioning. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's ride a little bit faster. <laughs> Hold this fuck out here. We'll get to catch Marquis again. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> he should be out in no time. Go right. And Bear John's gonna miss Christmas. <laughs> oh, boo fucking who. I'm real sad about that one. <laughs> <laughs> really? I thought he was your secret Santa. Hey, what's he gonna do? <laughs> Just take my gun instead of giving me something? <laughs> well, he wanted to give you the perfect gift, so he took your gun to give it back to you for Christmas. Well, that's so sweet. <laughs> that you know, like a good plan. the best thing is, I told him when he went to take them, not to take my guns. So, thank you all, all you deputies who shot him down for uh, making that threat uh, legitimate. I, he just started firing, so I thought. I, he did. <laughs> I just, I don't even know what his plan was. <laughs> I seriously, like, I was just like, well, I can't have you, you take Pruitt. And he said, well, okay. And he just shot me. <laughs> and then you got fucking gunned down right afterwards. I know. He just didn't waste any fucking time. He's like, well, there goes one of those motherfuckers. To get the other one. <laughs> Together, they're both, they're both half. So we got to put them both in the ground. So I guess I put one deputy down. Yep. Can't have you fucking one up with me. Y'all have an interesting time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think Saint Denise cursed for with stones in a coma. I just out of a coma and injured. Now you're injured. <laughs>
came across Mr. Malone, and I was like, Howdy, you're the sheriff of Santa Anita. He's like, Yes, I am. I'm like, Well, I was considering the mall. And he's like, All right, I'll tell the marshal. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. That sounds like Malone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Malone's the type of guy that we're going right. He's the type of guy that a pretty lady could walk up to him and say, Hey, I like your tiny. He'd be like, Here's a ring, marry me. <laughs> He just jumps, he just jumps forward 15 steps every time. Interesting. I wonder if the chinzos are around. Did you ever have your date? No, I never did. Oh, that's right. You went to a coma when you were supposed to have it, didn't you? Yeah. But someone who's gonna die alone with a bed, you should try to go on dates a lot. I have not been on a date ever. Yeah, he's never been on a date. Is Ooh. that why you went to a coma so you can keep that streak going? <laughs> Who else have I tried to go on a date with? I don't know. Who else have you tried to go on a date with? Well, I'm asking Henley. I don't know. I, I don't know you. I've only well, you said you you sure like to go on dates a lot. That implies that it was more than one. Well, you were wanting a second cock after we finished doing what we were doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, I up, he said he was hungry, so I offered him some of my cock, and he uh. said no, and then he said maybe for dessert. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a date to me. <laughs> well, why would I say? <laughs> Why would I, if he's offering me, if he's offering me cock to eat, why would I suck it? <laughs> I came out of the changing room and he just said, I'll have your cock for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. She only got half the cock. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair enough. She's just doing the detective work. Yeah, tell me to get questions. <laughs> You can do whatever you want with this cockroach. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right, I bet we should set the point straight here. All right. I offered him a piece of fresh chicken uh -huh. <laughs> because he said he was hungry. Right. But he wants to go to the Bastille because he wants to see his BFF, Drew Peter. Yeah. Because oh. he wants his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Go on, right. Uh, if he leaves it up to snack, he'll have a date before too long. <laughs> going right. Rider. Rider. Howdy. 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 You know, Slacks one time told me <laughs> he once said, Ruth, you've never been on a date? I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, no. And he's like, well, I've never had sex. What if we help each other? <laughs> he did say that. He called me soft. I was like, Slacks, are you put your in root for sex in exchange for a date right now? I mean, that's one way to get a boy. <laughs> Falling apart around. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job, Henley. We're going left. Yeah, you're doing a fantastic job. Besides that whole first degree murder thing. <laughs> yeah, how, how dare you? How try to dare you? With first degree murder when how they dare you? I, I don't know. I put the seniors in charge. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. That's Pruitt and Ruth's call. <laughs> I thought it was the right call, but you know, what do I know? I've only been a deputy for 13 days. Hey, I don't know anything either. I'm only a senior deputy. Yeah. I don't Apparently know Apparently Marquis thought I was a sheriff. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> We're in trouble if that happens. <laughs> Ruth will get a promotion again in no time. I hey, hope no not. No double or nothing, right? Double or nothing. So, 
They ask me if I want a promotion. I'll ask them if they want heads or tails. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Hello. Oh, sorry. Anything happening on the chip line? There wasn't anything. Uh, fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Feeling like I just got shot by some dumbasses. Uh, yeah. Is the moonshine running west Elizabeth? Oh, that sounds like fun. We're going to walk yeah. around the cold, mean streets of St. Denis. Sounds good. There's three there right now. Uh, so you'd have to be back with uh, Huxley and Brooks. They oh, that's good. I actually ago. need to talk to Huxley. So that's, that's good. Let's continue on there. Stay safe. Stay yep, safe. As well. I think Huxley saved all our fucking lives. He said he went and flanked around the back, and then once we were all shut down, he shot the rest of them down. Fantastic. Good. I just want to know why he said they needed a senior <laughs> instead of they have a hostage. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to know. I went out there expecting someone to need help, not a Navy revolver in my face. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I was already halfway out the door, and Brooks goes, hostage situation. I was like, well, fuck, I ain't getting back in now. <laughs> Either way. Seems like they got to Cisco without much issue, so that's a good thing. You know what we need to do, Ruth, one day mm. when we're not injured and shot to shit and yeah. you haven't been in a coma two <laughs> weeks before? Yeah, maybe uh, when I've only to... been in a coma a week. Continue. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we need to go into Saint Denis and just run across the rooftops. <laughs> And find like the best places to go. <laughs> find like all those little balconies that we can just hide out on and watch people. Yeah. You know, Malone and I managed to get on the balcony next to the DiCenzo's house. Oh, yeah, how'd you manage that? <laughs> With an armored carriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's totally inconspicuous. <laughs> Me, Malone and I were gonna we're gonna say we all all the Saint Denis team should move into that house and every day we commute to work in an armored wagon so they don't suspect the armored wagon to be <laughs> to be reason to get up on the balcony. That sounds like a great plan. You know, a good three to four month long haul plan, <laughs> just for surveillance. Yeah that's, yeah, that's the kind of long haul plan right there. They probably. They don't want it'll pan with. off on like a fucking jaywalking ticket on Cesare Dicenzo. That I mean, it's worth it, you know. Hey, you know what? That's uh, that is our money well put to work. Exactly. I mean, the alternative is is our original plan of just moving into their house and having breakfast with them every day. <laughs> they did say we were welcome at any time. Any time, yep. Yeah. That might have changed. You think that's changed? Well, we did arrest him for murder, so <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Hard to say. It is cold. It is cold. I feel like I need a torch to walk. Keep warm. I don't know, foot patrol with torches. That's that's an interesting Those idea. <laughs> For it. I, I we need to make that very clear that's your idea though. <laughs> I'm interested in my idea. Somebody else. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah, why would you why you care to us Malone come in? Why are you care to us around Bro it. <laughs>
Oscar. I'm gonna put that rifle ammo there. Yeah, no news is good news, I guess. What's in this crate? Are you alright? Who? Ruth just twitched and then turned and stared at me weird. <laughs> I was just looking at the car. He's seeing if you passed the, uh, Fashion. Yeah. I, I did my uh, best. Requirements. Oh, it looks good. We'll never look as good as you. Proof. 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 Yeah, I mean, you want him to do right, might as well combine names too. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Hey, take a moment there. Hey, understandable. So that armadillo group has not reported in yet. No, no they haven't. They have three chefs out there? Yeah. Uh, do do they? At yeah. First, cash Marlo is out there as well. Cash. cash went separately. He was gonna stage ah. an armadillo. The nearest people with Marat, that probably accounts for everyone we have, and then we got folk here. Yeah, we came to do foot patrol since Ruth and I are pretty much useless otherwise. Yeah. I also got Bear John to admit there were two more. Oh, did he give you any ideas of who? Um, bald man, British, and a man who's close friends with Marquis. Are close so, with Marquis. probably Ronnie Rivers then? <laughs> Isn't he in Sissica? He's still in Sissica. <laughs> Is he still in Sissica? <laughs> Are you saying yeah. that to the bald man or close friends with Marquis? <laughs> close friends with Marquis. Okay, alright. They were both wearing white. One had suspenders. Other than that, I didn't really get a good look. Could you spit anyone they picked up at Thieves? Yeah. I wouldn't have even given them notice if they didn't yell something about us hiding behind the the lumber. Well, we'll keep an eye open then. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we will. Uh, is Huxley taking a minute to himself? Yeah, he's taking a minute. Yeah. Okay. Looks like the moonshiners are out in force. Mm. Yeah, we saw that. Coordinated moon moonshiner. I need two seconds too. Sorry. Yep. No, you're fine. But yeah, there's um. I need three seconds. Oh, okay. I always <laughs> gotta one up someone. <laughs> Five seconds. I need ten. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be right back. I don't take this.
All right. Yeah, this fellow apparently has kidnapped her, robbed her, and then took her to a sheriff's office. So he's made it up. It's it, he's he had a bucket list. I put the notebook in the yeah. What a fun rolly. Um, so it's stored in Strawberry if you want to read it. But he's been selling these guns, I guess, because he had gun prices listed off in the notebook, and he had a list of sheriff's offices which he wanted to hit. And he even told Ruth that, and um, <clears throat> mentioned. Uh, taking me to Tumbleweed. At which point, Ruth was <laughs> he like, did say well, he wanted I, to take. Yeah, and I, I, I told him there's nothing in Tumbleweed. He wanted to take you to Tumbleweed, and then when I said I can't let that happen, he said okay, <laughs> and then shot me. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I was. Ex so <laughs> he also said it was just he wanted to pretty much rob each one. I call bullshit on that if he has a the book with list the prices on it. Well, he had the book in the book he had the sheriff's offices listed and some of them scratched off. Yeah, I, he's I, had a bunch of them. We've He's robbed before. here in Strawberry already. Or not Strawberry here in I thought he yeah, he did do strawberry. He even said that today and it yeah, was Yeah, that's in why charges. he didn't want to do strawberry, was he yeah. said it already? I'd imagine I'd imagine when he's out he'll try to hit the other sheriff's office. Office is going to be out for quite a while, yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, stand up continues. That... Brady is still unharmed. Shots have yet to be traded. Summers is demanding Sheriff Malone for prisoner exchange. Ruth, he won't be out till the 9th of January. Jesus. Yeah, and he's a 5000 something dollar charge. Woo. Jesus Christ. Um, Huxley, can I actually talk to you for a minute over here, please? Uh, yes. <sighs> I'd like to be present for this too. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, okay, so I have a question as to why when you walked into the sheriff's office, Is this you see your business. Do I have to be uh, present for this too? Yeah, or? you can be if you want to. You don't have yeah, to be. Um, I'm just curious as to why when you walked into the sheriff's office, you said someone needed a senior instead of there's someone holding a gun to someone outside. There wasn't at the time. Okay, so it was just Mr. Williams outside requesting a senior. Yeah, as soon as I walked in, that fella, I walked out and said, uh, can I help you? And he asked for a senior, so I turned around, walked in, and then uh, I saw through the door them walking up as you guys were walking out. Okay. I, I would not have just asked for the senior uh, if that was well, to happen, I promise. No, I didn't assume that, but I thought maybe they might have threatened your life if you didn't or something. Oh, so I just I wanted to get the full story, that's all. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, just the situation just kind of... It happened uh, within seconds. All right. Yeah. No. I mean, you're not at Yo, any fault here. Give them um, a sub done early. Good job helping take them down as well. Yep. Um, Thank you. I, I um, I I said to everyone, I am sorry. I didn't communicate a little better. I should have, but I went on the hill to be cover fire because there was nowhere for me to be cover. And then after I saw some of them run to the right, I flanked them and got two of them. You know, that was good work. Uh, sometimes in situations like that, you're not going to have the chance to communicate. And it seems like you did things very smartly, despite that. Thank you. Um, to be honest, it's a bit of a shit show anyway that plays out when you have deputies, especially as many deputies as we had in a sheriff's office, and you have someone take a hostage right outside, uh, especially in that particular sheriff's office, because there's really only one main way to go around with any kind of vantage point on folks. But... Uh, no, good job getting some of them. Uh, we were able to recover the weapons that they took. And, uh, yeah, now Bear John is serving a nice hefty time for his attempts to rob all of the sheriff's offices in St. Cross. <laughs> <laughs> and some other stuff, I guess he helped, uh, kidnap Torture. for torturing someone. Yeah, it uh, sounds like... Yeah, Joey and Ele uh, Eleanor, I guess. That, that's their last what? name's Kane and Crawford. Mm-hmm. Uh, is he running around with the Boons boys, too? Yep. He said he wasn't. He said that he just doesn't write for them, but does stuff for them, is what he proclaimed. Yeah, all right. Something uh, to make note of on the dossier, at least. Yeah, yeah, I suspect he'll be coming after my guns again, because he told me to remember his face, so. 
He was complimenting me and my fashion and my firearms, so probably gonna be looking after mine. Anyways, uh, yeah. I can add to that, you won't be seeing him until the 9th or the 10th of January, at least. Yeah. <laughs> He's in for a long while. And 5000 something dollar charge. <laughs> He said that was most his money, and I told him, I told him, well, whoever uh, teaching him how to be an outlaw didn't teach him where to put your money correctly, because that's not what I learned. And he told me I need to learn, I didn't learn from the right person, and I just left it at that. I'm not going to tell him where to get his money, but not very smart to be leaving in the bank if he's worried about getting caught. Yeah, not very smart for him, but very good for us. Oh, yeah, of course. I just um, wanted to rub it in his face a little bit. I don't know if that was rude. Uh, I would say be very careful who you rub things in, in people's faces with. Uh, <laughs> men like that that uh, don't bother to negotiate before <laughs> shooting are dangerous folks. Okay, that, that's why I kind of did it passively. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's that's really all I had. I don't have anything else to add, Jamie. No, I just wanted to I wanted to hear. Uh, it sounds like you, you, you obviously handled the situation. Uh, best you could. Thank you. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, un unfortunately, I mean, you know, uh, it, it happened because it happened. There's nothing really anybody else could have done. I feel like it would have went that same way no matter who was in any position, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm still kind of processing uh, the fact that it was the first time I shot people, so I don't yeah. know how I'll feel in a couple hours, but I'm definitely processing that. Well, uh, you, you helped. Fair. You were a huge part in apprehending them, so. Okay. You were, you were, and they weren't good people. You didn't shoot good people today. Yeah, that's I an know. important. That's an important distinction to remember. I just you, you just helped apprehend somebody that's wanted for over three thousand days. So, yeah, that is true. He's been doing quite a uh, doozy on the crossing. Yeah, I just felt bad shooting. I know Marquis on it. A great person. I, I I try to think of the best of people that they're just making terrible mistakes, but uh, I shot him in that Luca person. I don't know much about that Luca person. I just met Marquis a handful of times now. He likes to say motherfucker a lot. Pardon my bad words. Yeah, no, he does say it a lot. And we were saying to him on the boat, they were asking if he put his head in the water and did his laugh if it would work as a motor. What was he the consensus? Try. Um, we all, well, everyone except me decided probably the only reason I said no was because when I shot him, he fell in the river and I was, he was stuck on a rock and I was trying to get him out. And he was he would gurgle the water, and then when I pull him out a little bit, he would laugh, and uh, it wasn't helping uh, boost him out of the water. So I don't think the laugh is going to help move the boat any. But I could be wrong, and I would love to be proved wrong because that would be quite a sight. I'll tell you. All right. Well, I got nothing else for you. Actually, you got water. I got nothing else for you giving me something. <laughs> God damn it, Ruth. Wait, do you have water? Here, do you need, do you need water, really? <laughs> I do, I do. Here. Yes. God damn it, give me your guys canteen. You guys want to give me, yeah, I'll go, fill, I'm sorry, I had some in my throat. I'll go fill them all up, that's what I was telling you. We're going to go to the Bastille. Yeah, we're going to go to the Bastille, oh, okay. and we're going to get some cigarettes from More than welcome to come. Um, I could get another root beer. I'll go. All right. He, he serves cocktails. I don't drink. Uh, mostly because I don't like what my head feels like, but there's a lot more to it than just that. Just don't really talk about it. All right. Um, I guess let's get out on the streets since it seems like the snow is stuck. Yep. Perfect. Beautiful. And um, Brooks was uh, taking a minute for herself. Oh, all right. Smell minty. <laughs> Why are you sniffing? <laughs> Why are you sniffing her, Ruth? You just I just the noticed. The, the hell, Ruth? We gotta talk about your behavior. <laughs> okay. He ain't that one. 
Oh, you smell like bourbon. You haven't been on a date. <laughs> oh. What is this? Uh, my handmade cigarettes. Pansy. <laughs> now you'll smell like me, a woman. How dare you? Oh, this Don't smells forget like mint. to add <laughs> the bourbon smell. Slacks is gonna get jealous. <laughs> Why? Because he wanted to take Ruth on his first date. I, all I gave him was a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, but he said now he smells like a woman, so... Oh. I was just fooled by possible moonshiner. What? Did you say fooled? That's what it says. Ed Funk. <laughs> He stopped his wagon and claimed to have fermented tea from the country of Tiger in the back. <laughs> and told us he was in a hurry to deliver it before it went bad. Jones and Camden both smelled it and it smelled awful like alcohol and fish. After a few minutes we allowed the man to continue on his way but afterward realized that this may have been Moonshine and the man may have given us a fake name. I know who Ed Funk is. Is it Kaniklo? Yeah, that's a, and there's an alias of Ed Funk under Kaniklo's profile. I saw that today and I was laughing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> Yellow leather clunker, white hair, doesn't get voice. Damn it, I'm a moonshiner. Ed Funk. You ever wonder why like they didn't that, call- How could you not let him go? <laughs> You ever wonder why? Do you think there's like a? Do you think there's like a version of moonshine that's called sunshine? Is that like if Buckley was to deliver moonshine? <laughs> Just all happiness and joy. Fermented oranges. Why are those bells ringing, Huxley? God damn. Well, if it's going west again, maybe those in Blackwater can go engage him. What is your name? Heading west. Daddy issues 14. What's How your... are you two feeling, by the way? Holy. Or three, I guess. I forgot Pro I got hit, too. Like I got shot by some asshole who stole my gun. I feel like I've got a hole in my chest. I also uh... feel holy. I'm sorry, guys. It's it's not your fault, Huxley. You don't have to blame yourself. You absolutely destroyed them. Why are you apologizing? Yeah, yeah. I'm just sorry that uh, that we all had to experience that, and then you guys had to take one uh, in the dicks and bullets. I just feel bad. They didn't need to go that way. I wish they would have just been on their way. Well, you know, uh, sometimes you just get dealt a bad hand. <laughs> yeah. Dumb men get greedy. Yep. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Do you also want a cigarette? I don't smoke. You want to smell the cigarette? You don't want to smell minty? It, it smells good. I'm I gonna like give you a shit flavored cigarette soon, bro. Non minty flavored cigarettes, if you'd like. I'm not going to smoke it if you give me a shit flavored cigarette. I won't tell you what it is until you light it. Can you make him a minty cigar? I think he'd like a minty cigar. I'm just not gonna smoke any cigarettes you're gonna give me if you're just gonna give me shit flavored Did you know cigarettes. Sanctum cigars are chocolate flavored. I need to ask Drew Peters how he feels about chocolate cigars. I don't know yeah, where I that wonder falls. If those are for children or not. <laughs> well, say, don't say that to Sanctum. I'm sure he'd be pretty grumpy about you saying that. I mean, I'm not the one saying it's Drew Peters. Oh. I, if I try any any type of uh, smoking, I'd probably try that chocolate one, because I like chocolate. Mm. Alright, I'll make you a chocolate-flavored cigarette. I don't know how you flavor it with chocolate. Oh, maybe ask someone who does the cigars. Nope, I think I'll just experiment and you'll be my little lab rat. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. If I die, uh, you're getting prosecuted. I'll haunt you and prosecute you. 
I'll come back as a ghost. Then they have found your body. Oh! Are you so guys hearing this is criminal threats? The only conversation I can hear is they'll never find your body. <laughs> That's all you need to know, Brooks. <laughs> you know, somebody tried to sell me mint meat today. Mint meat? Yeah. That sounds uh, interesting. Uh, they asked me how I would prefer my meat with mint or thyme. <laughs> Well, you've never had like mint, like steak, uh, with mint. No. On top of it. No. Mint it's steak. not like it doesn't taste like mint. Like it's it, it adds flavor to the steak. Mm. I've I feel never like had I haven't it. done nothing but staying around Shay's office. Yeah, can we let's do this for patrol. Yeah, we were waiting on Brooks, but now that she's here, we can go on our foot patrol. Patrol. In the snow. Oh. In the snow. Foot patrol. Oh, I gotta, I gotta change into my city outfit. City outfit, yeah. Can't oh, control on this. I should be in my city outfit. <laughs> Is she gonna come out in all black? It's possible. Oh. I wasn't looking, I swear. Nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Marquis wasn't lying, was he? Oh. We're not about what? I feel obligated. Saying Huxley was trying to ask me on a date. <laughs> he was asking Marquis advice. That's a hell of a person asking advice. <sighs> Pru Pruitt Henley, can I ask you two a question? Mm -hmm. It's a bit personal. Sure. All right. Do you guys sleep under the blanket <laughs> or on the blanket? Sorry, Brooks, I wasn't trying I to. I sleep walk. hanging upside down. What? Really? Yep. Okay. Ruth sleeps above the blankets naked. Okay. <laughs> That's what you said. You, you can't just put it out there like that. And oh. naked? Alright. Yeah. Jesus Christ, sheets. you're smoking very largely <laughs> over the roof. Calm you down. Really that was that a crazy. That, that is a very big smirk. That they smirk just got puts the my pony to, the to vault shame. In Saint Bank. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's do this fun patrol. Let's right, just walk. Let's just walk. Guys, you gotta walk at the city pace. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. How fast is the city pace? Yeah, what's the city pace? How many 70 steps? steps okay. 70 steps. 70. That's what Pearly told me. That's the city pace. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Because <laughs> we were walking too fast for him somehow. <laughs> yeah, all right. You know, I'm, I'm, tempted to, I'm tempted to make the St. Denis Foot Patrol 71 pace. <laughs> <laughs> Just to break the rules to a little one bit. one-up them? Yeah, one-up them. <laughs> wow, you, you rebel, you. Yeah. Well, if we ever got to get into a foot patrol and a foot pursuit with Pearly, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> we we'll got one step on him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't worry, I'll hold down the steady stance for us all. Oh, yeah, remember the day we all walked up to the... Chenzo's with that? With our yeah. Hands on our I did that with Malone recently. We were waiting for him standing like this. Just had a small headache. There's a horse at the Bastille. Oh shit, it's a trophy. Two of them. Oh my god. We might get shot. <laughs> Again. Please don't. Okay. Somebody <laughs> needs to stand in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll be a sponge. <laughs> That good. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, Huxley. Thank you. How do you? Thank you. Good work. I'm wearing fancy clothes too, so I, I fit in. Hey, can you open the doors? <laughs> it's. Is everything okay so in here? 
<laughs> oh my god. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, man, how y'all doing? Fantastic, Mr. Peters. How are you doing? Uh -oh. oh, not bad. I can't complain. Y'all okay? What the hell? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just... yeah, we're wonderful. It's been a, it's well, been a bit of a rough shift. Yeah, well, I have some. I I literally just got to make some chicken noodle soup. Y'all want some? I I would love I would love some chicken noodle soup, but I'd also. Oh, do you have some cigarettes? Um, uh, we do. Are you gonna ask him? Are you gonna Cigars still make well. me your test rat? Mm -hmm. You have cigars what? too. You gonna ask him about how he does the chocolate? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't actually. I don't know if he does the chocolate. And no, I think I'm just gonna experiment. Oh gosh, you're gonna. I'll take some uh, chicken noodle soup as well. Oh, Sean. One for me as well, please. Yes, ma'am. Um, Mr. Peters, I yes, heard that uh, there was a question to ask you, and what you think of chocolate-flavored cigars? What kind of question is that? I'm just trying to solve the case here, that's all. <laughs> um... Um... I have no idea. Oh, what, what about people who what... smoke them? Who do you think smokes chocolate-flavored cigars? That's a better question. The hell? I don't know. Would that be in like the... Do you think... Well, you, you said c c cigarettes are for women and children. What about chocolate-flavored yes. cigars? I'm sorry, Brooks, I'm trying to get out of your way. I don't know. Uh, everyone has their own palate. So, I couldn't tell you. That's a weird quit. Y'all just come in here just to ask me that question. <laughs> yeah. No. No. No, uh, we I came need chicken noodle soup. soup bad. Yep. You bunch of hootin' nannies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry, what? Hootin' what? Hootin' hoot nannies. nannies. Are you a nanny? You got the Oh, that's very... Thank you. Thank you. Um... Soon to be. Uh, <laughs> could I get a cigar as well, please? Oh, uh, Sean. Well, who said that? Uh, me standing in front of you. Okay. You got some on you, hon? I do. <laughs> when do I not have? No, oh, that's right. Very generous. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go upstairs and just. Uh, right, so did you want cigarettes? Uh, okay. Yeah, full yeah. pack of twenty, please. Oh, uh, Sean, hold on. Let me uh, get inside this crate here. And and chicken noodle soup. Oh. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, perfect. I said it's it's very fresh, so be careful. It's very hot. Uh, you want to come around, maybe? Sean. Sure. Uh, here, let us get out of your way, Ruth. Do you want anything? Mm, I'm all right. Ah, it's really good. You recovered yet, Brooke? How much are you? Oh, God. How much are you? It's. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. Come here. Well, you all yeah, fucking work hard enough. Yeah, you don't worry about it. Your face got a little redder. Okay. All right, all right. Sir, don't worry about it. Fine, fine. <laughs> Can I get a chicken yeah, noodle? Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, you okay, Mr. Pierce? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I slipped. My, my feet were doing something funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sean, what, what, what's your name? Uh, a chicken noodle and a root beer. Of all the shit. I can't have root beer, sorry. Oh, that's I'm okay. I've been thinking about getting some doctor. They call it Dr. Peeper. Don't make eye contact with her. Oh, I never yeah. tried that. I just like sarsaparilla and root beer. But if you get it, Bruce already has to buy cigarettes. He's probably angry. It's pretty good. It's my favorite. Wait, what's it called? Me Dr. Peeper. A Dr. Dr. Peeper? Yeah, you mix it with a little bit of bourbon, and I'm telling you. It's oh, like heaven. It has it's alcohol okay. in it. Well, no, you don't have to. Like, you oh. It's okay. I smoke cigars. Okay. He's selling oh, Dr. Yeah. Peepers right now. Dr. Peepers. I'm sorry, he's, in the world. <laughs> he's selling Dr. Peepers right now. Huh. It's apparently the best root beer. Do you think it's the manliest drink? Of course. Yeah. It sounds like a manly drink. <laughs> sounds like it's only for men. <laughs> I'll let it cool off us a little bit. <laughs> sounds like it's only for men. Where did Ailis go? <laughs> you can't oh make God, this dude. shit up. Yeah. I'm the worst bartender ever. 
I just I'm gonna go buy some Dr. Peeper. <laughs> Give me one too. Why are you selling Dr. Peepers? Well, I'm hoping I can get some in. You don't have any? Not yet. I, I mean, would like to buy to some. Well, it's hard to get. It's, it's soda. You know, you... Diet, Dr. Peepers. They have an ice cream shop down the road, uh, but Dr. Peeper is something I, you know, I'm, I have to get uh, imported. You know what I mean? Okay, mm -hmm. well, I, well, as soon as you get that in, you let me know, because I will buy a, a lot of Dr. Peeper. Okay, well, I'll make sure to get in. That's my favorite, too, so you have to share. All right, sounds good. It's gonna be a master. He can't, he can't get a date, so he's just gonna do all the people he can. Shit, gets me every time. Yeah, no one fall Oh back. my goodness. You would want something called paper. Look, you Go can't. Ahead, you this guy's it. selling uh, Dr. Peepers. You can't make this up. You gotta buy Dr. That's Peepers so if somebody offers stuff. it to you. Especially if it's Drew, if it's Actually, fucking Drew Peters. A whole lot of it, huh? Goddamn right. I'm gonna stock the sheriff's office with Dr. Peepers every chance I can. All right. I'm gonna call it Drew Peters' Dr. Peepers. There's plenty of things around the corner. You ain't short of that. That's a shot. There's a fair share. That's that's certain. Talking true. about peepers. I wasn't was peeping on you, Brooks, I swear. After the conversation we just had in Siska, they were lying to you. I was just trying to change my clothes. I didn't realize that that's... We need to change right in that room. I thought there was another thing in there. Okay. I'm really sorry. You got me excited about state to knee clothes, and I wanted to wear my fancy outfit. You as well. Have a yeah. good one. Hey, all take care. Thank you. <sighs> ah, okay. <laughs> that chicken noodle soup is playing the shit. <laughs> I wonder how it would have been with some Dr. Peepers. Shut that away for Huxley. Peepers, Huxley's still inside. <laughs> you can't oh, yeah. tell me Dr. Peepers is not the second best thing from the best deal. No, it is. Did you hear that, Ruth? It's, it, think of it like home. <laughs> I'm going to start stocking the office with Dr. Drew Peters' Dr. Peepers. The St. Denis office will be stocked. God damn it. it. All right. <laughs> Let's go by the telegram office. <laughs> so, wait, did we really just bring three deputies and a cadet along so that we can't get hurt? Is that. <laughs> Are we yep. just we're just being escorted around. We're the being city escorted right while we do our dumb shit. <laughs> Pretty sure this yep. is an abuse of power. I mean, did you command us to be here? No, you're right. That's true. Ruth, you didn't command him to be here, did you? No, y'all just seem that incompetent. <laughs> That's fair. That's very fair. fair. Roast. Good thing it's snowing. Cool, yeah. I, I see what you did there. <laughs> it's fine. Ruth hasn't felt something since he was nine and Pruitt was 15 when he stopped feeling too. 1985. Cursed year Damn. for the both of us. We stopped feeling the same year. <laughs> I said 1985. Whoops. Oh. oh, our favorite people. <laughs> God. Mm. Wave at him. Yeah. Uh, do you know if any of them are wanted, Ruth? No clue. Okay. Sidewalks exist, what? right? No sidewalks exist for a reason. Yeah, better be careful before you guys get trampled. <sighs> Was that so sorry? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He's kind of a, pardon my uh, bad words, a, a prick. 
I'm glad you're the more I was. <laughs> oh, well, did I use my outside voice? I'm sorry. No, it's bad. It's bad. What'd you say, Henley? She <laughs> <laughs> said, when he said, you know, sidewalks are things, she said, not with your fat ass <laughs> taking them up. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> And it's nobody, a big stupid nobody coat. Nobody responded but me. I think I was the only one that really heard it. I didn't <laughs> hear it. I thought I was talking inside my head, my bad. <laughs> Whoops. The filter turned off for a second, I, didn't it? I was just whispering to Brooks, that's all. Mm -hmm. She didn't want that either. Uh, can someone send a telegram that we're, uh... Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Fit. His ass oh, right there. the ice. Oh. Hey, watch your step, Huxley. What wants you to fall? I don't want to fall. I don't want you guys Somebody to fall really either. Somebody needs to solve that. God damn. I'll just bleed on it and they don't salt it enough. Maybe watch in the, walk in the street for it so you don't slip. Wait, what telegram did you want, Saint? Uh, just one that we're on foot patrol. Uh, Why are there potato skins scattered on the ground? We have a new criminal. That's what I was about to say. We need to get to the Maybe it was that this. chocolate guy. The poop prank guy. Maybe he's moved on to potato oh, skins. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lucille, are you a cadet still? Uh-huh. Just making sure. Sombreros de Aguilera. Brought I think to I still America. got a few things to check off. High quality hats. Only $50 per sombrero. Jesus Christ, that's an expensive I think actually, hat. if somebody wants to toss me a handbook, we can get one of them checked off. Um, there really isn't a handbook for mm -mm. cadets, but there is a little bit of a paperwork introductory thing. Yeah. Um, Alright, when we get back to the office, I'll do that. Alright. All right, time for our, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, what's this? Is that's fucking dumb? You doing? Hello there. Yeah, how's it going, folks? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Oh. Yeah, Merry Christmas yeah. to you as well. Did you have a question? Sorry about that. You're looking for the circus. It's uh, it's over there somewhere. Oh, Load. I thought it just came into town right now. <laughs> we should know. Sorry. <laughs> they didn't even appreciate that. Jesus Christ. Jesus. God damn. Will she calm down? <laughs> I can't do nothing except send telegrams. <laughs> Get somebody angry. Sorry. I didn't realize we was pulling everyone in our world in the chin zone room. <laughs> We didn't even invite them, and they're just throwing themselves in the ring. God damn. We're not actually at war with the Dachinzos. Yeah, okay. Disclaimer. 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 The only person I'm at war with is Drew Peters. <laughs> it's, the ni it's the nicest war we've ever been in. <laughs> Feels like Prove it. Yes. I I'm pretty sure Jonathan Devine tried to invite you into his gang, so wouldn't that I make you... I sent him an application, actually, yes, after they <laughs> lost that gunfight the other day, I said... So I guess you're I said, at war with the Dicenzos. <laughs> I said, uh, seeing as how y'all did so badly in this last gunfight, it seems like you need all the help you can get. And then I listed off the pros, <laughs> that I'm a smartass, I'm disliked by the Dicenzos. Oh, boy. And, uh, I forget what else I said, but then my cons were, I wear a badge and I don't have an eye patch. So... Oh, oh boy. You need an eye patch? I think 90% well, of their gang that has an eye patch in it. I don't think it's that it's many, like but you know. New fashion accessory or something. Yeah, it's everyone that's every everyone that's anyone in the crossing has one. So I've been told. Except Drew Peters. Hey, just get a class eye. I'm just gonna start wearing an eye patch and telling people that I have an eye patch. <laughs> And when they're like, what happened to your eye? I'm going to be like, oh, nothing. I'm just trying to blend in. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to change it out every week. Move it from my right to my left eye and see if anyone notices. 
We should make eye patches part of the footy. Yeah, uniform yeah. Sort of thing. Well, it won't really anymore. stand out in Saint Denis. Apparently, this jacket's part of it. I didn't realize. Damon and New us today. Mm -hmm. Good change now. You don't have the red jacket. Have we uh, heard back from Malone and his group yet? Uh, we heard that they had not traded bullets yet when we checked in the t tip line last. Okay. I'll be good to swing by I just, just hope in case. Max is okay, and all of them, of course, too. Probably should check the tip line soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we could circle back around there. We're heading that way. Anyways. And then we could make a loop on the northwestern side of town. Uh, yeah, I gotta go figure out which room I want to stay in at the manor. Is this a. <laughs> oh, you are joining the circus then. <laughs> well, they said it was over here, so I'm just assuming. Is, is it bad that I've been walking around with $1,900 on me since before the Barry John situation? <laughs> what the? Um, fuck this is a robbery. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey Ruth, I need a loan. Why <laughs> do you have that much money? Well, I was buying that navy earlier. <laughs> oh, so you need $2,000? I didn't know how much you would ask. <laughs> Wait, what navy were you buying earlier? He I made some man who I think was still scamming him. <laughs> Ride to Saint Denis and buy him a navy. Yeah, I, I told him I'd give him some money for it. Then he didn't show back up for what twenty minutes? Yeah. I was convinced he was getting scammed. He came back Jeez. with it though. And then he dropped it on the ground and Oh well. I gave him fifty dollars. <laughs> Jesus what Christ. The hell? Maybe you really are part of the circus already. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, there's a bank right here, Ruth. You should definitely go and put that money in the fucking bank, please. Get out of the uh, For some reason, I thought you were going <laughs> to ask me to rob it. I was really confused. <laughs> no one would expect yep, it from two yep. oh, shit. deputies. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, this is a tricky situation. I'll check the other side to see if it's safe. Okay. Huxley, quickly on the ground for the senior deputies. I think I'm stiff girl. I was just about... Just... Never mind. Poet for hire. There. If you've got a lady or fella oh. you love, but you're just a shit speller, <laughs> I okay, offer my gift to poetize your drift. Ask for Elliot fucking Teller. All right, I need that telegram. What? What is it? It's a uh, Y U zero seven five. Are you gonna get a poem for Slacks? That's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get a uh, several poems sent to several people throughout the department. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to be careful. Okay, yep. Yep. Okay, uh I'm not going in. I don't The other side's just as bad. Okay. I've got an idea. Are you gonna just jump it? That's just... a Oh that. Wow, smart man. Ugh. Okay. What? He jumped it like it was an obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> now it's gonna be soaked. That's fine, he's he's cold inside anyways. Yeah, since I was nine. <laughs> since he was nine. <laughs> My coat's still there. Has everybody used the bank? I'm gonna pick my coat back up. <laughs> yep. I have a question, Ruth. Why did you put your coat down and then jump over it? <laughs> so I didn't slip. <laughs> uh, okay, he, he yeah. Put his coat that down, makes but he sense. still didn't trust it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna be the first one to try. <laughs> I mean, it's the glands. It's just slippery. And we, uh, if there was like six Dicenzos walking down the street, it looked like we're about oh, to get into like a knife horse, fight. Watch out that horse, might hit us. Oh, never mind. Damn, he didn't even try to take you know, it out. I've been in a coma for a while. Has anybody seen Tony Salerno? No. Mm, no, actually. Why'd no. <sighs> you have a date with him set up too? No, I walked him home so he didn't get hit by a horse since he was such an old fragile man. I'm afraid maybe he got hit by a horse. 
Well, you know, without you to walk him home, he probably did. And that's on your soul now. Damn. Like me getting put in a coma. I hope you can sleep at night, Ruth. Yeah. I'll have to look into that. Why don't they do productions in the theater anymore? We should bring it back. I don't know. Somebody was supposed to be doing burlesque dancing. They got canceled. I don't know why. Oh, I remember that. I was going to go to that. <laughs> of course you were. Were you going <laughs> to take part in it? <laughs> I was going to order a Dr. Peeper and watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's burlesque dancing. Uh, this one's on you, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You uh, Brooks, I need you to answer it, okay? Oh, Did right. I have Jamie to explain it know. to you? He does, yeah, he doesn't know, so he needs you to answer. I remember you explained it to me, and I just said I'm going. It's the scandalous dancing. Mm -hmm. Oh, gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So gross, Huxley. Mm -hmm. Yes, terrible. Just, uh, I don't know. Terribly it, gross. Not my cup of tea, I guess. I mean, you don't have to call the dancers. What, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what are you Building talking about, Charles Devine? I know was, some of you will uh, read this and roll your eyes as I'm reading this. Just sounds, uh, it, it sounds dirty. Mm. Hope to, hope to see you soon, CD. Can I telegram him back? <laughs> he hates my existence, so. Oh well, looks like uh. It looks like a shootout has actually started at Raskiller. Yeah. What is he talking about? Murder. Murder of uh, Oliver Harper. What kind of deal was struck? I was there for the shooting, uh, trying to bring them in. I don't <laughs> recall any deals happening. McCree might know more, though. He was the one talking, new in the talking to CD. It might have happened with um, Chef and I fell back a little bit to get in cover. Or maybe there was a deal after, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything about a deal. I didn't read anything about a deal. I would say all deals should be off the table if they started shooting at us if there was a deal at that moment. I got other reports. Yeah, I'm getting a thicker coat and cold. At least you have a coat. Says the dumbass who put his on the fucking ground. Yeah, if you'd like. Okay, I got forty-seven fifty. You got? Can you cover three dollars? I've got nine dollars. <laughs> okay, that I that that covers. You, I can cover it. I was gonna say I have three hundred dollars. Do you want the whole nine? And no, you're buying yourself a coat. No, I was gonna oh, give you it to you to bring me back a coat. Uh, fine. Oh, hey, he wants the same coat. I hope you get a good look at it. Yep. Yeah, just give me like what, two fifty. Keep the change. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> Your mama's rolling in her grave. She raised you like that. <gasps> Jesus Christ! I gave her three dollars. <laughs> What an ass! You're such an asshole. <laughs> You're such an asshole. I just didn't feel like getting quarters. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ! Medical on standby, an armadillo. The only reason I'm rolling my eyes is because 
such fucking stupid. So we got no update outside of that the most recent tip? Yep, yeah, nothing outside of that. Okay. Which is wonderful. I mean, there's not really much we can do. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess technically we could ride down there and check in on things. He's carrying but a men's coat. <laughs> from afar? This? But, uh... Here you are, princess. Thank you. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah, I bought the biggest size available. You think, you think it's like big enough to be like a cape? <laughs> uh, sure. Perfect. It could be whatever you want it to be. Amazing. All right, what about riding somewhere? Uh, we were just talking about the updates to, uh... On the situation in New Austin, and the only thing we could really do would be ride out there and check on things, but I don't really... know if that's something we should do. As we already have so many out there, um... Yeah, I would say not. I mean, you got eight responding all the way out there. Yep. I mean, we got 18 on duty, so there's 10 of us still out there. Two of you are fucking injured. Three of us, technically. Yeah, no, it would, it would be simply to look at things, but that's a long way to ride for... Peeping. Right, I was supposed to give Lucille. Yes, please do. I think about getting on Jabass in a little bit. Where's the fucking... Never mind. Also gonna go to this tomorrow. I do wonder how that shootout is going. Alright, Miss Davis. So this is extremely outdated information, but at least gives you an idea of what may be relevant when writing a report. Who? Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? I was just kind of looking at random reports. Yeah. Oh. I what honestly, are you on, Brooks? I I haven't so, I've been trying to just look at random reports to be filled no in on shit I missed. So Seeing what weapons they haven't moved off and mark that off. Your... Oh, I'm proud of you for doing your job. Thanks. I try. Did you guys know there was a carving in the road sheriff's office? Mm-hmm. I saw it. It was a wolf. wolf. Mm-hmm. 
Crazy. Well, a wolf. A wolf. <laughs> okay. Bolton <laughs> beat Kaniko's ass. Yep, we've been given the hell up from the courts. You know about what you should and shouldn't be doing <laughs> in terms of interacting the with the public no shit. and dealing with criminals. Looking you know to run, not to engage, horse. unless you can self defense and it's the last option available. You know about that. What? I don't own a white horse. I'm in the clear. Basically, listen to everything yeah, that is taking to do people on a white horse because they have to break that seal before moving to the next um, one. Shit. Okay, so yeah. I don't know why. So that don't ride a white good. horse. I already read one. No. Have you done any sort of training, You're a like pursuit training, weapon training? I'm putting you down as a possible bank suspect. Bank training stuff mm -hmm. like that. Has anybody seen Speedy? I still need to question him about a bed. <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> Alright, so it seems like you have done everything required of a God damn it. Um. <laughs> hey, Brooks, do me a favor. What? Look at Ruth through your binoculars and tell That's me right, he doesn't look like Speedy. I did bank robber training, I don't think he looks like Speedy. You're just saying that because you think he's cute. All right. I think the only things you would need to do I'm not cute, I'm cut. advance is get more ride-alongs and preferably yeah, cut the fuck up with that bullet that went through your face. The chair in order for them to see At least how, I didn't you go triple or nothing. how you handle situations. You might um, actually lost your job. <laughs> um, if not, you you don't it. have like any concerns up. except for yeah, occasionally, I, I guess, um... I think it's the stress from the call. Speaking when you're not supposed to sense. seems to be one of the, the paper concerns that are listed the most. I, I can't. Not too sure what that means. I, I can't wait to get, to get a doctor papers. Yourself into situations, but perhaps there is a time and place. Well, I just feel like you you're going to be waiting forever and you're never actually going to get it. Some, some Bury me with my doctor papers. Um, like, do you remember during bank robbery training you spoke, um, in? Usually it's better to have less voices speaking so that the one doing negotiations can focus on doing negotiations and not um, having other people also speak over them or speak for them. Are we seeing the senior deputy what in people the are saying that you need to work on? I think so. Um, okay, Ruth, I know here's the plan. Kind of weird to live you want to become sheriff's right? <laughs> stay quiet yeah. and stay in the background. But and then we get Brooks and Henley promoted. Really it's best if there are less yeah. And we just give them all the work. The mix. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Um, unless, of course, you are the one handling... Sounds like my life already. Where you want to be the go um, That's not to say in the cells. Uh, it's let's be the go of, uh, so You have to be Thieves careful Landon. when you're speaking over the negotiator. Yeah, don't <laughs> the sheriff's office there, but sure. Uh, but in the cells, we'll just you can make one. with people, you can talk to people. Yeah, we'll just take over the speakeasy. <laughs> fine, as long as you do it in a professional manner, which I have no questions about. You we'll call it the law, man. <laughs> Dancers will call the bitch bunnies. Anything <laughs> except maybe having you lead more patrols. We could always do Van Horn if we wanted. How many ride alongs have you done, do you think? Oh, yeah, I want to work out of a burned down sheriff's office. You're right. <laughs> At least they're in the sheriff's office. Yeah, <laughs> it's a step up. You and I struggled with That's that. true. They have a general store, too. They have a general store, too. God damn, we're just look at us. We got big plans. <laughs> All right. It's all gonna fall through if we don't get that Dr. Papers. <laughs> it's fine. Um, have Could you, you imagine being in Van Horn and you ride along with to do we, ar we arrest, we arrest Gavin Summers for extortion and walk him to the burn down sheriff's office? We'll be on both his <laughs> lists. <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I'm pretty yeah, sure I'm already on his list, to be honest. Be but yeah. It By doesn't way, seem really like five days. Ride -alongs. Oh, Thorn's out? In five days? But so far, no one has updated. Oh, that that's so nice. I'll have, have to ask her for tea. Done, so I'll just go ahead and throw five in there for now. The base no, I don't think it's her that wants to kill me. It's, so. it's better than fucking zero. She wants to kill me. Oh, why did she want to kill you? What did you do? She wants to kill me too. Because we right, took her I in. I wish I could give you. Shit off her, Dr. Beeper. I personally haven't seen a rhythm with you, and I'm just going based off of feedback that Ed does have given. Yeah, at least got those fucking items checked off so they won't say, hey, she needs to do this when you have been told that if you've been a cadet. Yeah. Well, hopefully we nip that in the butt a little bit. Uh, 
I'm sorry, are we blocking you? Nope, I'll just read through you. All right, yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> I've got a hole in my chest, so you could read through it. I don't want to look through your holes. <laughs> if he opens his mouth and turns the right way, you can look through his cheek, too. I look through your fucking earlobe, I see right through it, too. That's true. That is very true. More men, Jim. Just... Yep. Head and waist. Okay. Uh, what was that explaining? <laughs> I was I was gonna yawn and then it stopped in midway. So, so I you just, just go ah. <laughs> yes, that's what I did. What do you uh. mean? Uh, okay, so Lucille needs to work on something. She's done through most of the training, but no one has really put feedback for her. So I gave her some brief concern areas, told her what people may have the issue with her, and then do more ride-alongs. Not much I can do from there. All right. Um, I feel like she's been on a lot of ride-alongs, though. Yeah, but it was marked as zero. So I put the base number of five, but she said she's been doing it for a couple weeks now. So people aren't doing the fucking feedback. Let's see. Okay, finish training. Lead patrols, negotiations... She's been uh, approved since the 27th. Yep, so the better half of two weeks she's been doing patrols. And her feedback isn't much to go off of because there's not much of it. No, all the action items are just more training, more training, more training. Like nothing... Yeah, and I talked to her about the concerns about her speaking out of turn in place, which seems really derogatory, but I did it anyways and just kind of explained during negotiations if she's not the negotiator, she needs to keep pipe down less voices in the mix the better. Other than that, she can insert herself as much as she'd like. Did she say anybody spoke to her about this before? Um, I know during the brief bank robbery training that I witnessed, um, Bolton did mention when she spoke out of turn, when she was just one of the extra bodies and not the negotiator, that she needs to not do that. But I, again, I haven't rolled with her enough to say if that's people have discussed more with her about this or um, if she's aware of it still being an issue. Sounds like she understands, but... Yeah, I would say if she seems to understand, then that's not anything to hold her back based on. No, that's one of the stupidest things, to be like, oh, she spoke out of turn. Okay, well... Maybe you weren't talking enough. <laughs> I, I don't agree <laughs> with, your, with your assessment here, <laughs> Leah. <laughs> I'm... Uh, uh, that's a very unprofessional thing to say, uh, in my regard. Uh, no, I, I, I'm just messing around. But, uh, all seriousness, uh, I don't disagree with you. Um, I think that folks get a little testy sometimes when they feel like they're being talked over, when they're the ones doing the talking, um, when the... She, she made one small comment, and they all got all up in arms, like, oh, you shouldn't be speaking. Well, I'm confused why, so Bolton said okay. it, and then four days later, Brady also said... That she's still speaking out of turn? Out of what fucking turn? Like, she's she's not <laughs> yeah, doing bank robbery like, turns <laughs> 30 times. Like, like, yeah, look, it, look at this. Like, it, this she's talking to him patrols? <laughs> is that the problem? Like, I don't understand. Is that I'm, the I'm really confused here. I'm reading this and... I mean, I guess she spoke out of uh, out of turn in, in a bank training with Bolton, I, but then four see. days later with Brady, just haven't spent much time with Davis. Seems to know the crossing while leading, leading patrols. Has good head on her shoulder. Will make a good deputy one day with training. As Bolton explains, speaking out of turn? <laughs> that uh, irritates okay. me so much. Yeah, I don't see any... I'm going to put her forward for promotion. I don't see any reason for this to hold her back. 
I'm, I'm, I don't see anything in her feedback that that it, says she should I, still I be a cadet. I guarantee she's ready for a, for a fucking badge, but nobody's doing fucking feedback. Like the fact that there's no feedback between the eighth and the twelfth, and she said she's been on plenty of ride-alongs. Yeah, this is this is a continued issue that that we're seeing folks not putting feedback in. Yeah, and I I'm, mean, I'm for I'm the first four ride-alongs I did, I had zero feedback. Yeah, no, I know, uh, I remember. I, I had That's hoped because that I was speaking at a turn. No, you were not. <laughs> I had hoped God that damn it, Henley, quit speaking at a turn. Continue, if but... someone told me that, I might punch them. Henley? I think he's, he's speaking at a turn. <laughs> I mean, yes, ma'am. You, you were speaking. You were you were speaking perfectly when you told me you were gonna get ice cream with me, and then you stopped getting ice cream, so you spoke at a turn. Cry about it. I am. That's what I'm doing right now. In your feet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would love just a continued Henley feedback. <laughs> I'm going to put a down a feedback on, on December 14th, 1257. I know she's a deputy, guys, but my God, she's really speaking out of turn. She said she was going to get ice cream with me and didn't. I want to hold her back. Send her back to Cadet. <laughs> I want to send her back to Cadet until she gets ice cream checked off her check. <laughs> I brought you your fucking jacket. Yeah. But you know, I've done my act you. of service and charity for today. <laughs> That's like a 1900 statement, not a 1901 statement speaking <laughs> out of turn. What the fuck? <laughs> That's an 1885 term. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that's when I stopped feeling as well. Oh, we yeah, well, well. I told I shouldn't Threesies. speak unless spoken to. <laughs> oh, this has been I so didn't dumb. name names, but she did seem pretty feet pissed off. That was her feedback, and I, honestly, I understand. <laughs> I, if, if somebody told me my feedback was speaking out of turn, I'd be upset. <laughs> yeah. Especially with no, like, actual explanation no. as to when <laughs> she's speaking out of turn. <laughs> she asked too many questions. How dare she? As the other deputy said, spoke too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I wasn't riding around with Max fucking brain when I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, if they... Doc to me for that. I can't imagine that. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think Ruth and I, neither of us would have made it through. They would have been like, this guy has frills and speaks? Fuck this guy. <laughs> hey, Huxley, you still have a FAO on a case that's been arrested? If you've already fixed it, will you just make sure you remove the FAO? Uh, yeah, of course. Should I? Uh, I was going to ask someone uh, about that. Uh, it, what it was, was, uh, it was, uh, I think because I was a cadet when that happened, and then, uh, a couple of days later, What's I up, become, became a deputy, and I think they wanted me to do it as a training thing, and I filled out most of it, but it's so old, I just didn't know if I needed to keep filling out all of it, or if it even matters at this point. Um, if you remember just the arrest details, just add that in, and then... That should be good. Okay. I've just been wanting to archive it for a few days. All right. I, I did that FAO. You FAO'd me and Brooks. Um, there really wasn't much. I mean, the knife was just bloody, found in her boot. No fingerprints, no nothing, nothing distinguishing it. And it was, I, I don't read Chinese, so it was just a Chinese symbol carved into her, okay. her bag. Yeah, I wrote that. And then I also ran into Ronnie Herbert earlier, who said that it was Taipan that hurt both. Charlotte Davis and Arthur Prince. Gotcha. All right. But I, like, he said it was Taipan. I don't know which of them. So right now it's just kind of sitting there. Until hopefully Lottie wakes up and we can get a statement. All right. I remember you saying something about the knife, but I couldn't remember exactly what it was. That's right. I'm just letting you know that I, I 
Yeah, you do that. that. Thank you. I need to go. I need to go telegram this guy about getting poems. Yeah, I am. I am worried about them, man. There, there is. There is no tips about that shootout. Like I, 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 you know, it's like I feel like Ruth needs to be there in case Malone's not okay. Oh, I, I remember why I didn't do the arrest details, Brooks. Uh, it's because I, I was getting uh stitched up when he got arrested, so I wasn't there for that. That was Weller and Benny. Okay. I gotta go to the telegram station. Anybody wanna go with me? Uh, yeah. Can why I can? Yeah, I'll what come along. Words? I can. <laughs> I s <laughs> crushed. <laughs> yeah, we. I have let's, another question yeah. for you. I'll. It's Huxley. Okay. That's for oh, Huxley. Yeah. You coming? You wanna come and see you find you? I gotta go so telegram I this guy about poems. About oh, Jesus fucking crap. <laughs> you, you, I, you know I see a poem advertisement, of course I'm gonna contact the, the guy. The whole speaking General out of turn feedback is kind bullshit. of dumb. Who are you sending poems to? <laughs> I don't know, just get, be prepared for your telegram. I wouldn't have oh, been Jesus. as upset if it would have been mentioned and very clearly mentioned at me. But it was a general to the group thing. So, at least yeah. on one of them, if it was multiple people, then I, I, I'm confused. <laughs> Do you remember what was said explicitly, like what you said? No. Okay. I, I, I don't. Because I don't think it was maybe but two or three words, if anything. And has anyone else mentioned anything like that to you at all? Nope. This is the first okay. that I'm directly hearing about it to me. How many how many ride-alongs have you been on in, like, the last week? In the last week? Yeah. Uh, probably at least five this week. <laughs> so far. This week. So you did ride-alongs yesterday? Yeah. And the day before? Yep. And the day before that? Probably not the day before that. Okay. That was what? I would have been Saturday? Saturday, No, not yes. Saturday. What about Friday? I believe I was around for a little bit Friday, but I was stood on a porch for, I think, two hours. So. I mean, you were stood on a porch with other deputies, though, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. You, yeah, okay. Yeah, I had the same issue, Davis, so it won't hold you back very much longer. And I understand that it's frustrating, and it is most definitely unfair. But, um, like I said, the senior deputies are aware of it now. I've told you the concerns that some people might have had. Um, and as long as you're aware that, as long as you're not handling the negotiations, you're being on the more quieter end, you're, you should be fine. People say you're smart, know the crossing, have a pretty good head on your shoulders, so I wouldn't take it to heart, all right? You were there tonight in the when we had the situation in Strawberry, right? Mm-hmm. I was in the office. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. I got you and uh, Ruth back inside the office. That's what I thought. Okay. I'll make sure to write some feedback in your file. Jump fire us. Thank we you. get back to the office. I'm gonna compliment you so much. <laughs> yeah, you handled yourself very well during that. Um, waiting until the initial danger was over and it was safe for you to to grab folks and then make it sure folks were safe that was that was good work mm -hmm. I have a bit of a I guess experience with trying to get people out of the combat <laughs> zone so yeah no that's right. we really went the fucking long ass way around here Bruce. yeah we, we really <laughs> did <laughs> just wanted to get in one more foot patrol huh <laughs> I 
I just wanted to see my favorite canning company, JFAS. Wait, what? You never seen that building? No, what the? There's what a building, building over there that's called JFAS. It's a canning company. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm gonna write a petition to the mayor saying they need to have that destroyed. <laughs> I just don't understand. Jafas, Jabas, wasn't now just Jafas and Jabas. That's know. a good question. And Why I'll combine ask you it? next time I see you. That's a question for the Divine, divine Brothers. Yep, yeah, the Divine Brothers. I can't wait to look them in his singular eye and ask him that question. <laughs> Careful, he might tear up. Do you think he still feels? <laughs> you gotta ask uh, him about 1885. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta ask him about 1885 see if he was even born then. Wait, no, he'd have been born then. He'd be 15 if he hadn't been born. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, you know, based on his intelligence, he might be younger. I don't know. Oh, God help us all if he's 15. What's Charles Divine? <laughs> 12. <laughs> yeah, which one's older of the brothers? Well, I mean, considering J. Mavs is his uncle, I assume <laughs> Charles Divine is younger. I mean, Jonathan it... could be, like, born to his 50-year-old parents. That's true. You know, he, he could be 20. He could be an orphan as well. Maybe he has orphan <laughs> benefits too. <laughs> if he has orphan benefits and I don't, I'm going to be very upset. He should be upset. I'm going to have to write a petition. I mean, he freeloads off the government anyways, so might as well just join him. I mean, do you think he paid for that eye patch? Now I'm just like turning J Bass going into the, <laughs> the store and stealing it. Oh, iPad. watch the ass. It's fine, I'm a pro at walking on ass now. Yeah, I feel like we should be after the, the city trip. I don't know why I'm sending a telegram. I don't, you know what, actually, I need to send a telegram to someone. I forgot to respond to them earlier. <laughs> Oh my god, do we have matching guns? You and Prude do, I noticed that. Huh. What? Oh, we, do we? We have matching guns, yeah. Oh, look at us go. Mm-hmm. Is your, is your wood grain the same? I think. I think it is. Wow, look at that. Yeah. You have good something. taste in guns, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm too poor. You know, I I got this Litchfield as a celebration when I got deputy, and I've been carrying it since I became a deputy five months ago, or whatever it was. And that is wow. the first time I have been robbed of them, it and my navy, surprisingly. That is impressive, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it is pretty ugly. Ouch. Damn. Damn. I, I feel like we both should be offended. I, right? You know, if it wasn't Henley, I might actually be offended. Yeah, I care less. I, I feel like Henley just <laughs> says mean things to me just because. I mean, she just wears it better. <laughs> just like, um. I forgot his name. Ruth here. <laughs> wears this clothes better than you wear. I hope everybody realizes we just walked to the telegram station just for me to telegram somebody about poems. <laughs> <laughs> just like to point that out. We better both all be getting a fucking poem then. Everybody here is getting a poem, yes. <laughs> I'm, nice. get, I'm getting several people poems from this person. I, I, I inquired about how much he would charge me and when I could have a meeting. <laughs> I want to go to that meeting with you. <laughs> then you're going to have a spoil of your, tele your poem. No, because I'm going to get my own poems. I'm, I'm, well, I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give each name, I'm gonna give each person, I'm gonna ask this guy, hey, base a poem off of this, off of this word, this word, this word, I'm just gonna see what he comes up with. 
That's pretty good. Well, you know, if you're a shit speller, just call Elliot fucking Kelly. So, do you spell like shit, Rufus? Well. <laughs> well. With one L. <laughs> what did you say? I said well with one L. Well with one L, right? <laughs> Doesn't that just turn into a city creature? Does it? Yeah, whale with one L. Maybe. Maybe you spell it with an H and an A instead of an you know what, I'm just, this isn't even worth it. <laughs> he just verbally said a well. Just keep walking. Just keep walking through it. Just keep walking. Can't run away from your problems, Ruth. I'm not running away, I'm walking. I couldn't run even if I wanted to. Okay, we get it, you're crippled. Yep, for now. Yeah, don't I mean, run away, <laughs> either, he might shoot you. <laughs> if you keep going on duty, it's gonna be forever. You know, that's fair. I haven't gotten shot at in ages, and I go on duty with you one day. Two days. I get shot at you the first day I see you after you wake up, and then I get shot today. It's the one day he dresses like me is the day I get shot. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> what? What are you going to say? Dr. Peepers will make it all better? Oh, no. Buying us all tickets to the burlesque show. Dr. Peepers. What the fuck? Dr. Peepers is not what I expected to hear when I walked into the Bastille today. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I expected him to tell you to fuck yourself when you ask for cigarettes. <laughs> oh, you forgot to ask for the manly cigarettes. Though. Yeah, that's that, really that's. Up. Oh, fuck. We gotta go back. Hey, <laughs> 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 can I trade out these 20s? Pack of twenty for another pack of twenty. I, I want manly cigarettes this time, yeah, though. Manly cigarettes to go with my manly pony. Yeah. I try to keep forgetting you got a pony now. <laughs> well, I used I used to pony I used to, up, Ruth. I used to call it the pretty boy <laughs> pony, but I don't I'm gonna think start that holds telling up. you to pony up whenever it's... we go somewhere. <laughs> so mad at on the inside, Ruth. Move a medic stage by the ranch near the fork. Oh, it looks like Kittleman Gang is back at it. They're wanted for 25 oh. days. Tw what? You know what? I think Not that's my son it. to go the fuck to sleep before I somehow get pulled into some bullshit with him. I'm gonna write this feedback first. <laughs> Not until I'm done. Okay, that's fair. Wait, Huxley, can can you change the title of that He's all the report the you're toss. working on? Ollie Harper robbed the Blackwater, that one? Yeah, because it says she robbed Blackwater, but then the summary <laughs> says she was robbed by J. Oh, jeez. Okay, Blackwater. sorry, sorry, sorry. It just confused me a little bit, that's all. I originally did this really late at night. No, that's fair. That's fine. If it's ever too late and you want to, like, not do the report, make sure you do work in progress and FAO yourself on it, so then you don't forget. Uh oh, okay. I think I was also juggling like two or three reports at the same time. Yeah, I know the feeling. Uh, are there any questions you might have about anything regarding 
uh, being a cadet or being a deputy in the future, uh, Lucille? Um, no, not really. Not at this time. Okay. Uh, I know tonight's been a little weird. Uh, I, I will say, Ruth and I have a tendency to not be the most professional individuals when we're around each other. Um, we're, we show you what not to we, do. Well, the thing is, when we're in a real situation, we, uh, you know, it's very important to read the room. It's fine to have fun when you're not in the middle of things, but when you are in the middle of a situation, obviously, read the room. You don't want to be goofing off and things uh, like, say, during that hostage situation in Strawberry. Um, mm -hmm. So hopefully we haven't uh, put a bad taste in your mouth, so to speak. No, no, no. I in think regards to this how uh, little these carry themselves. No, I, I think this type of behavior is very much needed in a downtime like this. So, I just, I just laugh to keep him crying. To be honest. Exactly. But I also don't cry because I haven't felt anything since '85. Yep, same here. The darkness of '85. There is a there, I, the last Hell time I year. felt something besides 1885 was 1901 when Gavin Summers uh, made me feel bad for charging him for horse extortion, <laughs> for horse theft and extortion. Oh, I thought you were gonna say he hugged you and it made you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Right. Oh, I, I put my feedback. Wonderful. Of course. Sorry. Good lord, this whole summer situation has been over like four or five hours. Uh, yeah, just about, because that was what I woke up to. That's crazy. Don't gamble. Because I had uh, seen them come into Strawberry. Like the, before they got Brady. Jeez. Alright, I'm off to bed. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Okay. Going to try to meet with Ori before I do that, but soon I'll sleep. Alright, good night. 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 What Good kind night. of ice cream do you like? I don't know. <laughs> I've never had ice cream before. So I was going to try it. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm gonna do Jabaz um, uh, tonight, but I think I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm trying to wait. <sighs> I'm gonna do some off duty stuff because th th it seems like this is wrapping up. I just wanna be around for the fallout of this. All right, well, good work, everyone. We didn't die. Proud of us all. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, good good work. job again, Lucille, jumping into action like you did waiting until it was safe to, to get out there and get folks in. Not uh, jumping in and trying to, to shoot anyone down or anything like that. You played it smart. You played it cool. Very, very, very proud of how that was handled. Um, uh, Ruth, good job getting shot with me. I appreciate <laughs> you. Uh, you know I can't let you get shot alone. I appreciate you not letting them take me to fucking Tumbleweed on the back of his ugly-ass horse. Uh... <laughs> Brooks, Huxley, 
great job uh, tearing those motherfuckers down. Henley as well, she's already left, but uh, you all did really good jumping into action as quickly as you did. Uh, even if we didn't get them all. We got the biggest motherfucker in the group, so that's, uh, that's a job well done. Thank you. Uh, Finn, uh, if you need to talk any more about, uh, what you mentioned earlier in regards to that situation, my door is always open. Okay. Um, I'm more than happy, just, you can send me a telegram at any point. And, Thank uh, you. Or just find me on duty, alright? Okay. Thank you so much, Proya. Yeah, of course. Mm. Alright. Get some rest. Yep, I'm I gonna think, go. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the same, actually. I'm gonna head back right. to Rhodes, though. Yep, we'll let you out. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Yep, you as well. Thanks for letting me tag along. Of course, take care of yourself, Lucille. Yep, you as well. I'd like to, I'd like to go to, I think I'd like to go to Blackwater, just because I know there's, there's medics near the fork, so I kind of want to make sure people are okay. Yeah. So we can head to Blackwater. Yeah. Please get some sort of an update. I agree. Huxley? Huxley, want to come? This over there. I'm gonna ride on the back of your horse, Brooks, because I'm not even really clear from doing too much. Just clear yourself. I did that. No, don't, don't. I already, I already kind of did that. By negotiating. Just staring what? at me. No. Well, the door was open. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Whatever. It was not. I it looked pretty Why open. Why are you changing with the door open? I don't care. <laughs> I thought it was gonna shut. <laughs> We're gonna get fired soon. We're gonna get fired real soon. I'm so worried about law perma from this shootout. That's the only reason I'm staying on law right now, man. No, I like Henley more and more every time I work with her. I, I like Henley a lot. Where do I get ice cream? I don't know. Okay. Never had ice cream. Neither have I. Oh boy, ice cream's delicious. Can you tell me about it? <laughs> well, it's uh, 
uh, it's a cold <laughs> treat, so this time of year probably wouldn't be the best, because then you'll get a brain freeze. Um, uh, it's, you use, uh, either cream or milk to make it, I think, and uh, I don't really know exactly how it's made, but it's, it's soft. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know how to it's explain soft, ice okay. cream. And, uh, obviously creamy because it's ice cream, it's in, in, in the title. But there's a bunch of different flavors. Uh, okay, what kind of flavors? Chocolate and vanilla and strawberry. I know there's probably more, but those are the ones I've had. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I can compare it to. Uh, it just kind of like its own thing. I guess kind of like cream, just frozen. So it's like if cream was ice. Yeah, but not But then how like is it ice. strawberry? Well, cuz if it's cream, how can it they strawberry? Make, they they think they use strawberries or <laughs> maybe strawberry juice or something. I don't I really don't know. I know you, you could probably ask Kerrigan's uh, cuz they make uh, straw strawberry flavored cream. Hmm. They probably know. And then you just put ice do in it? Ice cream? Do you just put ice in it and then it's ice cream? Um no. I, I think maybe they use ice and they have this machine um, that kind of stirs it up and makes the cream cold. <laughs> and then it's more of like, uh, what it's not this? like, <laughs> like ice hard. It's more like, uh, I guess it's like the thickness of cream, but it's cold. Well, cream is cold. Well, really cold. Well, not all I... cream is cold. True. Straight from really the cow, it's pretty warm. No. I just don't know how to explain it. That's a hard one to explain. <laughs> you guys think you to accept the application? I, I think it's just think one of those that things that you just gotta is. see and try for yourself. Dude, it, Rage, I didn't. Uh, I can't yourself. wait to send. If I recruit again, I can't wait to send a list to the Dicenzos claiming that you're one of my new recruits. Oh, I know. It's, it's They're gonna be so to confused. Like Pro it. Pro it and Steel are gonna have a duel. One representing Dicenzos, one representing BG. I'm gonna have Ronnie represent Pruitt. <laughs> but I haven't had it since I got to the crossing, so I don't know. They're gonna be well, they're I gonna be like, what are they recruiting when children? When I was a little kid in in Rhodes when I lived there, but I don't know if there's anybody who serves it there anymore. I just had it, uh, I had it outside of, uh, the crossing, um, most recent. But, like, uh, if you're gonna find it anywhere, uh, for sure would probably be the city. They have lots of different foods there, it seems like. Actually, I think... Right next to the jewelry store, there is an ice cream store. Oh boy, I'll have to go there. Yeah, I remember true. when me and Frankie were investigating a bunch of robberies. I saw it. Nobody was there when we went there, but I don't know. I just need to know what happened in 1885, man. Yeah. 1885 seems like the most cursed year. Go on left on the dress. left. Such a dumb bit. I think. You guys, oh, sorry, did you hear us. Bear John comment on my gun like he's gonna try to steal it? He said that to Bear. He uh, said that that's like literally everybody apparently. Except mine. Which 1885. Do you blame him? Boy, I guess. That's the first that's time I lost my. Uh, it's okay fella. with me. It just, you know, I like it because it looks like a candy cane. But maybe that's best for me because then no one will steal it. Pretty smart. I wasn't thinking of that. Oh my god, Jabaz did run away from home. I, I need to do the math. Oh, hold on. The only time I've almost been robbed, they decided to shoot me instead. 1901. Oh, no, he would have been. 
No, he he would have been nine as well because I accidentally they're the same age now because I did a time skip. My Lancaster here. <laughs> Do you guys have a uh, favorite dessert? I need to age him four more years before Pru would ask that question. Hmm. <laughs> I need to age him four more years so I can claim 1885s when I ran away from home. <laughs> favorite dessert. Yeah. Or sweet. Sweets can be considered dessert. Like, I don't know if you consider like a PB and J sandwich a dessert, but it is sweet and it's really good. It's definitely not a dessert. Uh, cake. <laughs> cake? Yep. Specific type of cake. Cake. Cheesecake. Ooh, cheesecake is delicious. Why would you eat look like um, like Swiss? No. No. Provolone? Oh gosh, now that would be gross. Now you're giving me visuals of someone just putting icing on top of provolone. <laughs> Chocolate bread covered strawberries. It. Ooh, that's really good. I think chocolate's just good covering most things. I agree. Well, fruit wise at least. I was gonna say, I don't think a chunk. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm tr I, now I'm trying to think of stuff that wouldn't be good with chocolate. I mean, like a tomato or something. I guess that fruit wouldn't be very good with chocolate. A banana's good with chocolate. Mm hmm. Don't think I've had a chocolate covered banana. They're delicious. Especially if you freeze them. Well, then it's ice. <laughs> well, kinda. I mean, not really. You Put the chocolate on on the banana and you freeze it, and then it's kind of like uh, hard chocolate. Cold, yeah, hard cold candy. I was a big fish. I, I usually eat steak. Yeah, I don't think steak would be good with chocolate. Though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's all you eat is steak, right? Majority. Yeah. Sometimes go out. Uh, I'll experiment a little. Like when you had that chicken noodle stew? Yeah. It was really not good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys agree with this, but I think potatoes are pretty good in almost any way you make them. Do you think potatoes <laughs> could be used with chocolate in some which way? I don't think so, but I think potatoes are amazing. I love potatoes, especially a baked one with bacon on it. Do you eat raw potatoes? Uh, okay, no, I wouldn't. That might I would. break your teeth. Nah. They're delicious. Really? Mm-hmm. That's almost like eating a raw beet. <laughs> oh, you know what? Talking about food, Joan still owes me a celebratory uh, celery with peanut butter for becoming a deputy. Oh, I haven't seen Jones in a while. Me neither. A lot of people here. Never. So I am going to uh, Lion. When Lyle, I'm dead. You can come over here. Oh. We are okay. going to do. I'm going to run you two through some hypotheticals while everyone is doing errands. Okay. Okay. You and the rest of the cross. Oh, sorry. 
Welcome. Howdy, everybody. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, Hello there. Well, howdy. Any word from the other group? None that I know of. I haven't heard anything. Okay. Pardon me? Group fire gang on both characters. <laughs> Damn, man. Could head to Armadillo. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm clocking off, so I mean, we could, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can see the logic. It is a, it's a resolute lion. What do you Are you believe, waiting for people in the world? Um, without having yeah. seen it, is the difference between uh, if it, and uh, Raberry? I've got nothing for you unless it's been on that tip line. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Um, theft and robbery. I mean, it's okay, hard to really. Right. It's hard to beat what uh, what uh, Cadet Teddy said there. Uh, or Terry. Shit. Terry. I always call him Terry. Yeah, I can't think of anything past what the. Uh, you sure you're feeling alright? Yeah. I mean, you did just get shot again. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you actually fine? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I'm serious. Okay. I'm only. Hey, look, I'm not okay if I'm if I'm not walking. I can still walk, even if it's not much. <laughs> yeah, but you're stubborn. You'll walk yourself right into a grave. Well, the only way my legs are going to get used to walking is if I keep walking them. <laughs> Sometimes you need to stop walking and rest. Yeah, it's funny coming from you. Right after you got shot when you started talking about paperwork. Yeah. I understood what people say about me sometimes. <laughs> it's very frustrating. I'm glad you said no to taking through it. Even though everybody got shot, I feel like that was better than... Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna let them fucking take through it. You kidding me? Oh, my dead goddamn body. Just the first time somebody actually said no as of late. Yeah, well... I was talking to Henley about that, too. I think I would rather risk a shootout right there than risk the unknown of what happens when they... I was expecting to negotiate a little bit. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was expecting to be able to get <laughs> back into position. Okay, bro. <laughs> Of course I'm not gonna let them take through it. <laughs> I think it was the right call. Thanks for saving through it. So I could kill him with these words. Hell yeah. I was expecting to be able to get a little more time to try to like clear out town, but apparently they don't like the word no. Did all three of them open fire, or just one of them? Uh, honestly, Brooks, I got no fucking clue. It went so fast. I was behind the building, so... I couldn't even run. <laughs> Huxley did really well. Yeah.
it up a bit. Yeah. I need to buy more carrots for my horse for the fourth time today. Every time I arrest somebody, I have to give them my carrots. I just want to listen to Pink Floyd. Well, Pink Floyd's going on now. God only knows what I'm riding into. An armadillo. Chair in the most right. uh, leftmost tent if you'd like to sit there. Ow. 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 Here, hang on. Uh, I'm okay. I just got shot in the foot. Sheriff Malone's not doing so well, though. Where is he? In the tent. Sorry. Uh, can are you help with her uh, abdomen wound? Ow. Actually, we'll help. Ow. Benny to the. Ow. Benny, Benny, Ow. Benny, Benny, Benny. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I got you here. Oh, Wait, no. me. I was gonna give you a cane, but this looks too. Okay, I gotta... okay, help me one. Got it. You got it. Yep. Uh, Ruth Brooks, I'm gonna here? send an update real quick. He'll be back. Right in there. Slash detail, Pruitt standing with us. <laughs> Pruitt, Ruth, and, and Brooks all rode Darmadillo on one horse. <laughs> <laughs> I 
every deputy. Come to Who's in the worst shape? Uh, Hurst and Malone both look really bad. They, who else has been injured? Just the three of us. Oh, and, and uh, Summers and them. Okay. They in the sheriff's office? I think they're still getting medical treatment out of the, the rat killer. I think they're bringing them back in now. Okay. How many deputies do I have a rat killer? Um, it's probably four out there right now, and then a whole bunch of medics. All right. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to be a water spigot now. Another hole to have water just pour out of me. It's just a foot. It's just, it, I'll be fine. You know, they're going to look have... after me after the, they're done okay. with them. Yeah, you know, the bandages wrapped around it? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they got it taken care of. Can I do anything? No, nope, you're already doing enough. Just go be with Malone. Oh, well, they're working on him anyway. It didn't seem like sure he was doing okay. too good out there. Okay. okay. This is going to be a bit uncomfortable, uh, so just bear with me for just a minute, okay? I'm going to have to act fast. This is going to feel really weird. God. Just casually watching. Do you think you can tell? Your heroes for ghosts. <laughs> Go sheriffing thieves landing. Sure. 
They had to two man the duels. <laughs> oh, we're OP. Oh my god. One person challenges us to a duel. They don't realize we're 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 both the one person. So at the at the end of the ten pace, when they turn around, the other one from the sidelines starts shooting at the same time. Wish. Now I wish you were here. Swimming in a fish bowl year after year. Oh no. Are you allergic to Same old beer. It's just proof. Yeah. Proof. <laughs> well, I can't see, man. I can't see from. How would I be able to know his pulse is dropping? The medic's not saying anything. How would I be able to know? It's not like there's a heart monitor going off. It ain't 2022, man. Came here for entertainment. Fill up the coin or something. Just cry. Show emotion. I can't cry. Dude, if he gets told he can no longer drink bourbon, that's the th that's worse than a perma for Malone. Else going in here. Do either of you two need help with anything? Actually, said hands. Um, I am okay? good. Thank you, though. Okay. We appreciate it. Ruth, uh, how's uh, how's Malone? Ruth. Hey, sir. You okay? Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Just um, take it off. I got the bastard. You got him. That's my fucking sheriff. That's my fucking sheriff. Ooh, that, what? Oh, that was a perfect timing on that wagon, by the way. <laughs> All right, it's the last little bit. Came just. Around here. Now he dies. I know. I was worried. Might just be pressure. Okay. Let's get this closed up. I don't know. I'm really torn rage. I might get my headstone at the slaughterhouse. And instead of it saying, here lies Jamie Ruth, it'll say, Missy really was a bitch. Talking to you? Yeah. Good. He's okay. I'm gonna go make sure that I, I, I don't know if he passed back out. He said that they got him though. Yeah, everybody's right there. I'm gonna go make sure Cash doesn't need any help. And you too. Over here. 
Alright, let's pat him down and then we can uncuff him again. Turn around for you. Hey. Hey, Cash. Howdy. Do y'all need help with anything? I came down just to make sure everybody was okay medically. I was just checking up on everybody, seeing how everybody was. I'm about to do a head count and uh, make yeah, sure I know. Okay. Right. Um, I believe we have it well covered with enough medics. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to go check on them. Yeah. M Malone just talked to me briefly and passed back out. They're still working on Hurst. Benny got shot in the foot. Uh, there's no nobody else in the medical tents besides those three. Okay. Very good. Yeah, then in that case, uh, that's all we got that's injured as far as I know. Okay. Uh, Gavin Summers is dead. Not that that would mean too much to you. Alright. Oh. Okay. Uh, Summers is fucking Malone dead. Is stable now? Uh, well, I guess his pulse started to reflect, reflect in his fucking well. reputation. Huh. But uh, he seems to be stable now. I'm not sure he's going to be waking up. Okay. And Benny's in the other tent. Uh, Benny's in the other tent, yeah. Okay. The last I knew. And who else uh, from uh, medical did you bring table? back here with you? Uh, it was... I think everyone's here now. Okay. Uh, except for... Yeah, it's just us. Yep. Okay. I was One, two, three, four. And Isabella made five, okay. Uh, Bishop, do you know where Brady is? Uh, he went to sleep, sir. Nah, I can't okay. believe Summer's case, actually did. I mean, I can and I can't. Uh, I figured... Just a note for all y'all, at least for the next couple of days, um, if Malone does wake up and you see him about, make sure he doesn't drink any bourbon. Okay. And he also, an open wound. Mm -hmm. if I can apologize on his behalf for tr trying to tell y'all yeah, I mean, how to prioritize it, I, I'm not super that situation. surprised. Of course, he was a little bit wound up after the firefight, but we trust you to do your no, work I without can. needing instruction from... Dude, so, I can uh, I can you. brag yeah. about the Cisco Olympics so much yeah, I, now. No, Jabass is the I'll single sure survivor from the Cisco Olympics. Not only did he win the Cisco Olympics, the he's own. the last one standing. Right. Well, uh, good luck to you, but let's fucking you know, go. It'll make things a lot worse. Last the, one alive. The that I put Hicks, on me, so. Hawk, Summers, Dead, open. Casey, missing, oh, Creed, so we, missing. Can't be in anything solid either. So many people are right missing or I, dead. I write something in ink on his hand. Malone being there for summer. I'm yes, so glad I Cash was there if I too, write man. It on his hand, then he'll for sure to get the message. <laughs> I mean, you could. I'd... It's probably best that you do that, though. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, in case. Yeah, you no, know. I, I wouldn't He'd... want. Yeah. You talking about Malone? Yeah. I'll sign it so he knows. Yes. Okay, good. What are you gonna write on his hand? I do not drink liquor. <laughs> One hand's gonna say no, and the other hand's gonna say bourbon. Actually, oh, that might be better. Yep, easier. Well, that well, he only no, no, checks no, on. one hand. If you do, oh, if, if you if you only checks one hand, he might just think it means bourbon. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta put it on bourbon. Well. <laughs> bourbon on. All right, yeah, we should put put it on both hands. No bourbon on both hands. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm glad Cash right, was right, there, good, man. Good. There's a there's a pen and ink in there on the table. I'd imagine he probably would have gone execution Hurst, yeah. round, or maybe would have would have hunted is... Cash after this. If he lived, so I'm oh, glad. I'm good. glad Cash was there. Uh, got it. Okay. By the way, thank you for being around for so long. I know that you guys can stay here for a while. No, no, we want to make sure you're all are okay. Mm -hmm. I think I still have more color than you, know, you do. I mean, what you guys have to go through is a hell of a lot harder than what we have to do. I mean, the word I would like to say right now can't be emotional, but <laughs> physical pain is. Still, it's still ahead, say. Kramer? No, it's, no, no. I'd say it's more it's difficult like, than what we have to do. Doesn't feel like the time or the so place. It's not a problem at all. <clears throat> Motherfucker. Of course, if you think that little hole in going to keep her from getting up and kicking your ass, then. That's right. Thank you. Guy. Hey, yeah, good to meet you. Again, I can't say. No. Stop. Right. Say it, you're a coward. No, stop. It is. No. It is, yep. Uh, I'm a respectful, were, honest well, man, is what I am. You not Did you just start? Is that like your New Year's resolution? You just start? Yeah. You're a real piece of shit sometimes, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you have a nickname when you were a kid? 
No, that is much appreciated. Maybe. I had three older brothers, of course, a fucking head nickname. Some of them nicer than others. Alright, give me an example. Ah, no fun. Take some guesses. Brought her. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been deputized for? So, uh, take your cash. Oh, uh, Ruth, um... Yeah. If Summers wanted you for something... What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, he just he, he kept saying your name, he thought you were with us, but... What? Then I asked him what he wanted, and he just... I don't know, he said something about being a law gunslinger or something. I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna brag so much to Pruitt that he was asking about me right before he died. It claimed I was a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to make a gun called the Summer Slinger. Holy shit. I wasn't even a part of it. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Eternal bragging rights. <laughs> They're out of the cells right now saying goodbye to Gavin. He's dead. Can I dog you real quick? Yeah. Benny just told me. <laughs> what? Benny just told me that apparently Summers was asking about me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, and apparently he called me a a, a, a gunslinger. <laughs> really? And now he's dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. The rest of them are continuing on whatever Summers had planned. Ugh. I could hear them talking to his dead body, one talking about gutting somebody like a fish, and the other saying, we're not done. I can't believe this guy really thought about me before he died. <laughs> Don't go in right now. No. I gotta admit, I... Mad Lad, the... <laughs> Gunslinger, Mad Lad. Yeah, that's eternal bragging rights, man. I, I I do wish I was there, man. Especially if he asked for me, man. I see where we're at with these goodbyes, and see about getting this damn show on the road, because I would like to leave the West. Kramer, do you guys have enough manpower? I came out here just to check up on people. Um, I saw the we, tip we about, about medical. I, I mean, I just wanted to make sure our deputies were okay. Yeah, with uh, with Malone and Hurst in there, we should. Yeah, we should be all right. We should have at least five on the transport if you don't want to help out. Okay, I'll I'll stay back with with Malone, and Hurst then. Alrighty. Let's go. See. Um, were you just inside? Uh, they're all saying goodbyes or some shit. Still, goddamn it. Okay. I I don't know. I was told not to go in there, so I didn't go in. Yeah, I don't want to go in there while they're saying goodbyes. Because frankly, they're just gonna look at me and start mouthing off like they were before. Oh, this isn't over. Oh, this is... Apparently, this was your he first was fight with me? Gavin Summers, right? Oh yeah, yeah, he was. And well, Benny walked up there and was like, "What the fuck do you want with Ruth?" And honestly, I didn't hear. Do you want to? You want to know the only time I've ever met Gavin Summers? <laughs> when I arrested him for fucking horse theft and walked him into an Ansberg office, and he was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? If that was the one of the last things he thought about. Was a fucking horse theft charge? <laughs> Apparently, he called me a gunslinger. Oh lord! I, I, <laughs> I don't even. He was saying some of that when he was uh, trying to pull shit while Max was still up there. How's Max? He's doing all right. He actually got away unharmed. He got shot through an arm, uh, through and through, but it's gonna heal quickly. Oh. 
okay, so not completely unharmed. Well, but he ran around, and I was able to uncuff him, and he was able to leave the situation. Yeah. So it it really went as well as it, it possibly could have. Could have. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. Um, while everything was going on, we sustained one cat. Like, um, Benny was the only one that got really shot, and we had to drag him out of there. And you know how Raskeller is. The thing was a shit fight. The only ground that we had any sort of advantage was on that barn roof. So it, <laughs> he it was would not die, Raskeller, man. What a gr dude. That that sounds like a perfect scene for him, man. Cash, at Raskeller. All right, well. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna move in there. Hopefully, we can get this show under. I really want to leave. Thank you. Very much to say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Press. keeping everyone safe. Use well, pedal. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Bella. Thank you very much. Is uh? He gonna lose his foot? Is Malone gonna be here? Um. Uh, uh oh. Uh, I was actually gonna. Did he already pass out? I think so. Well, yeah. he's been, I mean, he's been already passed out, but he's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Malone's here. Okay. Uh, all right. I guess he's, That's good. Losing a foot I'll uh, close the tent up and have the nurses check in on him. Okay. Is there, uh, is there anything, anything like important? I, I heard the no bourbon. It might be slower. Uh, I feel like that's the most important. <laughs> that is the most important, but no. Pretty much bone broth for uh, food. Bone broth for food. Uh, there's no way he can uh, effectively digest solid food. Is there any any way in knowing when he might wake up again? Uh, I mean, honestly, it could be. Sometimes I've seen people uh, be like that for weeks, sometimes months. Okay. Um, but it could just be a couple days or, or a day. Um. Usually, the body just shuts down. It's a kind of protective mechanism as it heals. So, uh, I'm hoping that in a day or two he'll he'll be up. Um, but I'm um, if he does wake up Benny. here and he's alone, I don't know. Just they might be a bit concerned. Like right yeah, I'm gonna. I was, try, I'm gonna was see, hoping I'm we could have moved him this but, way. Okay. Just just mm -hmm. so we have some deputies here, as long as Cash is okay with it. What okay. are we doing? Just get right over here. Uh, I was just saying Malone is in a uh, coma right now. Yeah, um, if he was smart, he would. So don't let that stop you from trying. He is staying here, so I'll have the nurse check up on him. Uh, I'll set up an IV That's for him. Help. I'll close he up the tent to you, so. I told him or Marshall told him. Uh, he won't be bothered, but. Yeah, my concern was just that if he wakes up alone here, um, don't know how I'll react or if there's God knows who's in this town <clears throat> and sees him by himself. Don't worry, I threatened him sufficiently on the way over, even if you didn't hear me. <laughs> That's I'm my sure only concern, but, you know, I'll let you guys try to coordinate that. Um, if you do get noticed that he woke up uh, before we do, uh, feel free to let us know. I can send them can a Come tip. check up on him. Yeah, yeah that'll work. If he wakes up, I can send him a tip. Uh, that should be good then. Um, yeah. If, if you can, um, absolutely no bourbon until his, that stomach wound heals up. Uh, and... So basically no, no bourbon until it's foods. cleared. By a doctor to drink bourbon. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. If he drinks it now, it's just gonna eat through the stitching on his stomach. Alright. Okay. And it's gonna burn go. like hell and yeah. he's... It's just not going to be nice, and he ain't going to like it. All right. <clears throat> okay. Give me a second. Hmm? Cash, Hurst. Huh? Mm -hmm. Malone's yeah. down here in a coma. Am I okay to stay at the Armadillo Sheriff's Office just so he's not alone out here? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I just wanted to make fair. sure. How are you holding up, Hurst? I am wonderful. Okay. 
Can I get you anything? I can go get you food or water. Hey, nope. Uh, the gift of the news I just got is all I need today. Being Feel nice better. is good for health. That's what keeps right. me not shot. I'm glad you're okay. Well, for yeah, the circumstances. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right. I'm staying time. down here. You're welcome to stay down uh, here if you want. Ben. You could go with them on the transport, what but is, I'm staying out in Armadillo. Oh, wait. Your first name? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping. I know. Here. That's yeah. fine. Right. Do you have a sit? Riders coming in four. Thank you. All right. And your last name? All right. All right. Won't speak of it. I got. I had no clue who the hell that is. Thank you. For oh, for us fuck's sake. So we okay. can do I don't it. know who this is. Just so we can write your report. Do they have guns out? Nope. Okay. I have no idea who that is. Wait. Well, well. Fuck. Who who is it? Hi, CD. Ah, <laughs> oh, cry. Oh my God. Howdy. Hey, Howdy. is that Benny? Oh, hey. Hey, Benny. How are oh, you? That's not CD at all. Oh, that's Wesley? What? Uh, what? Jesse. No. Jesse. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> Whatever. You know, that's how you been? Same. Not all the same. We're all different. It really isn't the same. It sounds the I'm same. good. I got a new horse. You like my new horse? Actually, yeah. It's, it's pretty beautiful. Where'd you get it? Bought it and uh, signed a knee. Oh, I what made, would you name it? Uh, Eris. That's a good name. Yeah. Is it's it? It's kind of like it. Well, yeah, it's close to Aries. Right, wait, I think Ruth has a horse named Aries. Yeah, I do. Aries? Aries, yep. How do you spell it? A R E S. Oh, mine's E R I S. It's a Greek god. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, a Greek god. Of, of disorder and discomfort and tricking people. Wait, who tricked? Ares what? is the Greek god of war and courage, my Ares. Oh! Yeah. yeah. My, mine, I just figured, as a new horse, I had to break her in. The, the Romans called her Discordia. <laughs> okay. And I figured that this horse is probably going to give me more pain than anything else because I never broke a horse in. Well, why would it why, why would it give you pain if you if you treat it right? It, it it's gonna treat you right. It's already kicked me. I mean, all horses kick everything. Howdy, howdy, howdy. That's what they're built True. for. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I guess. Oh boy. I'll be there in a moment. For sure, for rock and speak to At the moment, we're a bit tied up, CD. Okay, all right. Sure, you are. Did they take off? No. John B. Ruth. Right now, yeah, just in yeah. case. But yeah, I, I brought the I brought the body them. inside. Yeah, so they wouldn't take him. Oh. Okay. Found out. He wants There's the a... sheriff to talk about some deal, supposedly. He can oh, fucking wait for another day. That's what ain't about him. Uh, you said there's a corner here in Armadillo? Owner for tuna. Yeah. <laughs> Owner for your tuna. That sounds gross. It's Italian. Bro, what the fuck? Well, you're not hurt. You're not hanging out with them, are you? Well, they gave me a ride. Well, kind of gave me a ride and rescued me from an asshole. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, that's. Yeah, we're 33 away from 1K. That's unexpected. They had tier one in primary royals. What? Well, I, I just didn't see them as that kind of the, the saving type. Oh, well, I was kind of. Stuck talking to Jack Kettleman, and they rescued me from him. All right, well, it just, uh, if you do go riding with them, be careful. Uh, you're going to get into trouble that you don't want to be into, trust me. Well, there was already a shootout the other day when I was around them, and I hid. Well, 
hiding only goes so far for so long, so just be careful, alright? I will. I appreciate it, Benny. Yeah, alright. You like my, my new outfit, though? Don't I look fancier than I did before? I mean, you definitely look like you belong in the city, that's for sure. Yeah, I've been hanging out in St. Denis. I like it there. Well, I just make sure if you're in Who's the city... Just, I got no fucking don't clue. Go, Never don't mind. go down... Uh, no. Uh, east Street, don't go down uh, South Street, don't go down 1st, 2nd, 3rd. City is running, but I don't give a shit. I don't know what any of those streets are. We've got our hands full. Don't go down McQueen. Very much so. Yeah, we still don't know what any of those streets are. Just remember those. Just don't go down any of those. I didn't get his name, okay. man. 1st, 8th, McQueen's. Got 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Yeah. So fourth and fifth are fine. Yeah. Why don't you just tell me the ones that I can go down then? Okay, fourth and fifth. Okay. Awesome. Who's hurt? Um, a whole, whole, whole lot of people. Oh. Since 1885. Right. <laughs> I don't like when people get hurt. No, me, me neither. All right, take care. Oh. You too. Yeah, be safe. To you. Okay. I will. Y'all too. Hey, put some, put some cream on your foot. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, that's it. Can I ask one of y'all to come with me to get some food and water for the folk in the cell? Yeah, I'll come. Mm -hmm. I want to go alone since the town looks kind of busy. Uh, Jesse Creek. Were there more people other than just them? Was not. Did I not hit Charles Ron? Yes. <sighs> Dude, Fran no deputies died and Frankie was there? That's insane. Dude, I'm too slow. Guns on. And I reached the other side. Five guns on. Reached the other side. Exhausted, how you doing? Yeah, I feel like shit. Yeah, I bet. Well, you look better than you feel. Ugh. Need help getting water and stuff? Uh, if you could, that would be great. I got two canteens here. Right. You want to fill up your water as well? Do you have it? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, it's Bishop, sir. Bishop, okay. Yeah. You don't have to give me anything. If it's filled up, that's good enough. No, right, it's empty. Well, yeah, just go to the barrel behind you and get uh, filled with water. <laughs> new, uh, new deputy? Uh, it looks that way, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Okay. Green as they go. And here I thought you were offering to fill it up. No. <laughs> no. no, you get your own work done right here. Well... I thought he was trying to be nice. I don't know. Uh, look, I'm, got my I'm fresh full. out of a fucking coma. Okay, you can walk faster than me. Uh, fair enough. And I got shot today. Hi, hi, fuck. How are you feeling, sir? Um, just got a hole in my chest. I'll be okay. Jesus Christ, bro. God damn it. Gotcha. Some it's Bear John, who was wanted for oh. three thousand days, and we caught him. <laughs> it was the <laughs> strangest thing. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, he did. He kidnapped fucking sheriffs. Good lord. Get in the water. Alright, yeah, we gotta get some, uh, get some stew. And some water. Kramer. Yeah, who's calling my name? Oh. You wanna get me your empty game plane if you got one? Yeah. Thank you kindly. Would you like some water? Would you like us to? 
-hmm. Anybody over here like any water? I also would like some food. No, thank you. You need help with Frankie? Uh, I think I've done all the paperwork. Um, they all got food and water. Uh, maybe just do with somebody looking over the paperwork, make sure we got it all right. Uh, citizen files have all been completed, fingerprints taken. You don't Is need anything? More than one file? No, it's just, uh, well, unless there was one for the kidnapping, which there might have been. Yes. Yeah. Were they all involved in Hurst and Rabbit's kidnapping? Yep. Uh, yes, apparently they were all involved, so we can add those names to that, because I think the only one we had was Summers. Maybe. Uh, uh, it looks, looks like I... they've been added already. Yeah. I started okay, that beautiful. paperwork, but I never finished it. So I don't know if anybody did. The kidnapping one? Yeah. It's been finished. Oh, thank God. Beautiful. Um, well, I think the paperwork for this incident is done. If... Some of them in there. It looks like that. Yeah, it looks like all the paperwork's filled out. I'm going through them now. Looks like all the paperwork's filled out for the right. old situation too. Shootout and kidnapping for all of them. That looks good to me. Everything looks good to me. Peter Gray has right. some wanted for questionings, but besides that, he's yeah. comatose right he's now. He's in a so. coma. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get these folks out of here then. Yeah. Let's get to bed. Yeah, get them cuffed up and ready to transport again. All right, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna get you out of here. Oh god, you got them cuffs. I use them all. Here, here. <laughs> I got them. I have so many because I. Must have the cuffs off. Oh yeah. By the way, if anyone wants some fucking stew, I have. Are you holding uh, up? Hey, I told you. Yeah, I would love some stew. Yeah, please, me? Yeah. Yeah, we have. I'm extremely exhausted. <laughs> Much of. Okay. Um, Need any food or anything? Okay. Water. Yes, yes, it has been. Coffee would be great. Coffee? I'll get you some. <laughs> Ruth, you're planning to stay here, right? Yeah, I'm staying here because I don't want Malone to be out All in the right, West alone. Okay, okay Kramer, you're going on transport? Absolutely. What about you, Bolton? I'll go, yes. Okay. Get out of the wagon. All right, let's get these folk out of here. We got Bray, Bolton. Are you coming, Cash? Really? That's what I'm figuring out. Does anybody need anything? I'm going to go to the general store. Anybody need food, water, coffee? I think we're all good. Thank you, man. Oh, damn. That fucking dignity. I always end up in the, out in the west with a fucking turtleneck, man. I don't know what it is. Spotify crash. I was gonna look up a song about summer. Summer nights from Greece. Better. Fucking Greece. I've not seen Greece in fucking years. Okay. Um, 
Kramer, Bishop, Brat, Colton. Um, y'all are okay with that. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Also, it's good to see you on your feet again. Thanks. It's good to be on my feet. It's <laughs> <laughs> very kind of you. Um, if all the paperwork is good, then we should be able to handle it. Yeah, there is a few wanted for questionings for a few of them in there. I know Peter had some, but obviously that won't be happening. Yeah. Um, so yeah. are we to not charge any of those wanted for questionings at the moment? Then? Yeah, leave them as is. Alrighty. The rest of them, I think, have one as well. Beautiful. I'm sure we can sort it out. All right. <sighs> Cash, do you need a ride to get your horse? Mm, I brought a horse here. Okay. So probably not, but maybe. I'll let okay. you know. Let me know. Okay. Bolton, are you able to, are you able to uh, Okay, y'all need to slide down. No, I'm gonna stay here. You two here on this uh, left side. Tired. I'm probably gonna lay my head back and fall asleep here. Sorry if I snore too loud. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll be I'll be out here. I'm gonna stay here for the night. Yep. We okay. Yeah. Go. I think Brooks is going to as well. Yeah. I just I don't want Malone to be alone out in the west. So. Yeah. I figure it's a good idea to stay here. Over the medical, or your uh, your foot any better? Is it like I don't remember healed? if it's theirs or ours. It's probably one of ours. Is my f is my foot fully healed already? Well, did they like you know? I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a doctor. I'm not like a lizard. I don't just like <laughs> regrow my tail like the moment it gets cut off. Wait, do, do lizards do that, or does like yeah, frogs? Yeah. I don't know. Which one that grows the things one. back? I know um, as much I, I can't tell you. I, I can't tell you much about growing things. I can't tell you much about dates either, okay? But I do know a little bit more about ice cream anthony. Oh, I can sure tell you all about dates now. I went on one. I'm a pro. <laughs> well, how, how was it? It's actually surprisingly good. I mean, all we did was sit there and talk to each other. Oh, okay. We went on a canoe ride, but that was, you know, that was kind of like a sad thing. It was really easy. You should try it sometime with Brooks. Well, I mean, yeah, the cannibals. Without them. Well, the whole point of it was the cannibals. But the whole point is without them. But no, that doesn't make sense. Listen, Ruth, if we have to go through this again... Try it. Just give it a shot. I'm telling you, it's a whole different world, a whole different game. Well, it's, wait, maybe it's not a game. I don't. Maybe you don't repeat that. It's probably not a game. Well, the whole point of that entire date was to make sure that deputies were safe from cannibals. So, having a date without cannibals. Could be enjoyable no, it would and be not work related. Because there's nobody to save. You know what? I know exactly what needs to happen. Thank you. You've given me the best idea ever. You will find out in about a week. Oh, well, as long as I'm not in a coma. <laughs> Wait, why would you say that? <laughs> I'm, 
I'm just saying. <laughs> I did just get out of one. <laughs> right, yeah, I heard that. Dust went into my ears. I heard you laugh at. Well, I'm saying me I just got out of one. That. So, well, but you why never would know you? When you could go back he into was, one. He was real smug about that one. Well, of course you don't know when you go back into one because you're no, in a coma. I, you're, you're never gonna know when you're in I one. I to find a new home for it. Uh, well, that's my point. Is you know you come out of comas, you go into comas. So as long as I'm not in a coma, then I'll know in a week. But if I'm in a coma, that's probably be a little bit longer than a week. Uh huh. Why do I get the feeling like you're planning this? No, I don't make plans. I have, I, I, I apparently, I might be able to get to try ice cream though. Wait, what does ice cream have to do with this? I mean, like this? I told him, I was, Henley the told only me she reason I even cream. had the deed was because I was going to go and sell the horse. And just give, it to give you ice cream or give you ice cream if you went into a coma? No, just give me ice cream. Oh, that's nice. I no, think it's a $500 nice dollar horse. I'm not really sure. He definitely got ripped off. Though. I can't wait. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. It's kind of why I'm not really charging yeah, so him. I have no clue what the ice cream he's is. probably more mad about it than I am. Well, I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time. Probably well, yeah, she's going to get it I mean, I sent him a I'm still team saying, Brooks, hey, but... this is this is awkward to say, but... Um, well, it has nothing to do with Brooks. Really she's just going to get me ice cream. Buy, lock up the yeah, 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 horse. I know. You bought a horse I was going to sell. But you should try it sometime. He got because it was a sheriff's horse. Ice cream? No. <laughs> I mean, I am going to try ice cream. Okay, well, why don't you try ice cream? Given to me. It's a wonderful day. She brought me a coat. People that have kidnapped me in this past week or behind me. As I'm day. understanding it, on a date, you should probably split the bill. So she I may don't go not. On dates. Oh, yeah. You think Actually. you don't, but. You no, do. I've never gone on a date. I'm sure they probably got a list. Everybody's Ruth. got a fucking list, yeah. don't they? Maybe I should start a list. There is no way in this uh, God's green earth that you have. Not ever in your life been on a date. You may have thought you were not on a that date. That won't last long. He's an idiot. But I'm pretty sure that these ladies running around the cross in here have taken you on a date know. without you knowing it. Never. Are you sure? Positive. How positive? <laughs> positive. The closest thing I've had to a date is sex. And that was before when I was no. a bounty hunter. Okay, we don't need to get personal. I don't need to hear about what you do behind closed doors, okay? Dates are open doors. Point. That's behind closed doors. We just I've never been on a date. Okay, well the hence right. why I'm telling you you should give it a shot. Okay. It's pretty easy. That's good. Yeah, but I got no interest. Oh well. Shout okay, and what are the pros? Where the cons? Well, the, pro, way. the pros, I can we'll tell shot. you the pros were, uh, it was good company, you know, we laughed a lot. Did we you do that without a date? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you sure could. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm in good company yeah, right now and laughing. Than, Does that make it a date? Admittedly, I was even expecting. Uh, well. Yes. Uh -huh. No, that's wrong. We're not on a date. Because I don't go on dates. I'm yeah. drinking a cup of coffee on the porch, worrying about my sheriff who might be dead. That was mainly what we were trying to make sure he got out. Okay, well... Not a date. Quiet, took you just... You, you really know how to kill a conversation, you don't you, Ruth? I don't kill. That's right, you just sling them, yeah, don't they you? Were <laughs> pretty heavily. They were trying to I run out our ammunition, but they ran out before us. They started throwing stuff from one of the roofs. I don't know what the hell they were throwing. Uh-huh. 
All I'm yeah. saying is you should try it. It's fun. I still don't see any pros that I can have that is exclusive to a date. A real I mean, meaningful uh, connection. I've had plenty of real meaningful connections that I've never been on a date. Ah. Uh, hmm. Ah. Uh, we get to hold hands. You depend on who. You, never mind. He said that's behind closed doors. It sounds like something Kramer would do. Actually, I'm lying about no. that. I don't. I don't uh, think you get to hold hands. I didn't get to hold any hands. So. Yeah, I imagine they well. probably had a lot of guns. I don't know if they were cleaning like we were. Probably just throwing them. Uh, but I have a second one coming up on Thursday. We had to go through. All right. Well, let me know. Uh, uh, cons. Cons? Oh, well, there's no cons. I don't think there was yeah. any cons. Spending I mean, I can't... money. Well, we didn't Con. spend any money. Do you have any idea how much ammunition we went through? <laughs> Well, I mean, okay, maybe we spent a little bit of money. I had to buy the boat. Con. We well, I mean, we also had to maybe get out of the, the boat and push it in the swamp and get real dirty and Physical nasty. Physical labor, labor, con. We must have gone through, like... I, I, you know, I, 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 I guess we also got, you know, stopped in the middle of it and, you know, we had to go save somebody's life, but... They started it. That's not really a con. That's not a con, though. That's... Tried to yeah, well, I I feel the same way I did before this conversation. Thank you. He jumped. Yeah, down you're welcome. You should try it sometime. Uh, no, why it. would I? There's no reason, no benefits. After Marty was gonna turn himself over to him, trade. Because you never know until you try it whether you like it or not. Send some sort of lesson message, whatever the fuck they want to call it. Maybe they want to call it Principal yeah. Jack. That's the only word he fucking knows. I know nothing. I don't need to have a date until Brady. after I put down the badge. When I retire, I'll get married. When you retire, you'll get married. Yep. When are you going to retire? No clue. 25. Oh, started it. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe, maybe like age of 36. Maybe mm. 39 and a half. Mm. 39 and a half. All right. Hmm. And not a day before, huh? Me and Prue, I think we're both dying with the badge, so. That's why I'm not getting married. Are you trying to date Pruitt? No. But he believes the same thing as I. That it's what? Well, there's no point, you know. After the badge, you could date or get married, so. Well, why do you think there's no point when you have the badge? Work. Well, what about work? Got to focus on work. But what if the person that maybe you have interest in is also in work? Just going to take you away from work. No point. But then you're in law together. Yeah, and then that's a law leap often. But isn't that the acceptable version? God, no. Really? Wait, I'd hold argue on. that's even worse. Really? Wait, hold on. Then Wait. you're not doing your job correctly, and you're slacking. Then, Wait, you, then, you, then you bring drama into the workplace, and if it ends bad, like, oh, God. Oh, I feel like shit, but I'd feel... Wait, hold on. Am I committing a, a faux pas by going on dates with Cleo? You got to talk to Malone. What about you? Ah, uh, well, uh... <clears throat> it's a little hard. Well, maybe you should put it off. Uh, a lot of good done today, at least. Wait, do I have to postpone my date now until I talk to Malone? If you want to be safe. Son of a bitch. For that. Excuse my language. It's okay. It's a hard thing to ask. My body might agree with you, but my mind definitely don't. My whole world's turned upside down right now. Here I was, thought I was having a good time. <laughs> and now I'm committing treason. Chat, we're 33 away from 1K. Is that your one of the problems? Well, 
Well, you get the logic, right? Oh, well, not really. I mean, I think it would be. Imagine best you guys if you ended were... things. You know how awkward I... that's gonna be. Why can't you just have a good working relationship? Oh. I don't know. What if you? Well, what if you set like parameters beforehand? You you know. Have you? Uh, well, I mean, we've only got on one date. I, well, mean, I don't think like I'm in the position. <laughs> Am I supposed to set some things up straight before I go on a date? Be like, listen, yeah. if this doesn't work out, we must be cordial. Yeah, exactly. You will respect me professionally. Mm -hmm. That sounds very demanding. But what if I'm the dickhead? And what if, what if I break your heart? What if I deserve it? See how this is all too complicated? What if she's the dickhead? What if she deserves it? See how this is all too complicated? I don't think it's complicated. One person's dick. I mean, maybe both of us are dickheads. Then it's real complicated. So you're never going to try, huh? Nope. Hmm. We'll see. Oh, I did get a Christmas. I, I think I got something in mind for a Christmas gift, though. Oh, did you get a Secret Santa? Yeah. Uh, do you know who you have? Yeah. I still don't know who I have. I just have a Telegram number. What's the Telegram number? Oh, I'd have to go look. It's like VG something, something, something. VJ mm. something, something. VZ. It starts with a V. Mm, okay. It says they like poetry, music, adventure, art. I mean, literally everything anybody could like, it was listed, so. Yeah, I got Brooks. Oh. What are you going to get her? I think I'm going to get her a Navy and a Litchfield. A Navy and a Litchfield? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm going to call the Navy Silver Lining. Well, that's not. I like that. And I'm going to make it just like Mad Lad, but Silver. Silver lining. That's a good one. And then Litchfield, I'm going to call it Good Luck Charm. I like Silver Lining like better, but they're both good. Yeah, but she always says, you know, she always says she's bad luck. That's higher than I thought. Well, that that is something we, we have to prove her wrong. I know. I was her battle buddy, and I, I didn't get I didn't get harmed. So. Yeah, I was her battle buddy, too, and I didn't get harmed. Perfect. She said it didn't count because we didn't get fired at. So it doesn't matter. If I let him reach battle as her battle buddy and then go. Well, well, there you go. See, with a shootout with, with CD in, in it. Oh well, yeah. Now she just really needs to stop then. Yeah. I don't know why she beats herself up so bad like that. I don't know. I I I told her that she. I told her, told her since she joined the department and with all the shit that's been happening that she's my silver lining. I don't think she's realized she saved my life on like three occasions. Yeah. Well, that's why I said silver lining plus good luck charm. I think she'll get the picture. You know, Ruth, that's actually really sweet. So I think she'll like it. I was just going to go to the library and copy a whole bunch of poems into a book and just give it to whoever the hell this is. I don't know. Fair enough. I'm going to put this coffee down on the table. <laughs> Black how you emphasize table like a civilized human. Yeah. You already know. I'm gonna go make sure they don't need anything that I'm gonna hit the hay. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna put my head back and go to sleep. All right. Do you need some help? Yeah, if you want to help from the other side there, just. Yeah. Right. Making I'm... sure. How can I help? Well, we don't need three of us. She, she can still walk.
It's not as bad as last time, yep. Alright, come on. Alright, thank you. Look at all this armor you get. Good night, Sheriff. Help me. Feel better. Thank you. Don't lose your foot. That would suck. Yeah, good night, Benny. Good work. Good night. Night, Benny. Have a good night, guys. Have a have a good night, used to. I'm gonna go to sleep in armadillo shirt. So. Is there a bear out there? See you soon. Benny right. passed the fuck out. I think it's just Benny. Oh. Good for him. Alright, okay, I gotta check the plan. I really do look like a whole different man when I have my West attire. You, to be honest, I wouldn't be able to tell it was you if I didn't know. Is that the similar hat Frankie has too? I used to wear this until I moved to the city. Hmm. All right, I'm going to sleep. All right, have a good night. Yeah. You, uh, you staying out here? Yeah. I'm gonna sleep in one of those chairs. Oh! Whoa! whoa. What the fuck? Oh, Benny. Don't, don't fall asleep with your finger on the trigger. <laughs> you sure you're okay? I'm okay. That wasn't Charles Devine? No. Alright. Sure you don't wanna sleep in here? There's more chairs. No, nah, I'm okay. You I'll sure? Watch. Yeah, I'll keep watch. Alright. I'll be fine. I like that I'm going to sleep in the fucking Armadillo Sheriff's Office on a roof. All right, um, I'm gonna hop on Jabass off stream. I'm thinking. It's fucking late, man. I kind of just want to chill out. I'm gonna show off the outfit before I go to sleep, though. Probably check telegrams. But Lord knows that's cursed. Checking telegrams. Hello, Kenny. Hello, are you waking up, cat? Are you waking up, kitty? Hi. Hello. Welcome back to existence, Kenny. You woke up. And hello, Oliver. Did he just wake you up by waking up? Good to know, Ollie. I'm sorry he woke you up. Sit the butt. Sit, 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 Ollie. Sit, sit. Sit, you goofball. Sit. 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 God damn it, Ollie. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. It's literally one of my favorite outfits, man.
It just looks it, it, it it's very outlawy. I don't know how else to describe it, man. <laughs> There's really not that much red. Yeah, what up, Kono? What up, what up? <laughs> Make the title Jabass. Chat, we're 33 away from 1K. Stick around for a little bit, I guess. Stream a little bit of Jabass. Pretty sure I am one admin. Rob Valentine. A deputy. <laughs> Not that your bastard notice, but that's a deputy. <laughs> I'm out, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is forest, bro? What the fuck is that? Favor. Okay. Oh, very helpful. Holy shit. Damn, man. Jesse. Time to get shot today. Seems to be the running theme. One of my characters are just getting destroyed. Maybe maybe Ruth took all the the damage for today. I love the pants, man. You say you say the red screams outlaw. The pants is my favorite part about this outfit. The pants with the fucking coat, bro. I mean the shirt's a pretty pretty banger of a shirt too, but.
I need to gaslight Zip in the moving to Van Horn. <laughs> That'd be the ultimate fuck you to the Dicenzos if I gaslit him into moving to Van Horn and got more of Thieves for myself. hair yeah i mean i i think it's gonna be pretty good when i grow back the full full long hair i mean i'm gonna have to go to enola's with the braid but going back all the way to the full long hair will be i think a nice little journey Deputy? I should probably check thieves, huh? I wanted to see if I could rob somebody in Strawberry. Eh, might as well check Mount Shion. We're already out this way. I think I have an eye mask. Telegram Charlie Riggs. I mean, he never telegrammed me. So, I'm assuming he just took the information. 
I'll telegram him before. See if I can get anything out of him. Bro, if I was Charlie Riggs, man, I would have just... Honestly, I would have just played both sides. <laughs> As a sieve caught in the middle of a fucking war, I would have just said, Yeah, I'll set them up and then tell both sides and then have them basically <laughs> Odin and basically have both sides just shoot each other. That way they don't get in shit with either side. Easily the best way. Handle that situation. I am crying. Dude, Odin. Odin, chill, bro. We go check thieves then. It's still kind of crazy Gavin Summers is dead, man. Still kind of crazy to think about. I felt like if Gavin died, it would have been firing squad. The Ratskeller curse, though, I feel like. I can't wait for James to hear about that. I mean, well, I think that that that's part of the thing, right? Splendid. People fuck with Gavin because Gavin was such a fantastic character, man. Like, the only reason he gets fucked with so much is he didn't die at his peak. That's the only reason, you know? But he was such a great character that he literally, like, you know what I mean? Like, he peaked, like, and there's no shame in that. I mean, every character eventually either peaks or dies, man. And Gavin was fantastic, bro. I'm yeah, I'm glad Sam died at his peak, man. Now I really gotta carry on the way I say Dicenzos. People meme I say it like Summers. Now I gotta do it to keep them alive, man. Dicenzos. I just think it's funny to say it that way. It's such a fun little word. Dicenzos. God. Chess. Oh, I love chess. I feel like nobody knows this is Jabass. I got a telegram. I'm gonna go check at Riggs.
see if I can get there. Man, I want to help build the West. I, I, I would love to die in a war with the West. And die alone in the West after building a bit. Telegram me. Sorry. Dude, they didn't telegram me, man. The fuck? Huh. Tommy! Wild horses. I thought I heard a horse to the left and then saw a person riding a horse, but I honestly can't tell.
And I'm still in love with you I wanna see you dance again Just work, work, and more work There's a lot of people That's Ariel Anyhow The fuck is that? Howdy. Howdy, fella. How you doing? Doing okay. What's your name, fella? Jericho Draper. Nice to meet you, Jericho. What's your name? Name's your bass, fella. Your bass. You looking for someone? Yeah. Sorry, miss. I mean, uh, I spoke you with my horse. You want, uh, you want it in there? Uh. Like my outfit? You're all fancy too. Goodness. I was gonna look We're both saying to need ready. Let's see. Yeah, I do like it. Hi. Right. Looks good. I got a haircut too. Like after my haircut. favorite, after my favorite outlaw. Yeah, I like the haircut too. Yeah. Remember, this is the one that CD had when he was hiding in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good with the pomade in it. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, let me get your money. Uh, you can hold on to it for now. All right, if you want me to. Yeah, sure. Well, go ahead, miss. Pardon me. Oh, you're fine. How are things today? Uh, good. I think CD runs around too, though. Okay. That was an hour ago, but he could be in bed right now. Well, howdy, Uncle. Howdy. Watch out for the black eyed Sarah. She's got the clap. I'm gonna check my telegrams. I'll be back in the book. She's checking telegrams. No one here. I'll see you telegram him, but you don't telegram me? You didn't telegram me, he telegrammed me. The heck? I mean, he telegrammed me. The heck? I didn't know if anybody was awake. The heck? I didn't have a telegram from you or CDs, but Jesse telegrammed no. me, said he was done my work. So I said, good work. Oh, okay. And I asked, I told him I'll meet up whenever he wants. He told you Valentine? CD told me Valentine. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. I'm wondering about at the moment. Oh, yeah, same. What is it that you do around the crossing? Well, I made oh, like 360 torches today. Jesus Christ. Yeah, looks like even Uncle. Sieve. Yeah, I'm alright. Yourself? Uh, man, I, I went to send an eat tonight, and you won't believe it. Hmm. I saw Carlo and them. They actually exist. Wait, what? They do, yeah. Holy shit. I didn't... I, I have that already. Just give me my shitty. Really? Yeah, I have one. I bought one the day we talked about it. Oh, it was, okay. Uh, they were in San Denis, roughly uh, five, six at least. Wow, that was, okay. uh, two and a half hours ago. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I yeah. didn't know they, they existed. Yeah, me and Ariel was spying the whole entire time. It's on. Sissy's alive. Yeah, Sissy's alive, apparently, as well, out of her coma. Too. Well. I'm sure she'll fucking die eventually. Yeah, one day. Anybody seen Effie? 
I have not, no. Oh, hopefully she's dead. What about you? How you been? I've already said I've been fun. You sure? Yeah. Right. Well, I tried looking for the folks at uh, Gunge Den last night. Couldn't find them, Valentine. Came here twice. Thought uh, late it looked like... Didn't um, you gun down like three of them? You and Rebecca? Uh, I gunned down three out of seven. That's what I'm saying. You and Rebecca gunned down three of them, so... They're probably... Hiding. Better be. Also, there was a... Um, apparently, there was a shootout out west. Hmm. There was a law on somebody else. Um... Oh, it was the Lobos, I'm not sure. It happened at Rescal Fork. I was uh, out trying to look for miners in uh, Gap Youth Ridge. I saw the law pull up with an armored wagon, a bunch of boxes. They had a hostage, the people inside Rescal Fork, and then behold, they're doing a shootout. And I'm not sure what happened afterwards. Uh, we arrived in Armadillo maybe an hour or two later and saw a bunch of bodies being brought to the medical tents. Probably injured. Yeah, uh, Astrid, I had her go back and, you know, spy and see what's going on. Figure out who was involved. She sent me a telegram that she has big news and she wants to discuss it. And I told her to come to Valentine. That wasn't half an hour ago, though. I haven't seen her since then. Okay. Uh, that's basically it from my side. Well, I'm trying to think. Anything else, Ariel? I'm missing? No. No. But I know. No. 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 Woulda. Yeah, she can't speak English. Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> What'd you pull out? What is that? It's a dead bird. Why do you have it? It's a crow. Oh, I don't crows. take a bath. I prefer ravens. Mm. <sighs> okay. <laughs> hey. We should rub his Valentine bank. Right now? Right now? Jinx. Yeah, I mean, if you uh, want to, sure. Yeah, you but... You got dynamite? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind looking for group two, though. And send an E. Or Rhodes, where do they went? Okay. I mean, we got three of us. Let's do it. Cool. Um, <clears throat> Ariel, you want to tell um, Uncle what happened to Zip and Mama Quail? Right, yeah. They're out for... um. A family vacation. Yeah, they'd be gone for a while. Gone for a week. Okay. Maybe a bit more. Well, you know, sometimes in war you need vacations. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's all right. Um, but I really do want to rob a bank, though. We were actually supposed to do one. I think it was today. Huh. I don't have the time. Yeah, we take Jesse as a hostage. No. No. Oh, you son of a bitch. We're doing Jesse then. Right there, there's a hostage. I mean, she, she got a point. You don't need a hostage. We don't need a hostage, yeah, actually. Fuck it. All right. And you can go back. Dynamite? I don't. We're going to go make it thieves. All right, that's enough for one day. Do any of you even know how to crack saves? Yeah, Me. I've done two yeah, banks do. already. I've yet to be caught for a bank robbery. I cracked the last safe. I mean, we yeah, need the money, just... so... Did a bank job and I cracked like two of them and the but other two were done by bear. Aren't you like wanted for murder? CD. And? No, I'm just saying. So what what plan do you have to get away? Well, hmm. Depends. What are y'all looking as far as your plan? Do you want to get away or do you want to just get away with some blood, you know, bloodbath? What are you trying to think here? How easy or difficult do you want it to be? I'm not going to sit a plan for it. You think I care? <laughs> My you point go? is, you're Back wanted up. for murder, so it should probably be well planned. Yeah. Uh, let me think. How about we don't rush it today, but you make a plan for one? There okay, how about we do it tomorrow or the day after? There you go. Yeah, I'll think of a plan tonight, then. Hey, Jesse. Hi. 
I'm gonna throw it out. Feel free to say no. We might rob a bank. Do you want to help with it? <laughs> you, you say not what? Today. <laughs> not today. Not today. I'm just. I thought you was just like ready to walk right in and start at it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now. If I had the Donna, why I'd uh, say otherwise? I can't. I think. Yeah, yeah. No, take. Yeah, of Chris can think. Okay. I thought of you. something as well. Go ahead. I, I thought I meant to tell y'all. <clears throat> I was gonna whisper, but my coffee's real hot and it's kind of warm my throat too much to whisper. I um, never. Never what? I never whisper. Whisper. Oh. Well. So you know how I told you I punched that lady yesterday? Yeah. 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 I came back into town and they were like looking at me all awkward and I was talking to them and and uh, she's like, oh, you're the one that tackled me when I went to shoot. <laughs> she she remembered that I tackled her. Wait, that's the lady that shot my uncle. Where is she? I don't know. I tackled her. She didn't shoot nobody. As she tried to shoot, I knocked her to the ground. Okay, so it was the one next to her then with the black hair. Okay, all right. Maybe, I think. I and the one with the blonde hair. She said her name, but I don't remember it. The one with the blonde hair pulled out double action. Behind the counter. Yeah, yeah the bartender. Mm-hmm. I blocked her in for a minute. They, but I, I don't know if uh, um, I don't remember what I was gonna say. <sighs> yep. I looked over my shoulder and saw that man had a full mask on, so I lost my train of thought. It's a really terrible outfit. That's Jack. That's his name. Is that Jack? No, I'm talking about the guy with the bowler hat. <laughs> Everybody looking at each other. The, with the, the bowler hat fella. I don't remember know. That Jack? The bowler. The bowler hat fella. Jack. Oh, I was saying I don't remember that lady's name, but even if I didn't remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. Why? Because you'd go kill her, and then and? that blood would be on my hands. Blood is gonna be split in the cross in every single time. Doesn't matter if you yep. your hands or not. It's gonna happen. Doesn't mean it's got to be on my hands, though. Jesse, you were there. You saw what happened, okay? Yeah, I tackled someone to make sure she didn't shoot y'all. What? Whatever you say. You think I should tell you so you can go hurt her? Well, I mean, she shot my uncle. You can do what you want, Jesse. Either way, yeah. we're going to find out well, the name, won't we? Well, y'all splattered that other man's <laughs> innards all over the window. I mean, he pulled a gun. Well, I know he he's was going to shoot us. Yeah, he's definitely an idiot. But, but I'm just saying, if, you know, I went around and created a list of everybody that shot your uncle, <laughs> I think we all agree that list would be longer than Robbie's book. <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah, I mean, I'm, okay. I'm always the... The first shot. Well, you don't have to understand, though, Robbie. Is we came in there just that, wanted to get money. That is not Jesse. The oh, Jesse, sorry. It's an uncle. I thought of Robbie. My apologies. Yeah. <laughs> also said Robbie, referring to his book. But di I digress. Continue on. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. What you don't understand is we came in there trying to take their money, not the lives. We're not doing. We're not. We're not trying to. No, collect I think he understands that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> That's yeah, why I but like. They still piss me off, though. And then that fella in Blackwater, Badger, that son of a bitch, <laughs> got a cocky smile on his face. Somebody's gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you saw what he did, Ariel, Rebecca. I didn't see. I I didn't see nothing. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, I really didn't see. I was in the t I was I was behind the telegram office taking a yeah. leak, man. Yeah, yeah, no, Rebecca, you saw what happened, right? You know what, fuck uh, is he the one that pulled his gun? Yes. Oh, okay, you're talking about that guy. Yeah, he just. Yeah, Badge, that's his name. He pulled a gun just for you walking up to him? Well, I did have my Maybe gun out ready. Gun out. Uh, he probably thought he was going to rob him. No, he's like, I'm trying to protect my friends. I'm like, okay. Next time you pull, I'm going to gun you down. Chat, we're 32 away for 1K sub. Yeah. The West ain't no place for heroes. Say some cool line like that. Hmm. Yeah, say it with that, like as you go, mm -hmm. West ain't no place for heroes. Mm -hmm. Glad I'm here in city. 
storm. Why is she no place for heroes? <laughs> <laughs> you could do better. Come on. It was pretty good. Why is she not a place for heroes? <laughs> no, a little, little, little more gravel. Mm, what sniper? <laughs> Holy shit, you are sanctum. You're lucky you have a cup of coffee out right now, okay? I don't want to spill that shit on myself. <laughs> Do I look like I got fucking dirt in my throat? No, you look like sir. <laughs> and then you just kind of sounded like him. Come on, ain't no need we to tricked him. I tricked him into sounding like him. Oh, now I'm all fucking muddy. Well, well oh, now you probably got dirt down smell. your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom's all Astrid, nice over clean. here. I over here. I just took the, the bath in there. I'm gonna take a bath. Uh, just stand your horse. Get out of here. <laughs> it's all your fault. Get your word of that. I told him. I told him earlier. He he looked like Sanctum with his hair and his beard like that. And then I just tricked him into trying to talk like Sanctum. It's crazy how good this outfit looks from Jesse. You all right? Yeah, no, I'm okay. No, no, no. What was he saying to well, me? Not I you. didn't hear what he said. You, uh, the bass. No, Are you alright? Right? Kind of just staring off into space? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I got a crow. You got a crow? You want the crow? No, what would I do with the crow? Make it fly. <laughs> uh, is it a dead crow? Yeah. Then how am I going to make it fly? I throw it. <laughs> I guess technically that would be flying. Flying through the air until it doesn't anymore. No, I'm good. All right. It's your crow. It's your lucky crow. Maybe next time you get shot, it will hit the crow in your jacket. Yeah. Prefer ravens. Why? Oh, I met a raven today. That's that that lady I was talking to about. The uh, mortician lady. She's a, Her name's Raven. Okay. I was telling it, Ariel, about her. Oh, I see you, alright. Alright, I got a place we can go to. Yeah. You wanna follow me? Sure. <sighs> Where y'all going? I got no clue. How do you do? Where's my horse? Uncle, your hair is growing out. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> trying to think. I was supposed to. Just I don't know how something. you're surprised. Oh, God. I remember. It's not that hard to be secret. <laughs> Probably, he probably because he probably did his undisguised outfit, and he's off stream, so he's not impatient. So, and he doesn't sound telegram send telegrams, snitching on himself on this character. So, go left.
Are you good? Oh, <clears throat> I mean, hey, Astrid. Hey, sorry it took me so long. I just oh. wanted to make sure before I said something that might have not turned out to be true. See. Did you almost call her Aurora? No, I, I almost said, it, it's a long you story. You almost said all right. Oh, thank you, Uncle. Yeah. You know me so well. Oh. <laughs> so what's going on? So I went down to Blackwater. Not to Blackwater, that's where, um... I was about to say, I sent you to Armadillo. <laughs> yeah, Armadillo. I went to Armadillo. Um, there had just been a shootout between the Summers gang and the law. Oh, that's who it is, okay, okay. Fine yeah. Then. Five of the... Su the Summers gang. Oh, okay, I don't know who that is. <laughs> um... Five of them were apprehended and taken to Siska. And this is the part that I wanted to make sure of. And a doctor did confirm it verbally. But Gavin Summers was killed. Oh, what? Holy shit. We were just talking to him three days ago. My God. Really? Yeah. Somebody mentioned, somebody mentioned it in passing. And uh, I decided to hang around a little bit more and do a little bit digging and... Yeah, they. Somebody asked about his body, and uh, the doctors confirmed that uh, the law didn't have it anymore. They probably burned it somewhere. But... Jesus burned Christ! It. They burnt the body already. Why would they burn the body? I saw Sheriff Cash carrying somebody to the Undertaker. Is that him? Uh, well, maybe it's with the Undertaker, but the the doctors. Well, the, all the doc the doctors said was that the body wasn't with the law anymore. Um, that um, the law maybe had taken it outside and burned it already, but it wasn't with the law anymore. But the mention of his body was, well, I guess that's their confirmation that, yeah. He Holy died. shit. Did anybody else die from the law? Please tell me Rusa de la Muerta. <laughs> Not to my knowledge. I don't know of any injuries among the law, but there were a lot of them at the Armadillo courts looking sorry for themselves. I haven't seen Ruth there, so I was hoping he was dead. Fuck. Let's see. Well, good work. Thank you for your information. Give me some cash. <laughs> Thanks. Gavin fucking Summers. Gavin fucking Summers. Damn. Yeah. I think I'm the last one surviving from the Cisco Olympics. It was the Cisco Olympics. <laughs> well, a long time ago, uh, back in back in August, I was in there for about 22 months. Summers was in there for about around 20 months. Doctor Creed and his people were in there for fuck, like 40 months. I think uh, Hawk, Hicks, Gavin, myself, Casey. And uh, Dr. Creed, a few random people from Creed's group, we all, uh, we all, we all did the Sisica Olympics. We all put in a hundred dollars, and uh, the winner would take the uh, the entirety of the money. Sounds like fun. And uh, hmm. I ended up winning the Sisica Olympics and made an extra eight hundred dollars, and I held it over Gavin's head every time I met him. <laughs> Holy shit. So. Oh, um, speaking of deaths, I only found out today, but I don't know if, um, uh, apparently Hawk had died. Yeah, I well. found that out the other day. Ah, uh, I just got told today. And she's a good woman. Now, 
Never met her. Mm. I met her once. They were, uh, I think, quite riled at me, wondering who they were with the, with my binoculars and decided to come and confront me. But, uh, well, <laughs> we got a good conversation ongoing and they left me in peace. Oh. So that's who Gavin it was Summers. at Rescal Fork. Okay, Gavin Summers. I wonder why he went out west. Hmm. I thought it was the Lobos. They were dressed in all black, the Summers gang. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah. They also had somebody kidnapped. They had somebody uh, kidnapped and uh, in handcuffs. I couldn't tell it was. Hmm. They had black hair, black vest, a white shirt. Really hard to tell from distance. Was it I long really... black hair or short black hair? Short black hair. Ah, okay. I like my uncle, basically. It was one of the doctors, but... Uh, no, not, no, it's not. Well, well, I heard well, there was well. a shootout in Strawberry the other day, too, but I can't remember who it was with. It was like Law and somebody. Maybe them, too. Hmm. Well, Esther, thank you so much for your information. Oh, what is it you do um, besides um, collecting herbs or potions or making potions? <laughs> um, well, uh, I am a doctor a to those with my telegram. No, uh, no, I had to get rid of that for the war. Jesse, do you have a doctor? Than... No. Yeah. What kind? Like a doctor? Uh, with I didn't have one. The mind, the heart? What, what kind of doctor are you? Huh. But in surgery as well. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And well, but you don't happen to have a brother, do you? Me? No. Okay. All right. You make it the wrong person again. I'm trying no. to think. Oh my! Oh my! Family died. Oh God. Uh, Eighteen ninety-nine. Or before. So I'm the last one. The last one standing. Mm, yep. Um, but yes, I am a doctor to those with my telegram. Um, to members of the public, I am. I run a cooking business. I will cook supplies and give it to them. 1885 is one on new. Well, um, there's a menu of foods, desserts, mains, starters. Oh. You put in an order okay. and I'll deliver it. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, we got an operation happening out of Thieves, and um, maybe if we need something, we'll let you know. Mm-hmm. Of course. You, you got my telegram now, right? <sighs> so I fucking did. tired. Yes. And you have mine. I do. Thank you. Thank you again. I appreciate your information. Well, it is uh, quite... Uh, late. I've been on my feet a long time, so I'm going to, uh, I think, retire for the night. Sweet dreams. Have a good night. You have a good <laughs> night. Be safe. Take care, folks. Bye. Bye. Jack mentioned that Summer fella said that he was around a long time. That Robbie and his gang might have done something to him at one point. Holy shit. I don't know, he didn't know much. He just said something had happened, like, way back then. Yeah, he's been fighting a lot of wars for a long time. I really hope I don't go out like Gavin Summers. No, well, like I told you the other day, Gavin Summers is the reason I want to die young. Yeah, some people die at 25 and then buried at 75. I don't want to be like that. What, you want to be buried early? Right away, please. Like right when you die? Well, within the hours, if possible. Like sprinkle a little dirt on you? <laughs> Call it good? You can. Bury me in thieves, though. What if you're technically still alive? And yeah. then we bury you. What if we think you're dead? None to... of us are good doctors. Exactly. <laughs> And I'm fucked. I don't know what to tell you. 
We'll just sprinkle dirt lightly on you. That way you can rise from your grave. Oh. Hey, yeah. Go ahead. See what happens. Yeah. Well, on that note, I'm pretty tired as well. I need some sleep. So, I'm going to lay my head down here. Get some sleep. Okay. Now, Uncle, now, Rebecca, now, Ariel. Good night. I'm going to sleep Jesse. right here. Good night. There's a camp just yonder. Oh, okay. Just yonder. See you later, sir. Yeah, why, why are you laughing? Look, it's a joke. Oh. No, I, li I like your vocabulary. Night, kid. Thank you. I'm lazy. I'll see what I you about tomorrow. Don't Who's that? Me, sir. Jesse, you're making me sound old. I, I couldn't you hear are you. Old. I'm not old. I'm 18. What did you say I, to I'll me? Remember, I remember what I uh, I had something I would tell you, but I forgot. So I'll remember tomorrow, probably. Okay. And then I'll come up with a plan tonight for the job. All right. All right. You're wanted for murder, so probably one that guarantees to get away. Or guarantees getting caught. Either or. Well, no. Do you want to get caught? You said it yourself. Plans don't work out, so plan to fail so you can succeed. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's taking into account the plan. Right, but if I plan to fail it... Plan, if you I'll plan to fail, it. when you fail, you still succeed. So plan to fail, but in failing, you still get away. Yes, uncle. <laughs> Night, everybody. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night, CD. Okay. Can we go past I'm Strawberry? Gonna, gonna head off to bed as well, you guys. Be safe. Have good, night. good night. Alright, good night, Ariel. Yeah, we go to Strawberry. There is a lot of law in there, uh, there though. Oh, there That's fine, law? I just need to quickly nip in and get something. Alright. You just want me to hold on to the money for a while, or what do you, when do you want? Uh, yeah, I gotta, uh... Well, you see, one thing that, uh... uh Becca and I are doing for uh for our gang is uh we're giving them customized navies when they get when they join oh and so uh i gotta make one for my nephew so i need oh. cash so but i my bank account is in the negatives yeah so i understand yeah, just let me know yeah i can hold on to it i ain't getting in trouble you still have gems yeah a few yeah, probably by the, what the fuck? By the time uh He's hauling ass. Yeah, by the time anything happens I'll probably uh Yeah, you can probably pay yourself for those gems and I'll take those gems and whatever rest the cash. That way you get yourself some money for the gems too. What do you mean? So like you how many gems do you have? Uh I don't remember. Like one diamond, three or four, no, one diamond, four rubies, four, uh, sapphires. Sapphire. Yeah, so it'd be $50 for $122.40. So it'd be, you could, you give me 500 in the gems, I think. Right. I think, I, I, I well, you, you get what I'm saying, though. I'll, yeah. I'll make sure you get paid well. Okay, sure. I can give you gems. I know y'all, uh, like gems better. Yeah. I think I, I think I understand why. Why do you think? Uh, because everybody keeps talking about their bank accounts not having any money in it. So I imagine yep. the law takes it all. I used, yep. I, I used to have money. I, I miss, honestly, I miss being able to use my bank account. For a long, long time, I I, I used to evade the law. I, I was wanted for like 21 months, but I was able to clear up my bank account a few days before they caught me. I used my bank account for a couple months. Two, three months. Miss yeah. it. I had a couple grand in there, yeah, but then I bought this horse. Uh, yeah, what is it? What is that a Turkoman? Yeah. Fox? It's a white one. Yeah, it looks nice. Thanks. Named it Eris. This one's Odin. Eris is like a Greek god. Yeah, mine's Norse. Not really, people didn't know me any stories about Eris, though. No, she don't. was like a god of mischief and disorder. Hmm. It's kind of like uh, the Greek Loki. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Basically, but not a whole lot of stories. Romans had some stories about her, but not that many. I don't know if they're afraid of uh, her or what. Where are we going? 
I don't know where we're going. I'm just kind of going. Strawberry? Yeah. I think we're going north now. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna back off. Yeah, I was gonna say you're actually. I think I'm gonna go. You're gonna go ahead Careful. now. I've been silently judging the route you guys decided to take. I was just talking to him about gods. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay attention where I'm going. <laughs> this why you never get anywhere quickly. I don't give a shit to get anywhere quickly. <laughs> What was that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree with you. Jesse's been some time with Jack Kettleman today. Apparently, he's an asshole. You met Jack? Yeah. How was that? Asshole. <laughs> piss me off. Not piss me off, but. He pushed buttons until I got angry. We go this way? Go whatever way you want. You should be able to go over yet. Tell me, I so can't talk what to did he, my uncle. What did he do about pushing buttons? Like, how did he do it? I mean, he just said I, I don't know, he told me my uncle never thought about me, he didn't care about me. And... I mean, I can tell you that's not true, he told me about you. Bunch of other stuff. I don't know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> Alright. Y'all are the, y'all are the people that live here longer. I mean, I guess, well, bear. I guess I know he's a just bit. uh He's just enjoying his time. And I'm not telling him where to go. I'm just taking the tracks. Let's go this way, Strawberry. Look, it's I, just a whole lot of stuff. Like, I don't get the I don't get to talk about gods with people anymore, so I was just enjoying my conversation. But continue. It's kind of just like uh, he uh, wanted to push me to see what I was about. I don't really know. He's testing you. But he's treating me like I, I'm not capable or like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really know. It wasn't like he was even offering advice. Like y'all like at least offering advice and stuff. Even CD tried to offer advice, but he just kind of Talk shit. I, I, mean, I guess he tried. I mean, at least he made the effort to try, I guess, even if he failed. I don't know if he actually tried or if he just wanted to. CD, he just said he tried, but he was talking. Oh, CD, you mean? Yeah, CD no, I think tried, but they mostly just talked in, in nonsense. Sounds about right. With that too, yeah. those two, I figured They're probably the worst people to get advice from. Yeah. What were they giving you advice about? Well, it was that night we was all up on the floor. Yeah. And you walked away, and they just started giving me advice on <laughs> I don't know how to figure things out and where to go from there, and and death and life. And then you between. take things in your time, okay? Yeah. CD don't even know what he wants tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow he don't got the same plan that he does today, and today he don't even know what the fuck he wants. So he's the worst to give advice. Zip ain't much better. Well, CD does know what he wants. Well, so he knows what he wants now, but then tomorrow he'll change his mind. Well, I think he has a goal he wants. He wants to be the most notorious, notorious outlaw. outlaw ever lived yeah and I think all of his goals somewhere line up underneath that and it may change moment to moment but you know because he might decide you know on a moment's notice that whatever his action is is or isn't good for that I'm surprised he ain't challenging other outlaws to duels yet he'll figure that out soon enough 
Yeah, you gotta be the fastest guy in the West. I used to hear stories about that. People would just duel each other because they felt like they were faster than somebody. My uncle dueled somebody. Yeah? Yeah. Because he wanted to be faster than him? No, to end the war. Oh. First, the Chenzo War. With the Dechenzos? Mm hmm. Yeah, be dueled all over, put them in a coma. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Some Same with y'all that died the other night, they, they killed? Say it again. The one that they killed? No, no, different all over. Oh. I don't know a lot. I'm trying to not say I don't know a lot. Cause Mill said that's all I ever say is I don't know. You can say whatever you want. If it's I don't know, who cares? Don't let anybody else tell you what to say or do. I'll give you that advice. Unless you want to let him, then you yeah. let him. You do you, basically. Oh. That's what it was about. I remember now. But Jack pissed me off a little bit. Hey, what was that? On family, and I told him how, like, y'all said that I was family, and I could do whatever I want. <laughs> like, if I decided to even pick up a badge or a star and do that, then y'all would understand. Yep. And still yep. be family, but, you know, eventually one day we'd shoot each other. We might go to this right here. But yeah, continue. Uh, but he was like, uh, I don't know, he said, you know, didn't really respond to that much. But then he, he kind of just went off on how, uh, like, people, you know, use family too much and that I, I should be careful with family because you get stabbed in the back. And stuff. He said that he had someone, he had like a brother that was his family and they betrayed him or something. Well, just because he has a bad experience doesn't mean you will. My whole life's been bad experiences. Well, can only go out from here then. I mean, I ain't guess wrong. That's family gets thrown out, out a lot, but I, I'm just yeah. saying I ain't putting any expectations on y'all. Y'all don't have to do anything for me. Y'all don't owe me anything, and I, I don't. I know. Feel like you do. I still kill someone for you. I'm just saying I'm fully ready. You know. To be disappointed, I guess. Well, I hope I don't disappoint you. Anyway, so that's what got up under my skin. General store, please. Yeah. I guess splinter. I got telegram. Just wanting to come out. Well. It's probably for me. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Mr. Divine, how you doing? Howdy. Have a good one. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, there's five law on that telegram. <laughs> yeah, we should go. Oh my god, where's your horse? Behind. Yeah, I know. Look at this. He's distracting them for us. Yeah, I know. I don't even know if I'm wanted, but I just go with the assumption I have. I would assume so after Valentine. I'm assuming he's distracted them for the reason to distract them, so. Yep. Well, send him a telegram from Blackwater or something. Yeah.
Man, that man, that was uh, huh? I think that was Cash, Hurst, Rip, Kramer. <laughs> Kramer, stay out. I didn't see who who else was all there. I saw Cash and Kramer walk out. Yeah, Rip and Hurst were inside. Knew we, knew who I was instantly too. I really look like me right now. Um, not really. Oh my god, you're gonna hate this. Do you know what you remind me of? What? No, I'm not gonna say it. It's horrible. Okay, bro. You'd probably kill me if I said it. I don't care. Max Brady. Mm, I do have his glass on. He does wear my hat, so. And he had an eye patch back then. And he used to dress with like a red vest or whatever, because it was like the color of Sam's Club. Not it was the color of Sam's Club, but he did use it in security. I'm trying to remember. He had a specific vest he wore. In security. I'm trying to remember what the vest was. I think also having short hair makes me look a little bit more like Max. He always had the short hair. I like the short hair. Yeah, it's all right. I need like a couple of minutes just around the corner here. I'll be right here. I love this outfit, shit. Yeah. I've been wanting to wear this black and red shirt with some sort of outfit. Wow. I love the way this shit looks. Yo, bitter. Thank you, the raid. I hope you, uh, I hope you had a good stream. I, I kept checking the tip line to see how you guys were doing. I, I was just thankful. No more law perma. <laughs> All right, sorry. It's okay, I told them both to meet us in Thieves. Okay. How you doing? Howdy. I got your telegram, by the way. Oh, you did? Yeah, I'll bring it up with uh, my nephew. We, uh, 
We we only robbed her just because the wrong place, wrong time. But I if understand. it can be avoided in the future, yeah, we'll uh, avoid it. But uh, sometimes it can't be avoided. No, I, I understand that. Mm, perfect. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. I'm uh, all right. Haven't really heard much uh, about any uh, anyone from out east coming this way uh, recently. Okay. Uh, but I will keep letting you letting you know if we do see anyone. All right, sounds good. You know a Holly Harper? <sighs> Unfortunately. You uh, if you see uh, if you see her out this way, you telegram me. Oh, we'll do. All right. Thank you. Yep. Also, apparently, a Milson Alice warned me that the chances came out yesterday. Mm. Said they saw a few of them. Me to be careful. But you said them. Oh. You said you told them to meet us. Yeah, Forrest. I telegram Forrest. He's the real. Oh, okay. Is that Piper Lady? Not sure. Some kind of milk delivery. How you doing? What was that? How are you? Doing all right. How you doing? Doing all right. This is not raining. I suppose. Did I meet you before in, uh, Ansburg? Were you that, um, oh boy, what was the name? Something Bass? Yeah, Jabass. Uh, you, you offered the gemstones or something like that? Yeah, I buy gems. I, I did go mining for a wee bit, but I didn't find any. Yeah. Sometime Lady Luck ain't on your side, I suppose. What up, Og? Aye, for now I'm finding the milk deliveries to be a wee bit more lucrative. Yeah, I never, uh... Never delivered milk before. So I can't give you much, uh... Insight into that. Eh, yeah, neither have I. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, what up, Luca? I confused her for Piper the first time I met her. <laughs> That's how I knew it wasn't her. Sing for the year, sing for the land, sing for the deer. I don't really know who Piper is. Mm. She gave, we believe she gave info to Pearly that we were, uh, that we were in town. So. Right. I'm gonna blow her brains out. Yeah, it's fine. Um. Jesse had a conversation with uh, Holly, and apparently Holly's playing a victim or something. Okay, well she's gonna um, be a victim in the ground. Well, uh, Jesse kind of wanted to not be killed. Okay. And your nephew said that we'd make her work thieves then, and then she can walk over the bridge where her brother died every single day. I mean, I'm gonna kill her if I see her, but <laughs> figure it out. Yeah, I don't blame you for feeling that way. Dream on. Dream on. You're gonna change. Come through. Dude, I wanna get. I wanna get a boat. And I just wanna sit out on the boat. Just like right here and just sit on the boat and just see who comes and who goes <laughs> that's such a dumb plan sing for the year sing for the love and sing for the dear and I for today and tomorrow and wait, swing with me Y 
Yo, what up, Slappy? Yeah, I'm tired, man. I, I gotta have a meeting with Forrest, and then I'm wrapping up. Not a fella. I think we should allow it to speak first, and then you can do what you want. Whether that is kill, beat up, torture, I don't know. I'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go inside the speakeasy. I'm assuming right. you're gonna wait for Jesse. Yeah. And just, uh, if four shows up as well, just tell him I'm inside. Mm hmm. Will do. Who the fuck is Donnie Flynn? I don't know. Alright. been an interesting day. I think this is my new go-to short hair, man. This hair is just, especially with the sides done like this, looks so sick. I really want to go. I really want to go back to the little mustache and the and the shoulder length hair at some point, though. I wonder how this one would look with the little mustache. This haircut. How does this look? This is one of the only shirts I don't like wearing bandanas with. Ever bring the little stash back? I love the little stash. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the poncho. I love this poncho. Going out in the west. I, feel, I It's like a throwback to the old poncho I used to wear it to you. Remember my OG poncho I used to wear all the time? Have anything else in this outfit? I don't think the belt works with this vest. Shame it don't work with this vest. I think that's it. See, I like using the hats with the long hair, man. I don't like hats with short hair.
I'm also that way in real life, man. When I have long air wear hats. When I have short air, I don't. You know the best part about robbing a bank is if we get gold bars, we can do business with the Irish. I do need to move my tall tree storage to here, man. I really do. How much time we spend in Thieves. I like tall trees being the stash just because, like, the vibe. You have to travel out there to go get stuff, but... You know, I, I think it would be nice to have it in this disc. Yeah, but I mean, you know, going back there would be only for, like, actual, like, laying low and stuff, you know? I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. To do, so I threw. Something like our red coat outfit is probably the best outfit we have. This one is pretty good though too, man.
This uh, uh, red coat or Fenrir is probably the best outfit we have. Yeah. I do need to bring back the bear outfit one day. As a throwback. I ate it up. And... I stood on Did it ma I don't know, great the gray coat's pretty good too though, man. Laughed and cry. I feel Share of losing. No, not me. Yo, what up, Reza? Okay, Ken. Bro. How long does it take to ride from fucking Valentine to Thieves, man? Neither of them are here. Nope. Howdy. Howdy. Wanna come inside? Hi, uh, uh, hey man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing all right. How you been? Uh, I've been doing good. I just came back from... Right the outfit. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I could tuck in my hair and shit, too. Check it. Uh, uh. And there you go. <laughs> I like my hair sick. flowing through as I came. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. <sighs> Don't go inside. Fuck yeah, I do. You got a drink? Downstairs, yeah. I love to drink. <laughs> Time to do more for your mistake, Miss Casey. True. You want you to go downstairs, grab a drink, come back up? Sure. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing. Better I'm than doing. not doing? Yeah, I mean, I'm breathing. I suppose that's uh, all that matters at the end of the day. 
More than what some could say, that's for sure. Yeah. What have you been up to lately? Uh, looking for work around here. I mean, I helped, uh, what were it? Caniclo. Moon some shine and typical stuff. Uh, some fucker the other day, some fucker named Mary, he, uh, robbed Caniclo of that same money that I helped. And so we found the motherfucker, dealt with him accordingly. Till he, uh, ran the law shortly after. And, uh, if I weren't there, I think, I think Caniclo might have, uh, might have gone to Sicily or some shit. So we both got out being shot at by law in Blackwater. That was, like, the other day. Uh, I didn't really get paid for that, but I don't really give a shit. I was just happy to help. And then, uh, and then I think I killed somebody yesterday. Killed somebody yesterday. Uh huh. Who'd you kill? Well, I, oh, I don't know their name. Some hobos. They were okay. from Valentine. I stabbed oh, like four riddance. of them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, one of them took a tomahawk to the chest and was still standing. It was kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. You pull lie. the tomahawk out and throw it back in? Uh huh. But then he didn't take the second? Twice. No, he took the second one and he was still standing. He's a oh. big fella, though. He was a real big fella. Well, that's, that's a surprising. Well, I, I did give him my word. I told him I weren't going to stab him. But there ain't no rules against me throwing something at him. Yeah, well, that's a loophole, I suppose. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know what? Uh, you were doing stuff with the bathhouse people for a while, yeah? Mark work, yeah. They contracted me, but I ain't since repaid, so... I left. You know, uh, Scout and them, uh, no longer with, uh, the, the bad Dead end house. kids. I yeah. know. I well, know they's with them. You were, uh, you, you, a long time ago you told me you were doing stuff with Summers too, right? Oh, uh, small time. I was doing any kind of work I could get, man. I needed money. Well, just in case you didn't like them, uh, Summers is dead. Really? Yeah. By who? Do you know? Sounded like law. The information I had. Oh. No. Uh, lady named, uh, uh... I don't know what fucking name. Lady told my nephew I was there. Rest in place to him. Looks like I'm out of work again. You, uh... Well, I mean... I mean, he was the main person people hired. If anything, you might have more work. But, I mean, I suppose that's... Being an optimist, I ain't much of an optimist, but... Still. Uh, that being said... You know a mm -hmm. Holly Harper? Ooh, uh, yeah, I know her. Whatever. You on good terms with her? I think I got into a scuffle with her yesterday, but, uh, uh I wouldn't say we're good. Talking terms, sure. Talking terms, though? Uh-huh. Tolerating each other's presence, more so. Think she'd meet you? I think so. She's seen me do a few things. Okay. I got her telegram. What kind of work are you looking for, by the way? Just anything? At this point, I'm not even in it for the money, man. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. Maybe you could help me find them. All right, go ahead. What name? I'm looking for my brother, Blackfish. Blackfish. Uh huh. Does he have a name, or do you just go by Blackfish? He's one of the only guppies. He never told me his name. Hmm. I'm looking to find him so I could kill him. Why you want to kill him? Treacherous ingrate. Ain't nobody that used us for his own personal gain. Black. You know me? What's she look like? <sighs> Black clothing. Same old belt like mine. 
Blonde hair, kind of like me too. Don't know. I ain't seen him around these parts for a long time. It don't matter. Can't yeah, bother me if I see him. Let you know. If you see him, yeah. Bring him to me. That'd be my only payment. I don't... I don't do things for money anymore. I do things for a bit of information. You got any info you want right now? Just on Blackfish. As long right. as you swear by me that you can help me with that sort of thing. I'm here for work. Yeah. If I see Blackfish, I'll, uh... You said you want to deliver? Mm-hmm. You could do that. That'll work. What if you're not around? You know, you know them one of them, uh, picture things, them, uh, them sharks got? Yeah, the, the uh, those Jeffs, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. I think one of those would do if you can get me a little, uh, snap of him. Even just a lock of his hair, his ear, his finger, his buckle for all I give a shit. Yeah, I could take his buckle. If I see him, you're not around, and I'll wait for you a little bit. Put a bullet in his head, I'll take his buckle. Works for me. Okay. If you, uh, you could set up this Holly lady. Uh, I want her dead. I want to have a conversation with her. She usually congregates around Valentine. Yeah. I I've don't think she's that now. hard to find, but I figure. Uh, besides that, I think, uh, I got my war right now. But I'm trying to, uh, once this war, I mean, we're going on the defensive. But once this war settles down, uh, plan on getting this place up and running. You, uh, you still, uh, you, you still doing a lot of shine. Fuck yeah, I am. Okay. Now, long, long time ago, Case and I remember when we used to make shine. Mm -hmm. We used to make mm -hmm. the mash and sell it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to, uh, some of the, uh, I guess some of the younger folk. I'd like to get them doing some shines out of here. How much, uh... You said you don't do shit for money, but how much would you, uh... How much would you make mash for? Fifty. You want a whole crate of mash? A whole crate of mash? A whole crate of mash, fifty dollars. Well, what do you mean by crate of mash? Well, a crate of the supplies to do a whole run. Sorry, I should specify okay, that. Okay, alright, perfect. Fifty dollars yeah. if you want a whole run, that's... In, in interest, that's 250 profit you're making, roughly. Yeah, I could do that because if you, uh, you, if you can supply the, the crate, I'll pay you out, and then, uh, I can get some of these. Safe, any say. Yeah, get some of these younger folk. A few, uh, some new blood. Get some people doing some shit out of the West, too. Sure. Unless you want this to be like a whole lot crate, crate full of mash, in which that case, I could do that. I'd, I'd just ask for double at that point. What, a hundred a run? Uh-huh. Okay. We could, uh... I think it would be, uh... She just went out to look for you. I think y'all oh. passed each other. I didn't see her. Yeah, I think y'all passed each other coming in. Watch out for this one. He's mean with a tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're from you're from Valentine, ain't you? Yep. You enjoy the show? It's a little wild. <laughs> yeah, I don't take too kindly to people threatening me and such. So I spell is looking lie, for dude. you. I ran into him in San Denis. People looking for me in San Denis? Uh, those two fellas. Oh, Jug really? and Joe. Jug and Joe. <laughs> Joe and Joe. Yeah. Well, I hope they sure as shit find me. I'd like to have a conversation again. Was it a conversation last time? <laughs> mm, I spoke in a different language, one that I didn't understand. I, I think everyone understands that language. Oh, not Valentinians, my friend. They don't understand it? Mm -hmm. No. Thought everybody understood violence. Yeah, but not. I think most folk do. Not my type of violence. I'm the kind of motherfucker to do the most, t uh, you know, tucked up, kind of fucked up kind of shit. Tucked away <laughs> hiding behind an alley kind of shit. I'm talking stabbing without even noticing kind of shit. Oh. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
That's some violence. Some, but not all of it. Um, I don't, I don't stab people. Why not? Somebody threatens you, what you gonna do? Let them keep threatening you? Depends. Well, just on whether their threat is actually a real credible threat or if it's just, you know, fake. Uh, I get that. I don't take chances, though. Not on anybody. I understand. I don't think we met before. My name's Forrest Fish. I'm Jesse. Pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Yeah, Forrest, this is uh, to my right. This is basically she's like she's a sister to me. This is uh, Rebecca. I don't know if y'all met, but. She, uh, she rides with me. I don't think we've officially met, no. No. Officially the first time we's meeting. <laughs> officially. <laughs> Sorry, the jokes come to me in waves. <laughs> Hope I got you I, hooked. I need to go get some food. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked, all I'm right. I'm so hungry. Mm. Uh, Case and I have known known uh for us a long time mm -hmm. we got way back making drinks together for a long long time ago yeah a long long time ago it was real sad to disappoint me when you weren't doing mark work no more left me a lot to do shit by myself yeah i mean i, I... shit you uh you know, my uncle going outlaw i mean I get it. Yeah. I do the same thing for my family. I have done the same thing for my family. Ain't no different. I ain't opposed to Merc work, though. It's good fun. Good stories, too. I tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll talk it over. I, I think, uh, I mean, it, it, it would be, uh, how, Rebecca, how many people do you think we have that we could supply with uh, moonshine runs to? Gosh, um, well, it depends. A lot of them are in Cisco right now, but yeah. maybe four or five mm. so far. How green is they? Some of them vary. Okay. So, what you just want me to oversee, make sure that they deliver? Well, if you made the mash, I'll pay you out for the mash, and then. Let them keep the uh, profit. Maybe throw me a little bit, just to pay you. You don't want me to go with them, make sure. Oh, they you actually could, depending on. Uh, right? Yeah, depending on who it is, depending on how green they is. I think some are green. Some are probably so green that they could use the hand. I think some some aren't that green though. How good are they at traversing? They know a way around a wagon, or are they. Uh... I'm gonna be honest. Some of these folk. I, I'm gonna just give them some work. I don't give a shit. Some Gosh. of them, though, uh, you know, like, there's a fellow named Ronnie. I don't know you ever met him. I heard Josie talking about Ronnie. He, he ain't he in a coma right now? Yeah, in Sisica. Some, oh. some people like him and some of the others, like, fucking, uh, Scarlet, etc. I mean, yeah, you could probably oversee them, but uh, some random fucker that you give a run to, I don't really care about, you know. Oh, sure, sure. Fuck them. I think I'm going to go get some sleep, y'all. All right. Have a good right, night, good Jesse. Night, Jesse. Always good seeing you. Not nice nice sleep time. Mr. Uh -huh. Fish, man. Well, of course, you ever see me out in the streets? Come by. Come I don't bite. I don't bite. You're always welcome to come say hi. All right. A friend of Jay Bias is a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Good to see you, Jesse. Hey, good night. Good night, Jesse. Good night. Good night. Good night, Rebecca. Um. Yeah, no, I could. 
I'll, I'll help. I'll help oversee all that. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. We could. Uh, I'll talk it over. I'll talk it over with. Uh, talk it over with my nephew. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna tell him I I, I, I want to pay you to make some of these runs anyway. I don't know if my nephew would be interested in actually doing a run, but uh, a lot of them are in Sisica right now, but if you wanted to start getting working on that when you have a crate full, it would probably take you a few days, right? No, <laughs> not at all. Okay. I can get this done today if you want. I'll bring you a crate full right now. How many people are out of Sisica that we could give runs to, Rebecca? Not in the group. Yeah. Well, this is for, like, anybody. I don't give a shit. This is just business. I mean, Ariel. That's it. Yeah, that's the only person that comes to mind, though. Are they afraid of shooting if it comes down to it, or are they the kind of type to tuck their tail in between their legs and go home scotch free? Uh, I think Ariel would only shoot if she absolutely had to. Some of them, some of the others, though, were like, if I gave a run to fucking Josie or fucking Ronnie, I think they'd, Ooh. I think they'd shoot. Oh, that'd be a fun trip, that's for sure. <laughs> running, running's just too easy for me. Uh -huh. uh, besides, I got a ticket to pay for Marty Malone. <laughs> Son of a bitch knows my real name. M Malone? Uh-huh. What, if he's chasing you on a moonshine run, you're gonna shoot him? <laughs> Absolutely. With the bow? With this? Oh, no, no. This man, I kill animals with this thing. I mean, he's an animal, but... That's all I was saying. You know, he is kind of an animal, yeah. Well, you know, this one's more for them four-legged critters. I don't know. You could, you could... Still sounds like him. Yeah, I was gonna say, you could shoot him twice in the knees, make him go to all fours, and then shoot him with a bow. Oh, I was thinking of more so putting fish hooks around his mouth than dragging him through time. Uh, they could do that too. Uh huh. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, I, I got guns. I was just using my bow. It's my my signature. I ain't been out bow hunting in a minute. You got any? Uh, you got any dirty navies? No, but I know where to get some. <laughs> what, Robin folk? That too, and some other people. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, right now. If you get get me a crate by Friday, how about that? Crate by Friday, I'll give you a hundred a run as an experiment. So I'll, I'll pay, give you the cash up front. How about that? Works for me. All right, you just did one. by Friday, so don't don't push yourself. Because even no? then, a lot of these people are in Siska. I'll find the room for it between my horses and storage. If if they if I can't find anybody to do it for now, and we could do it consistently. Okay. Especially once it gets moving. So I'll bring the whole crate full. You you want me to just hold on to the crate up until Friday, or yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you if you can do it, if you could do it quick, hell, you can make the the mash Friday and then deliver it to me on the crate on Friday. Sure. All right. Perfect. Hope you know all the uh, all the product will be uh, hand picked, so you know not a single cent is going into any sugar or. Ooh. The weed or anything like that, so that way like money's being fully circulated here. All right, that's good. Good, and uh, yeah, well, I, I think a hundred should be. Uh, Rebecca, you think a hundred's uh, a run's fine? Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe a little room like to bring. It, yeah, maybe a little room to bring it down if, if people are complaining, but I don't. I don't think people will complain right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I mean. Unless you're just really trying to make profit here, then I could take him out to go pick the sugar with me. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we'll I mean, I'm, one step at a yeah, time. Yeah, I'm fine with I giving mean, you a hundred to run for now. I mean, if that's the fair. operation gets big enough, we might as well do something like that. But yeah. for mm -hmm. now, just keep it to the minimum to try to build it up. No problema. Yo, Zeus, I love getting to role play with you, man. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you do payment in gems, or you do cold hard cash? Probably cash. I mean, I could do gems eventually if you want, but... I would take gems preferably, but cash could work. It's fine. I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, fuck. I was thinking cash, just because 
these people are gonna get paid out in cash and just you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. It's all right. Second currency would be nice eventually, though, especially for this place. We do have some people coming through here that sells gems. Yeah. So if you're around enough, you'll be able to buy gems. Yep. Perfect. All right. Well, that's good. Look at that. How about this? I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. If uh, if I have extra, I don't have extra gems right now. But when I do have extra gems lying around. I'll pay you a hundred cash a run, seventy-five in gems a run. That way, if you're getting paid out in gems, I save a little bit of money, you know. Mm hmm. That sound fair? Sounds fair to me. All right. Perfect. <sighs> I look forward to uh, I look forward to doing business fully. Ah, oh, it's good to be back in business with you, man. I know. I wish Case was here. I did too. I miss him. I. Styled my hair a bit like him today. <laughs> yeah, it is like Ace's hair. I, mm -hmm. I, I I had that haircut. I'm growing it back out, but uh, I had that hair as well. A friend of mine, Enola, she died. And, uh, she always wanted to braid my hair, so I'm going to braid it when it gets long for her service. Is that, is that Zip's sister? Yeah, yeah, Zip's sister. I read about that in the Piper. Yeah, huh. she's a good woman. Is it true though? What the paper saying? With the Genzos? Uh huh. Yeah, they did it. After bleeding out in a cave. They hit her because she was giving info to to me. I don't talk much with those bastards. Probably because I stay away from the city. Yeah, they're cunts. Yeah, I've heard too many things about them. Yeah, they're cunts. I've gone to war with them. This is the second war I've had with them. <laughs> Why? And how's that firing? <sighs> Spilling Dicenzo blood is always a good pastime, I suppose. Quite frankly, we can't find it when we head to the city, so when we just came back out west. We were camping out east for a while. Hmm. I prefer the west. I miss this place, and I'm gone too long. I My, never uh, been out here. You know Aurora, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I know Aurora. Well, with me right now, she rides for me. She left Kettleman Gang. Hmm. Right now, we, my people, are Rebecca over there. Uh, Michael, I don't think you ever met Michael. No, no. And don't then, know who that is. And then Josie, Aurora, and uh, and my nephew. And then Casey, but Casey's been gone a while, so. But Casey, mm -hmm. obviously, will always be my family. All whites, all whites. Still got a special, special place with me, too. Yeah, I know he's still got that golden lure around somewhere. I don't know oh, where the hell it man. is. Probably in our cabin. I'd have to find it. Man. I still uphold my, my code, my honor. You <laughs> bring that to me. Yeah, I, I got I gotta wait for him. I don't know where he where he is, but I hope I see him again. I'm 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 serious, by the way. You find that thing, you bring it to me. You understand what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I'll save that for Casey, though. Of course. Anybody else here know about that thing? How much it means to me? I don't know. You can tell Rebecca. I ain't never told her about it. Oh, it ain't nothing too special. I'll summarize it for you. <laughs> my, people, my people made that thing. It's a very, very special family <laughs> relic to us people born into the fisherman story. Essentially, <laughs> I love forest, one man. hauler to hold that lore, show it to the right owners of the guppy gang. We announce them to be god fish, leading our crew into any fishing endeavor. Things that pay and buy. Essentially, what that means is, let's say your bass here has that lore. 
I will live and die by his orders. <laughs> Simple. Hmm. Yeah, Casey has it. Guess Casey's godfish then. Master Not of yet. birds and the master of sea. He's got to bring it to me, and then I got to give him the name and the trophy. As a trophy that comes with it? <laughs> oh, it's a big old knife. Is it called Master of Fish? You know, it don't got a name now that I think about it, but he can call it whatever he wants. He used to have a knife called the Master of Birds. <laughs> he spent $300 on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he still has it, but, you know, Master of the Sea or Master of Fish, you know. Mmm. He used to be real proud being the master of birds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know I'm the master of the biters? I remember you telling me that. Well, damn right. A wrong. long time ago. Oh, I still am. Ain't nobody competed for that motherfucking title yet. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, not everybody likes fishing. I love it. Most satisfying feeling in the world, having somebody bite down on a hook, yanking down on mm -hmm. it. I found it dreadfully boring. The fishing's yeah. all right. It's been a long, long, long time for me, though. Hunted recently, though. I forgot how much I missed hunting. Hunting the garbanzos? <laughs> That's a fun time. Yeah, I was hunting, uh, what was I hunting? Killed, uh, hunted down some, some fucking, uh, some buck over, uh, over by fucking, uh, Butcher's Creek. A lot of fun things to kill over there. A lot of mountain lions. Yeah, I never ran into any. I miss hunting bear. I ain't hunted bear in a long time. Oh, my favorite thing to do down over in the, uh, I call it the wildlands. I don't remember if you... You remember what the wildlands were? Tall trees? No, 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 no. The, that's that's more south, on the north. North, north. Like north Big Valley there. area? That's right, there you go. Yeah. Remember Rico? I do remember <laughs> Rico, man. I miss that fucker so much. And Casey and I <laughs> we used to just telegram random shit every time we go to Siska. <laughs> I think he's looking for a dead man or two. The last telegrams we sent him. You seen him? No, no, we ain't seen oh, him, but man. we telegram him to go look for dead people that we've killed. <laughs> so he's endlessly searching. Oh man. Hey, you know about that uh that census thing? You know you turn in your fingerprints for fifty dollars? No, I didn't know about that. Now you turn in your fingerprints to the to the to the sharks, they'll give you fifty dollars for it. So I show up with a crate full of severed hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking genius. Needless to say, I didn't walk out of there with money, unfortunately. That's a good idea, though. I'll give you that. I'm surprised. You could probably find the right lawman. They'd buy it. They, they, they'd they probably give you the money. They, they, no, they told me that, like, we don't even know whose hands they is. I'm like, well, I can go tell you the graves I dug up. Yeah, that's a good, that's actually a, a real good plan. <laughs> Ugh. I was desperate for money. Um, All right. is there uh, anything else? No, no, that's it. Friday. Friday. I'll All get right. it by Friday. Uh, okay. Any specific time? Nah, just whenever. We'll telegram Friday. Sure, sure. I'll let you know. All right. Uh, you All got right. a crate I'm right here? Or... I gotta no, go I to bed. Have a good night. Good Rebecca. night. It was uh, nice night. meeting you, Mr. Fish. Likewise, Rebecca. Uh, I don't know if I got a crate anywhere. There might be, if you if you look around Thieves, we might have some with ammo or some shit lying around. You could just, you know, just look around. How about this? Just look around Thieves, there's a crate, just feel free to take it. Sure, I'll take a look around. All right, perfect. Okay, you heading on the bat? Yeah, I'm going to. It's good to see you again. Good to see you too, man. Look forward to being back in business. Mm -hmm. When the fuck did you start wearing an eye patch? Well, I had my eye shot out. I don't think I knew about this. I mean, no, no, I did know about this in fucking Sicily. Yeah. Oh my, oh 
Okay. See, I got a glass eye. I stole it. You stole a glass eye? Yeah, a fella that used to ride for my uncle and rode for me, he snitched on us and became a lawman. I took his glass eye out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! Yeah, Jesus, it's, that's, that's it's thing a is brown barbaric. glass eye, though. And I've got blue eyes, so... I, I wear the eye patch, because... But one, I want people to think I don't got a glass eye. But then two, when I take the eye patch off... You know, people don't realize I got a glass eye under it, so I can blend in a little bit, even though I got different colored eyes. Mm hmm But I don't show, I don't show, uh... Don't teach your daddy how to fuck. You don't teach dad. You know, I still tell people that story to this day. <laughs> my, really? My, my gang is trying to convince me that we make that our code word to shoot. Is you don't teach daddy how to fuck. And then... <laughs> That's great, man. I I hope I hope you make that come to fruition. Yeah, I mean, it may, maybe maybe if I'm ever in the last stand and I think I'm gonna die, I'll just say, you know what? You don't teach daddy how to fuck, and I'll just fan down a few laws. That'd, that'd be your last words. Yeah, I'd last be happy with that being my last words. <laughs> be hella oh. last words. It'd be some good ass last words. What a fucking legacy that'd be. Uh, a random fella too. We know. <laughs> You know, random fella named me Jabass. Random fella came up with a daddy. You don't teach daddy how to fuck. <laughs> Jesus, man, you need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good night, Forrest. Ah, uh, man, you too. And, uh, hi, you, um... You telegram me, man, if you need anything, all right? Yeah, you as well. I'm not sure if you know, but uh, last time I spoke to you, my folks, they ain't, uh, they ain't here no more. Yeah, you said a lot of them ain't around, right? Uh-huh. Left, went over to California. Yeah, if you, uh, you keep coming out to Thieves, there should be a lot of folk out this way. You should be work. able to, uh, there should be a lot of folk that'll, they probably look for a hand, an extra hand here or there. You know, a lot of folk, mm -hmm. there was one day they just grabbed random people from Thieves and went and did a bank job, stuff like that, so. Should be, uh. <sighs> Coming out this way, you should be able to get some work. Uh -huh. Or just be a part Marquee. of some shit. Marquis was wanting me to do a bank job with him for his Yeah, Marquis was the one that grabbed him. <laughs> Marquis was the one that grabbed like three or four of them and just did a bank job. Oh, I'm hoping he's here tomorrow or somewhere by Friday, because fuck you, I'll tell you, I ain't, ain't going to be satisfied for just a moonshine run. <laughs> I need some more excitement in my life. That shit's like hardened ducks, man. Yeah, I've never done do a moonshine run. What? Yeah, I just always made the mash for it. Oh, you're missing out, man. That's moonshine's fun. <laughs> At least it was. Yeah, moonshine. I mean, it always was just business for me. Mm hmm. Odin. Your horse is called Odin? Yeah. Oh man, you remember Pecker, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Come here, Pecker. Well, I'm probably gonna head back into Blackwater, see if I can find something. Alright, sounds good. I'm gonna head to bed, so you have a good night, alright? Actually, I should look for that crate first, but yeah. Hey, you probably steal well, one in Blackwater. You can't find one here. <laughs> I'll probably find one in I Blackwater. I think Aurora used to hide them over behind the fences area. So in like the nooks and crannies in the fence area. Either there or maybe by the... Uh, I think Zip's Ma used to keep one near the speakeasy somewhere. So probably, probably either that way or over that way. Oh, good out. Alright. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, mate. It, it, is, it is crazy how much Jabass's character has changed, man. Having a fucking interaction with Forrest again. It's pretty telling of how much he's changed. So we're 33 away from 1k subs as well. Then tier 1 is primaries or oilers. 33 subs away.
number one mercenary. True. <sighs> Alright, chat. Let me line tomorrow. A mix of Ruth and Jabass. There's the Discord. I'm fucking exhausted, man. I'm fucking exhausted. Um, yeah, we'll be live tomorrow, Ruth, Jabass, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm gonna head to bed, have a good night, love you guys.